morning chat. <coughs> morning chat. It's a ooh yeah Wednesday. You guys are having a good time zone wherever you are. Starting your day out, wrapping it up, whatever, man. Hope it's a good one. Lucas! Jamie Bear, thank you so much for the 26 months. I appreciate you. 26 months, long time, long time. Is this Bubba's stream? <laughs> We loved Bubba. Yeah, I had to, uh, I did some offline role play last night because I was spawning a bus for, uh, for someone doing community service. And it was supposed to be like a, like a quick, like spawn thing. And then it just turned into this, this whole events of role play. And it was actually really funny and I enjoyed it. Yeah, here's a here's a clip from it. <laughs> You're taking me to where I need. That's fine. I mean, you know, sometimes talking about our problems helps too. I'm not going to pressure you again. I see how that go. No, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. You not to test me. I'm not testing you. I'm just, I was trying to help in my own way. Baba. 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 Does this look like a road? No, but it looks like you need help, and I'm not going to let you go up into the darkness on your own. Baba. Good luck. Baba, I cannot follow you up the stairs. Baba. This is where our paths divert. Baba. <laughs> Baba. Bubba! <laughs> you have to talk about your feelings, Bubba! You're, anyways, it, it, it turned into just a real fun thing last night. I thought it was gonna be like a quick, like... Quick spawn bus and let him do his thing, but uh, I'm not complaining. That was, that was really funny last night. It was really funny. We have Noho Hank at home. <laughs> he, he was kind of like Noho Hank, huh? Fifty-fifty with crystal ball. That was great. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping that. I think I think Monday, I need to talk with McLovin more, but I think Monday we're gonna do um. Maybe the following Monday, maybe like starting January 29th. We're going to do a, uh, a subathon. So if it goes long, you know, we'll have a chance to, uh, to role play with a lot of uh, NA people that we normally don't get to like, uh, like him. It's going to be great. I need to, I need to figure out some stuff. And I'll make an announcement before tomorrow's stream. But uh, as for today's stream, we have things planned already. Um, we've got uh, D and D in a couple hours, and then we're gonna do some more role play. That's the plan for today. And realize he was on Onyx. Yeah. No, there's a lot of like really great people on Onyx. Kelly. I know you're excited about the trailer, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. 
Meant to text you an update. Uh, yesterday, but I'm got the better of me. That makes sense, right? That makes sense. Trailers coming along great. Uh, should be all done. I don't know. Early next week. Lucas! Ooh, it's on Sir Doom. Thank you for the 43 months. Yeah, I need to edit this. I haven't edited this yet. I'm not gonna lie. I am gonna lie in character to Kelly. But oh, see, I haven't edited it at all. <laughs> They're always trashy. Mm, 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 mm. Commercials, TV, film, music videos. Jackson Payne and Rachel Turner, Scoop Media. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, competition's good. <clears throat> Competition is good. But, uh, I'm glad that people enjoyed Bubba so much last night. Hmm. Was fun, twas fun. I always forget what time D and D is. Let me look this up real quick. I feel like it's at I think it's in like less than three hours. Like two hours, forty minutes. I think it's at twelve. Let me confirm. Also Two new hotels opened up in the server yesterday. I think technically three. There's like a North Palomino Avenue, South Palomino Avenue, and then Del Perro. And then we have Irvine Inn. Red Garage. And then there's more, there's even more coming soon too. So just like really, re yeah, it's 12 PM. So many different places that each have their own vibe. I'm trying to think what else. I think farming stuff came out today too. So people can like plant their own gardens and whatnot, wherever farmer. Farmer role play for food and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and then there's just so many other things in the works that are coming out just so fast. It's honestly impressive. It's honestly impressive. Come on, that was fun. That was funny. That was funny, guys. Whatever. Whatever. You know what else I'm excited for that's not roleplay? Nothing, because everything's roleplay. No, um... The, uh... Pal World coming out on Friday. I was watching some people. I was watching Classy play it this morning. It looks fun, man. 
It's a new game that's coming out Friday. It's coming out to Game Pass. And I think it's a group one. The game being playable was not on my 24 bingo card. Or we'll watch something about it. We'll watch uh, a quick trailer. Who are you two, bae? Yeah, it's like it's like Pokemon with guns and you can play with friends. Not wrong. I just keep saying all these gameplay videos. Hold on, I gotta wait for this ad. It's like an open world Pokemon game. Slash shooter. But you can play with friends. <laughs> we have Pokemon at home. You can like it's it's like a survival game, so you can like craft too. in the trailer. What the fuck is going on? Oh no. It's a Pokemon sweatshop. Oh my god. Oh my god. That comes out tomorrow on Game Pass. So a bunch of us are going to play it all together because it is multiplayer. And uh, it looks pretty crazy. I was watching Classy play a little bit of it this morning. And uh, it, it does look fun. It does look fun. I remember when it came out and we all made fun of it. Like, this is Pokemon. But, you know. Looks pretty fun. Pokemon and Fortnite had a child. I feel like it's going to be like Pokemon and like Rust had a child. Pokemon, Fortnite, and Rust had a crazy three-way. And had a kid. I expect it to be garbage, though even if it's good, it still doesn't look like a game for me. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I'm not too much of, like, the survival kind of game person either. But, you know, I do think it would be a fun game to mess around with uh, with friends. Uh, I think it'll be good, man. Do love Rust, Fortnite, and Pokemon. Well, there you go, Adam. Ain't it? This is what happens to Pokemon if Team Rocket wins. <laughs> I want to be in the room for that board meeting. It's like... I was playing Pokemon last night, sir. Also polishing my new guns. And I had the thought. God damn it, Jim. That's a promotion. I'll try it while I wait for once human to come back, I guess. Back in what game do I play, Jail? 
I never played Once Human. It wasn't Once Human like a, like a PvP shooter? I don't know. What about copyright issues? I mean, copyright, you change stuff enough, you know, and you can say that it's just different. Um, that being said, it's literally, it's, it, it's, <laughs> I don't know. If I was Nintendo, I mean, Nintendo probably would have shut it down already if they could have, you know. Inspired by, yeah, I mean, copyright stuff, hello. Copyright stuff, you can, you have to change it enough, and I feel like they have changed it enough. And then they'll like to let people burn their time and money before shutting it down. True. Some of those pals do look a lot like Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, they, they look like them, you know, there's the whole Pokeball aspect, there's the fighting other ones aspect, there's the, uh, evolving aspect. Let's look at all the not real cars in roleplay. True. True, true, true. Pikachu shoot a person? Something that looks like Pikachu can, you know, could, could shoot a person. I do you think Pal World is a little bit of a, a silly name, though? Legally distinct minigun Pikachu. I think we'll just do a little bit of Bryce today, just this morning, and then we'll do D&D, &D. and then we'll get into more role play with a different character, because we've been playing a lot of Bryce, which, you know, I'm not too complaining about. Bryce has been a lot of fun lately, but we got to show other characters some love. I got to play more cop. I feel like I, I've barely played any cop. And uh, we haven't played Roland in a minute, and we haven't played other people in a minute. I really need food. Roland, pause champ. Yup, yeah, Roland. Roland still works at uh, the hospital for some reason. Which is so funny to me still. So I keep getting tagged in all these doctor messages. And it takes me a minute. Like, why am I getting tagged in these? And then it hits me. Still, I mean, still, because we haven't played him. Yeah. We haven't played him. Bryce's business has just been going off, like, really well. So, I mean... There just hasn't been really, uh... We just haven't really played him since. Abner's alive? I don't really like playing... I didn't really enjoy playing Abner here. I think Abner is a character we keep in wild RP. Uh, I don't know. I don't 
don't think Abner hits quite the same as he does here than Wild RP. So I think that one showing of Abner will be the the only showing of Abner. He will not fire Roland because he's the best doctor. Yeah, I mean, hell, since we've been HR, I mean, I haven't heard a single HR complaint on Roland. I mean, sure, we haven't, like, been there, you know, to get these HR complaints. But uh, I haven't heard one yet. He's the first perma. No, technically the uh, the deer was the first perma. <laughs> Abner just isn't Abner without his build. You can't really get that in GTA without using a pad model. Yeah. No, I agree. I, uh, I agree with that. But hey, you know what? We tried. We gave it a shot. I wasn't feeling it. What happened to McReel? McReel uh, moved to Tampa Bay to help coach Baker and the Bucks. And honestly, they've been doing really well. They've been doing really well. Joined Tampa PD and uh, coached Baker and the Bucks. I've got a I've got a different cop over here now. Seems like it's working out, dude. He looked good. He looked good. Divisional round. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how they do in the divisional. I don't know. Coach of the year candidate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's up, Bryce Miller? Uh, oh, hey, wow, you answered really quickly. Yeah, I just noticed that you were calling me, so I picked up the phone. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I was wondering when you were going to send over the rest of that I money did. from the uh, the up and out. Yeah, no, the other 500, though, is what I was talking no, about. No, no, you, you said just 500, so. Like, I don't remember something I gave else. you an extra, I gave you 500 bucks. And you said, hey, it's just going to be $500. So I said, okay, 200 up front, 300 at the end. And I gave you $500 for the $200 tip. So... Oh, okay. So what about the other 300 then? There's there's no other 300, Bryce. You told I'm, me 500. I'm here to collect the royalty tax. There's no royalty tax. There's no contract. Wait, why gotcha. Are you, why are you bailing out of this, huh? I ain't bailing out of nothing, buddy. Why are you bailing out of this? Do you hate business? Do you hate small business? No, I hate government business, which is what you made an advertisement for. I don't you work there You paid anymore. me to make an ad government fucking commercial for I did, for and it. that was before there was legislation, but I, now I don't have to give a fuck. Okay, all right. Listen, everyone's paid me for their own personal stuff. You got here making me do government sanctioned work. Listen, out here. you came to me and I gave you five hundred dollars four days ago for oh, your yeah. commercial. Yeah. Oh, it was good. It was good. And the commercial yep. came all right. Yeah, it did. You know, there's nothing weird in the kitchen there. There's not definitely nothing weird in the kitchen. Some guy paid me extra to not mention the kitchen, so I didn't mention the kitchen twice. Yep. Nothing in the kitchen. No no human meat. Is there human meat and fucking that's, up and That's Adam? the rumor that's going around. What do you mean? Aren't you like the manager? No, there's legislation where there, you can't be a manager. So I said, screw that. I'm out of here. I'm a, I'm a farmer. You're a farmer? Yeah, I'm getting this is a nice vegetables for when I open my own food truck. Oh, is that the goal? It sounds like you need a commercial for it. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe we can get a more detailed contract. And Great, give where me an are actual you? Commercial and that's, I've, 
I don't have a food truck yet. I don't need the commercial. Amazing. We're no, we're gonna do start the footage now for like a starting from the bottom. Now we're you know here you, you know you should thing. hit up you should hit up this guy named Tegan. He runs this recycling center out in Sandy. He also does some farming stuff too. Uh, they hit me up a while ago about something and just never got back to me about it. So I mean, the ball's in Tegan's court. I mean, why well, don't you just this follow is gonna up? This is gonna be great. This is gonna be a fucking movie. Right, where are oh. you? No, I, I don't want to tell anyone because I want people to steal my crops. Your crops? What are you you're yes. afraid that someone's going to come and steal your crops? People yes. are fucking, you know, rabbits. They are. They are anim they're animals out here, Bryce. No one cares about your crops, dude. I care about my crops. Look, I'll blur it out, okay? You'll blur it out? I'll blur it out. Hmm. Why, why do you want to? I don't want a commercial, though. Not right now. Listen, I know this is what you want and what you need, and it's going to no, come it's, great. Oh, my God. Uh, starting from the bottom. Now we're here. It's straight up Drake minus the Millie Bobby Brown stuff. Okay? Oh. No, why do you have to bring up Millie Bobby Brown? Because it's a weird. It was a weird part of, of Drake's history. It was a really weird part. Yeah. Listen. Uh, Oh my god. When I get a food truck, I'll call you, okay? No, listen, I'm telling you, you need this. I don't need it. You need this. No, Bryce. No, you I want don't. This. When are you starting up your movie studio, huh? I don't know. Whenever I get fucking approved for it, before, until listen, then. Listen, I'm, I'm waiting for my approval, too. Until then, I'm faking it till I make it, okay? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I work out of there sometimes. Listen, I, I have a friend waiting, huh? I'll call you when I need a commercial. No, you don't. Okay? You don't have a fucking yes, I friend do. waiting. No I have lots of friends. You. Fuck you. No one's calling you. Everyone. Fuck. A farm, huh? Who could use a commercial? <laughs> yeah, that's that's Legos with a zero instead of an O. Same person that plays Ashley. Hey guys, it's me, Ashley. I told her that th they need like decorator people to help run the hotels until people like come into power there. I told him I'd make a uh, a Brock A. Lee. And just try and sound just like her. Hey guys, it's me. Brock A. Lee. Stop. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, I didn't realize you were working here. Oh my god, are those gunshots to the left? Yeah. Yep, I see it. Jesus. Yeah, we have armed patrol going around the field. To the left over there? There was a Jesus. Yep. Okay. Be careful. There's a uh, there's death claws going around. Death? What's what's that? It's like a overgrown rabbit. I call oh. them death claws. Death okay. claws. Okay, really? Bryce, first time that I ever talked to you, you called me because you were asking about uh, me growing food. So hey, it worked out. I'm growing food now. Tegan, right? Yep, that's me. Yeah, dude. Hey, look at this, huh? Who would have thought? Yeah, things are coming together slowly but surely. Imagine but, uh, I'm the we one have that food other than burgers. Imagine I'm the one that sold him his uh, Jeep. 
Where you got? Yeah, look now. Wow, look at this smaller. Where are you guys getting these seeds from? There's a farmer uh, just down the way over at the building on the other side of a uh, grape seed over yeah, there. If you if you look at your GPS, uh, his name is Botch. You should be able to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, he's got I'll a go little check that uh, out. GPS I, tag up there. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Yeah, Stop right. feeding, or I'll give you tickets. Actually, I won't. Actually, I will. No, I won't. I can't be bothered. I'll, I'll tell you what I will, but I won't. Come, Candice. Hi, Candice. How you doing? Also, Wait, I, Candace? I think the speed limit on this road is actually 65, and then you Candace don't. Candice, well. So. I don't know, Candice. Hi. Hi, Candice. Are That's you a cop? Name. Yeah. I'm just in my farmer's outfit right now. Okay. What, farmer's only me? outfit? I mean, I don't know. Like, everyone was dressed the part, so I thought I would yeah, also I'm dress about the part. it. I'm about it. Yeah. All right. you know, if you stick around, you can also get a cowboy outfit on. Well, I want to go talk to this dude and see what he's all about. I'm going to go talk to yeah. him real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. hey, Sorry, what'd you say? Let us know what? If he, has, if he finally got a shipment of greenhouses in, let us know. Okay. okay. Hey, where is the guy? You don't need to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com Farmer Butch Huge new info for next jacuzzi meeting Dude, my phone's so scuffed. Always. Bryce. Honestly, I feel like Lila would really enjoy it. I could see Easton having a far I could see everyone having a farmer's day. What's up, dude? I hear you're the guy to talk to about all this. Those fancy 3D printers are taking our jobs. Out of stock. Five dollars per though. Interesting. Lettuce, corn, mushrooms, potatoes, cabbage, carrots, garlic, onions. Those 3D printers are taking our jobs. They probably have to, uh, mushrooms. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I don't know if Poet's awake. I'm going to relog. I'm going to relog real quick just because my phone's just not working. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. Just keep eating the man, you must got a bad one. 
Yeah, just uh, showed up. Uh, uh, ah. Whoa, you just hey. came right out of the... Oh, hey, Jesus you fucking just Christ. Out this side, did you? You okay? You need to hand over there plenty, yeah? Oh God, I don't want to. I don't want to crush it. Greenhouse is right. Did you get stuck yeah. in the corner? Uh, hey, did, got... did Farmer Putch put you in the dirty corner? There you go. Come on out. Thank you. Thank you, Candace. Hey, if you're yeah, up no here worries. farming, you best be wearing the correct farming no, equipment, not... okay? Yep. Yeah, I'm not. Right. Right. Listen, man, you don't have to fucking yell at me, okay? I'm not. I'm not oh, in Amish country, we didn't have overalls. We just wore woolen pants. Oh, oh yeah, woolen pants? Yeah. Well, okay, it was very hot in the summer. It was horrible. Well, oh, it's not. It's not oh, yeah, you're, you're in the. You're in the. You're in grapes, you know, okay? It's not the same, okay? You okay. Know? What it, you know, uh, overalls? Just, yeah, overalls. Is there any kind of shirt to wear with that You can wear or? whatever shirt. You know, you can wear a nice, like, uh, you know, like okay. the, the one with that pattern. You wear a t-shirt. You can do no shirt. You know, uh, overalls are recommended, but if you just want to do, like, nice jeans <gasps> or denim, that's okay, too. Mm. Cool. Just, I you know, you don't want to wear it at too on. fancy, you know, because you, you're ruining it really. I'm mad in the shower, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to check just, the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. Okay. But he said he's not firm and he's just he's just saying I need a firm and butch is that right? Are you? Yeah, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, I feel like you're saying here in, in audible stuff. Or... Right, yeah. I feel like you could farm wherever you got some some space, man. You know, yeah, at your house, boy. out and about, wherever. Yeah. He's not... He seems Rivia to not have any uh, greenhouses in stock there right now, though. Do you need one of those or no? No. Okay. No. There's a cool little location I like. I, I, I will can just go anywhere. say that, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the water is kind of cold because we're in January right now. And the soil hasn't been planted on for, you know, last couple of years oh, due yeah. to the radiation and whatnot. So some, we get water some manure down. inside the plants are freezing and the plants are going to rock selling so just uh, you know uh be careful you know uh don't don't you know uh you know don't worry about the frozen plant it'll it'll grow just a bit slower and uh you know yeah yeah don't want to you, mm, okay. uh, you know don't you, makes know, sense. you know you know yeah just don't Arrow. don't plant it near a road or sorry you know hey i see that oh, how's going hey, i'm just hanging out with family butt here oh hey bryce hey how's it going dude uh I'm gonna try to plant some corn. Hell oh, yeah. Hey, you know, you I should have got the overalls on. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, just, you could just, just plant it fucking anywhere. Do community service and get our people in the overall setting a standing, you know. We gotta stay in our nice uniform, you know. Like, you're in charge of, like, shit up here, right? Yeah, I'm the sergeant of Gracie Sarah Department. You know what you need? Right, right, you need. A recruiting video. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, how's it going? Bryce Miller, yeah, CEO of uh, Miller Media. You know, we work in Whoa. TV, film, commercials, adverts, anything. You need a recruitment video for Grape CPD, am I right? Yeah, I don't know if I need a recruitment video, but more of a video that advertises to show how great Grape Seed is compared to everyone else. You know, I don't need the people. I just need to show that we're so much nicer up here, a nice farm, you know. A bragging video, I see. Yeah, bragging video. Okay, all right. A little mudslinging too, you know. Maybe oh, yeah, some yeah, jabs at the city people. Yeah, the people. city people, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's sounds good. Yeah, 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 so, you know, yeah, yeah, no, so that's, yeah, that means, yeah, okay. Oh, well, what's the deal? I mean, uh, if you're interested in this, we could definitely film all sorts of stuff for it. And uh, my prices are very fair. Ready your prices? I am what you charging, sir. She okay? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm I'm there. I, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Nice, uh, I'm nice what red lipstick, by the way, ma'am. I feel like Ice. at any time you're going to bust out a ukulele and apologize to me. I don't know what that means, but all right. I don't know what that means. Okay, okay. Uh, thousand dollars, and I get you a, a commercial Whoa. fast. I film it, I edit it, you know, and make you look good. Oh, okay. I have one thing for you. Uh, I got something else that you may be interested in for the commissioner. Okay. All right. I am the owner 
of Patricia the Preen. I have a crop duster for you, the grief seed hanger. You can get some aerial um, shots with the Preen. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds great, dude. That sounds I great. I have to work for seven hours. Okay, you want to do it like right now or in the daytime? I don't have to do it all at Yeah, uh, I don't have to do it all at I could, once. I can but... do it. We can do it now. Well, I'm busy now. Why would you offer right now then? Because it's where you want it. I, I, I was asking where you want it, and I was going to have to say sorry. No, I'm busy right now. Uh, you see, this is Spike right here. He's doing community service. He's, we're doing the uh, the farm patrol, watching out for coyotes and murder lands. And, uh, um, damn uh, you know, coyotes. Oh, yeah. They're getting the chickens they are, and they're, you know, it's not the show. How do we know that you're a part of, like, this Miller Media, though? You don't look like you carry around a camera. Well, that's because I don't have camera equipment with me 24-7. Look like you know. a, uh, maybe a cinematography student at Vespucci University I mean, with he, that prolapse jersey. No, I graduated. He, he, he does have a point, though. Like, I'm, I'm a musician, but I don't carry around, like, speakers and oh, a fucking microphone. Yeah, I mean, if he's exactly. like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, not carrying around a tractor, z like, Yeah. What about a tractor? I don't have it on me right now. Yeah. I mean, you normally do, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I uh, know yeah. that he's legit because like, we, we see you on the tractor. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, Rose, I think so. I don't. Uh, so, how about this? Okay, uh, I will be with Spike for another, like, uh, 10 15. We'll wait until the sun comes up and then uh, uh, meet me at the Grape Seed Surf Department. It's at the hangar. Why don't you, uh. uh a bit of your emergency, or I'm going to do a throne and hang up. Oh, I don't want to put some overalls on. I don't want to get dirty. Uh, Harold, my number will be in the uh, the directory. Give me a call when you can. I'm certainly talking with some people over with firm and foot explaining the, you know, the way that I'm the firm. Let's test this shit out. You don't have to be lonely. At FarmersOnly.com We're gonna find that out right now. But first, we need some farming music. And some overalls. To find out who can plant these farmer seeds real well. Jebediah, get my gun. God damn. We're gonna get on down there. Hi, Ollie. Oh, hey. Hey, where are those overalls you got on? Uh, let's see. They're on, uh, aisle 89. Dope. Thanks, brother. For, uh, for your, uh, uh, the pants aisle. Oh, interesting. Yep. Trying to find like a nice shirt to throw on underneath of something that'll be nice and rugged, but it'll like kind of handle handle a the nice work, you know. White t-shirt, maybe. Think a white t-shirt? Maybe. Who knows, man? Or one of those jerseys you got on. One of those jerseys good for this? Probably look cool. I was just saying to my friend Judy last night, you know, uh, I do kind of miss some things from home. And there's like this nice farm up in the hills that I think would be really, oh, this actually kind of fits. Uh, that would be nice to like do some planting and raise some pigs on and stuff. But hell yeah, I dude. Know.
Now for the greased pig wrestling contest. In the pig pen. Oh wow, there's your overalls. You look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Makes me look kind of bulky. I think you look great. Oh, thanks. If you want to, if you want to learn the Amish ways of planting corn, Bryce, give me a call. I don't want to be if I Amish. Can find some, oh, see if I can find some oxen somewhere. A traditional Amish hat. I can't be. I can't be doing this in a Christmas hat. Where's like a good like straw hat? A good old straw hat, maybe or like. I guess a. Uh, cowboy hat would work out for this but I feel like I could find something better I feel like I could find something better Phone call. I have got a phone call. Wait, this is brown. This isn't black. The Jim, beer hat? Dress. You call me back. Honestly, the beer hat's pretty funny. I, I will after I get changed, okay? There's a man crying. Sounds like an issue. Excuse me. What are you wearing on your head? I'm your hat. Did you get a did you get a traditional Amish hat like this? No, dude, I got this hydrated out there. What you got in there, like milk? I'll, I'll uh, try, something like that. I'll try and, and hey, do you know where I might be able to find an oxen to pull a plow? Is that like an animal? Yeah, an ox, you know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like a bull? Uh, I don't know. Probably be up here, though. I believe in you, All though, right. bro. Okay. See ya. Love how farming roleplay is going. Yeah, it's pretty great. And you know, it's 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 new and shiny while people try and figure it out and whatnot. But uh, as time goes on, they'll uh, and new things come out. You know, people will uh, settle into it that genuinely want to be a part of it. I like the food truck people though that are like. Like, people that want to make stuff for their food trucks. Gonna be good.
by Normie. That could have been so bad. Wicked. You know what I watched last night that actually wasn't a bad movie? I watched that uh that Gran Turismo uh movie. The one about like the uh the kid that like was top of the world in the Gran Turismo game and became an actual like uh race car driver. was in race car, but you know, you, you get what I'm saying. With Clint Eastwood in it, Clint Eastwood was not in it. Not that I, no, that was a uh, different, that's Gran Turismo or Gran Torino. Now you're an admin, have you thought about doing Norman Bones type all powerful character? No, there's no, Supernatural stuff over here. Get off my racing sim. Chick, chick. <laughs> yeah, also a good movie. Also a good movie. But uh, it, it was a surprisingly good movie. A little cheesy, a little, little fast pacing, but you know, like, it was good. All right. Okay, let's figure this shit out. Right here, let's do that. Okay. You watch Echo yet? I did. I did watch Echo. And I enjoyed it. Uh, minus the ending. I thought the ending was really, 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 really cheesy. Uh, and it kind of took away from it. But I enjoyed Echo. I enjoyed... Um, all of the, I enjoyed that they actually got native actors in it, you know, both McLovin and I enjoyed, you know, the native, uh, you know, representation and, and, and things in it. Like they had like the powwow scene in it. I liked all the, the sign language in it. Cause you know, I, if you don't know, I know sign language. Um, it was really, it was really good until the ending. Ending kind of took away for from it for me, without spoiling it. Um, I like that they actually had uh, deaf or, or hard of hearing actors in it and actresses too. Okay. You're going to be a crazy fucking drug, aren't you? You're going to be absolutely insane. Job's done. Oh, that's, I didn't know that, Captain.
Yeah, I took it all throughout high school and I took some courses in, in college too. And at one point was heavily considering becoming uh, an interpreter. But, um, obviously didn't. But I've been teaching McLovin sign language lately too. Because she's been wanting to learn. And so we've been doing that. And it's been uh, a good time. She's learning very quickly. Have you watched any of the Percy Jackson series? I have. I've been watching it. I go between liking it and thinking it's really cheesy, but I, I think it's better than the movie. Some things they decide to change too from the book, kind of, you know. Very annoying, but. What's the thing? It's all right. Yeah, I, as someone that read the books, it's all right. It's all right. What is this? Yeah, it's nice to have someone at home too that knows that is learning sign because then it's like that's definitely something. I mean, as all things, if you're not doing it, if you're not using it, you uh, what are these? Oh, okay. You're uh, you're gonna lose it, you know. What's the lay down emote? You lay down and you like kick your feet in the air. Prostitute high. <laughs> Prostitute low. Look at this core strength. I believe in you, little plant. You're gonna grow into some crazy fucking mushrooms and we're gonna have some crazy fucking trips, dude. I can't believe that farmer was just giving you away like this. Wait till Poet and Easton and everybody hears about this. This is gonna be fucking crazy. Only they were awake to answer my calls. Aren't you growing more? Come on, man. Why aren't you growing more? <gasps> you need like water or something? Plants grow in real time. Come back in two months. Imagine the most realistic role play ever. Actually, I read somewhere that I think you're supposed to play classical music for plants to grow bigger.
I believe in you, little plant. You're gonna grow up so big and tall and... You're gonna give- you're gonna make so many people trip with these mushrooms you're pr producing for people. It's gonna be great. You're gonna be great. I shall name you Steve. And you will grow into a beautiful creation. news man okay is Big this fucking jacuzzi news. news or is this this is jacuzzi news okay so then why are you telling me over the phone because i'm laying on the ground right now and i can't get up and my life alert's not working what then how are you making this call okay i'm okay listen i'm okay. meeting the jacuzzi stat there's Sound two people in the there's two people in the jacuzzi right now. Fuck! All right, listen, man. Where are you? I want to show you, but I don't want to show Trashy because honestly, I'm... fuck Trashy. Ugh. He's a good guy. He you just need to stop butting us. heads with him. He made fun of of Mateus's stutter and called him so a chimp. So did I. Yeah, you're an asshole too for that. Oh, they're leaving the jacuzzi. Oh, they're leaving the jacuzzi. Oh this my is god! Time. Ring the jacuzzi. Up. This is uh, uh, sound of the alarm. Okay, I, am I meeting you in the jacuzzi? Yes. Okay. I'll be oh, there in a minute. See. I gotta drive over there. Okay. Gotta go slow. Ooh. Mario? We'll name him Mario, yeah. Mario the Mushroom. Or it could be Toad. Out of the way, this is Jacuzzi News. This thing actually handles pretty well off-road. I think that's the, that's how we beat Poet in a race. We just challenge him to like a mostly off-road course. Chiliad Hill climb race. <laughs> I thought it was wide enough for that.
He can't see me though. I can't let him see me. Jesus fucking Christ, what are you wearing? What do you mean? You in your underwear? This is my jacuzzi fit. You're in your underwear? Yeah. What the fuck, bro? It's gross, you got like dingleberries in there and shit. It's a, it, it's a motel in Sandy, I don't have to worry about hygiene. What do you, what do you want? <sighs> Listen, okay? Uh-huh. I found some shit out, and I'm really excited about it. What did you find out? <laughs> New drug just hit the streets. Uh-huh. What? What drug? I gotta show you. I'm just, I just get the feeling that there's a... I just get the feeling that there's a catch to this. And I'm about to be upset. No, dude. No fucking normally catch. You, normally you really only get upset about... You really only get excited about things that cause others suffering. Name one time I've ever done that. I'm not going to get into this. Anyway, what you is the You can't tell me what time, can you? I can. I just don't want to bring it up again, Bryce. No time. Bryce, what drug? You ever trip on mushrooms? No, Bryce, I have not. Oh, it's fucking psychedelics, man. Why are you excited about drugs right now? I've never seen you get excited about drugs ever. I got to show you something. Jacuzzi meeting done come on oh. put a shirt on meet me in the back Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Waiting for you to show you this, man. Okay. Since when? I also have some other information for you. What? Uh, I don't know if you know this already, but uh, you can't get lock picks from hardware stores anymore. I know. I'm aware. Yeah, it's kind of. Do you fun, know where to get them? Uh, no, not right now. I'm gonna fucking. Cry. People are just kind of. Selling them or holding on to them and stuff like that. Uh, well, mine's but, done. And my I mindset, my mindset is that you know, there's got to be the 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 supply and demand of those things are really high. So if they're not selling them anymore, there's got to be someone out there that's gonna try and sell them even more because people need that shit, you know. I mean. If nobody's heard anything, it's not like lockpicks are illegal. I don't know why they're keeping it under wraps. I don't know. Hardware store's not selling anymore, though. Well, I'm, trust me, I'm aware. I was there when it happened first. I was at ground zero. Ground zero, eh? I was at ground zero. You're on D-Day? Yeah, that was me. I stormed the beaches of no lockpick. That's really, like, upsetting and offensive to the people that actually storm those beaches, bro. Who asked? Uh, They're I old did. boomers with tired ideals now. Jesus. It's fucked.
I know something materials? you didn't know. What? You need materials? No, I don't need fucking materials. Right. No, 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 Am I, I a mechanic? I don't know why you're swearing at me. Why would I need materials? You got up. Shut up. So hard, tried that I trash that. job the other day with Poet. So did I. Pretty fun. Oh, with Poet, really? Yeah, with Poet. You wow. should ask him about it. I did. He doesn't know who you are. Yeah, he does. Only didn't do a trash job with you, so pretty weird. Well, how do you know that? Does you didn't ask him? I did. No, this is just information now. You, no, you're I know. saying, you're saying, do you want to? Wait, where are we going? Just wait. Okay. Trust. Holy fuck. Um, they know, should we bro. check if they're okay? They know, bro. Are you on the shadow government thing again? Because I dropped it for everybody else's sake, but I'm willing to get back to it. You're crazy. Where are we going? Just, just let me cook, okay? Are you, are you growing mushrooms? Let me cook. You're not answering my question. Let me cook, man. Just, I'm oh, sorry, man. Was that back Jesus. There? Uh, there's a sign on it that says Bloom and someone else. Is that a cop? I don't know. Yeah, lady wasn't wearing any pants back there. Yeah, it's a beach. This is not a beach. The lighthouse is basically a beach. Where no, it's not. We? What are you talking about? This is what a trail. Just let me cook, man. Just, just. Wait like two sec. Bryce. Holy fuck, that guy almost died. Would... Yeah, I know. Oh my god. I would have had no reservations about it, but I don't know how you would feel about it. I don't have any reservations, dude. This isn't a fucking restaurant. About killing people? You don't have any reservations. You don't have any moral dilemmas. Dude, now I lost all my momentum because of that stupid biker. You should turn back and kill him. Easy there, okay? You just woke up. What do you mean? I'm always like this, Bryce, you know. I got up this easily just with me in the car. What the fuck? Are you telling me to get out? I think you're fat. Hold on. Bryce, what the fuck? Oh, you can talk about killing people, but I can't talk about this? Don't call me fat. I do that to gaslight people. I tell them that they're looking chunky. And then the next day I say that they're looking very skinny. And then I keep flip-flopping and give them really, really bad whiplash. What? This is it. This is a Mesa, dude. You don't, you don't have to follow the road. I like following the road. Where are we going? Just relax and let me cook, man. I want to cook. That's the problem that we're at right now. This is the crossroads. Yeah, well, I think you know how to do it. You just don't want to put in the work. What? Do you, I, I, okay. No, the come problem on. is come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What? Isn't she beautiful? What? This? Yeah. What is, what is this? I'm growing mushrooms. It looks like tall grass. Oh, it's it's not grown yet. I'm growing mushrooms. Mushrooms look like wheat? I'm growing mushrooms, bro. We're going to fucking trip like crazy. Where did you get them? Some farmer dude. Bryce, are you not, are you withholding information from me right now? I'll show you. I just want to show you this first. Okay. I'm growing this over here. His name's Mario. God damn it. Does anybody else know about this? Yeah. Does everybody know about this? Probably. Oh, fuck. Listen, man. So it's not special is what you're saying. I mean, as as anything in this city, once you know things things are uh, happening and people are trying new things, majority of people are. Listen, man, some cops up in grape seed shop. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't post this here because this is my gross spot. 
I didn't post it. I don't take a picture, picture. For, me for memories. I already don't take. No, listen. Come on, don't, man. I already took a picture. Don't. I'm gonna put it in the Ballenheimer chat. Stop. It, it shows you laying in the grass. Like, I don't trust. What? I don't trust Grassy. Trashy is going to be our lawyer. I would rather take any other lawyer. He's gonna be good. Stop it. They're gonna be like defense and he's gonna be like yeah fuck your defense trust me he's gonna be good he's an asshole have some faith you need an asshole no dude there's difference between your asshole and his asshole i would hope i would hope we don't have the same asshole you know what i mean i put it did you It's fucking mushrooms. Well, do you want me to say that to Trashy? <sighs> Why is this your gross spot? Because I don't want anybody taking my mushroom, man. Do you... Do you want to know where our gross spot is for everything? Sure, bro. I don't, I, I don't know what you want from me. Dude, Either this, way, but this, this is my son. That is, a, that is grass. Look at my son. It's grass, Bryce. Fried is not the word I'm looking for here, Easton. I, how does that even... Why, why is it grass, Bryce? Do you not know how, like, planting shit works? I know how mushrooms work. Yeah. I'm growing mushrooms, it, bro. It's not this. I'm growing mushrooms. Are you sh sure you're growing I'm mushrooms? I'm growing mushrooms. Okay. I was excited to crypto? show you this. No, I didn't buy it with fucking cryptocurrency. Okay. Well, then I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get all you. the information, I'll Bryce. show you. Man, whatever, dude. I was all excited. What? What? Bryce. Whatever, I, listen, man. whatever. I'm happy. I'm happy that you're happy, but I'm not a big. Uh, you know me. I I'm a meth guy. Mushroom. We're gonna trip on that shit. Billy, baby. Oh great, Billy. Actually, hey, I like Billy. On? I like Billy. What are you doing? You just woke up. Well, guess what? There's a new drug on the street that you can't have. Mushrooms. You're not having it. What do you mean you're gonna find it? You're not. You're. You're not gonna do it. Wait till they find out it's actually mushrooms. Mercury has been texting me and saying that, huh? No, I'm aware. I explained to her that it's too late. I'm just telling her you're dead. Where are you? Okay, well, uh -oh. I'm going... Oh, uh -oh. Bryce, 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 uh -oh. Bryce! Uh-oh. This is an awful gross spot, Bryce. Hold on, I could save this. I could save this. No, we did... Gang turf? What do you mean? Are we totaled? I'm upset. Are we totaled? Did you flood the engine? I'm upset. Oh, Oh my god, Bryce. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, Billy, where are you? Come on, baby. Turn on, baby. I know, but where? Are you Come in on, the baby. city or are you out of the city? You're in Sandy. Okay. Come on, baby. Where? <laughs> you know where the lighthouse Yeah, we're north of that. Come on, baby. Come on. Um... <laughs> I don't either. Nobody does. Fucking hell. Ah! I guess we're walking. Call you once you get a car. Okay, bye. Oh, this is gonna be so expensive. This was a oh. fine growth spot. I just went faster because you weigh so much. What the fuck are you talking about? 
Are you calling somebody for a repair? Yes. All to your gross spot. Fuck, you don't dude. See, you don't see the problem with this. I see a problem with you. What the fuck, dude? Listen, it's fine, okay? The gross spot is up there, okay? Those mushrooms are gonna be great. I, I don't know about that, man. Why are you being so mean? Huh? I, I just... I can so show you our gross spot. Mean. I'll show you our gross spot. I also, be mean. now that we have a second, we can talk. I spoke to many, many gangs, and I don't think... We, nobody knows what rep is tied to. So the thing you needed to tell me was you don't know something? Well, you, you said, you said, and I quote, you know what you have to do, you just don't want to do it. And that's like it, not even that's not even the truth. I feel like you having a rep thing means that the you rep, know it's something. The rep that, thing is not the rep thing is not through selling drugs. You know, ever because gangs do nothing but sell drugs, and their rep hasn't changed. They sell the drugs through the phone app. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is that the the it's probably through spending money through the phone app. But, like, I'm doing the math here, and it, the only thing that it really seems like is delivering weed packages, which is 100 buds each, for 100 crypto, which is 10 deliveries, which is 1,000 bud. That's insane to get I mean, all of that before it goes bad. I mean... Gotta work hard to make money, you know. I'm calling a fucking tow guy. Okay. A tow guy? Yes, he's roadside assistance. Oh. Uh, hey, how's it hey, going, Sky dude? Very good. How are you? Not good. Not good. My, uh... What? My car is it's having a bit of, uh... Water trouble. It's, uh, it's on a beach right now and got some water in the engine, I think. You need some, uh, need some assistance. Water trouble on a beach right now. Okay, okay. Which beach? Which beach? Uh, well, you know where the lighthouse is? Off of El Gordo Drive. It's up north. I'm sure I can find it. Oh, yeah. I, y yes, I remember this. It was, uh, I, I, I found a guy in the middle of the road once. All right, well, if you... to get oh, high tide rolling assistant. in, bud. Yeah, it rings a bell. If you come over there and you keep going down the uh, the path to the left, you'll you'll see me. I'm on, like, a dirt path. Oh, God. Man, that hey, sucks. Do you need food? Water? Do no, I need, need a... I need a... Even, yeah. I need a tow and maybe oh, some vehicle repair. Oh, that's all right. The, 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 the tow's a given. Yeah, all right. I'll be on the way. Okay? All right, I'll see you soon. Soon as, dude. pronto. All right, cheers. I'm upset. I'm upset. Guy's coming. Not be bug stars. Get their names. We'll sue them. You don't own the business yet. Not yet. Okay. Goodbye. I'm in, I'm in the middle of something, so I gotta go. What? Some some dudes, uh, call themselves bug, bug star? stars. Pretending to be bug stars. I mean, it's, it's not the like two you. Two old dudes that are running around all the time. Jarther and Yoni. Yeah. Guys are badass. What the? F Don't I want to. Be, I want to be just so like Jarther when I grow up. They're sullying my company. Don't do that. It's not your company. Not yet. Soon. You can't sue them for it. Soon, it will be all mine. <sighs> Listen, I'll show you the. Uh, this dude's name's Buck. Out in grapeseed, you know, he sells all sorts of shit. Butch. Whatever.
Oh my god. That's for us. Billy, baby. What? I know. Well, there's a bunch of packages still in it. Oh my god. Hey, everybody grab a package. All right. Where are you taking that, Billy? Where are we taking what? This van? Packages. Why are you taking them out? We're opening them. We're opening them. You guys take it out. You guys take them out. I'm just going to look at my car sat along in the mountain for a little bit more. <laughs> oh my god, I got some cute little earrings. <laughs> my car! I was going too fast, man. Where's this tow truck guy? You guys finding in there would you like to know i'm asking i'm not a child so so you know it used to just be like watches and earrings but somebody said that they found bricks of weed and cryptocurrency inside of them oh my uh. god i found a watch and some more earrings i'll put everything in the in the trunk so you can see um would it you good bryce you know, I'm good, dude. I'm just pissed about my car and pissed about you not being excited about my passion. Well, I... It's just, you know... What? I'm proud of you. What, dude? I'm gonna grow... I didn't grow, realize it was your passion until now. I'm gonna grow so many fucking mushrooms. Oh my god, I want mushrooms, please. I'd give him mushrooms. I think I'm at that point now where I'm hey. just gonna start actively stabbing people unless I get drugs. So, uh, it's over here. I don't know. Hey, how's it going, dude? So, it's I over see. It's like... over here, so I don't know if you'll be able to get it, but... It's down here. No, it's on the beach right there. Oh. <laughs> it's a long story. Listen, it's... It's, it's my friend's fault. I don't know if you can come down here or if you do how you'd get up Get back up. It's but uh, I mean you could try and uh, I don't know if you wanted to try and fix it there I feel like I could drive it on the beach over here I have to call the mechanic out. He said he'd uh, deal with you at the shop, but I thought you were a roadside this. assistance No, he's my guy and I he wouldn't come with me. I was telling him he might be needed. I'm gonna God call him. Dang him these freaking! I told him he would be better coming with me. I, I warned him. He's lazy ass. He just wants to sit down. I tell you. Ah. Uh, let me call him. I think they stole the truck, and the truck had a bunch of packages inside of it. Surprised. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the same dude that plays Frank Miller. Hello, you know you said you wanted me to bring this car to the mechanic shop? This tow. Was that you? Apologies. No. Yeah, it's kind of pretty hard to get to. It may need a mobile repair, pronto. It's, uh, it's kind of...
Hey, what's up? So it looks like scrap uh, copper is the most common. Yeah. And Dude. limestone is the rarest. Limestone, sand, and glass, and uh, steel. Silicon. Silicon. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, and silicon and paper seem to be the. You guys keep doing ones. this, but these mushrooms about to go crazy. Okay, I got mushrooms. Listen, I'm excited. You planted them. He did. I'll show you guys after this, but I need to get my car fixed. And the dude I said I needed repairs didn't bring a fucking repair guy with him. So what is he calling a repair guy now? Yes. <laughs> my my toolkit that I had went bad. Call me Mushroom Heimer. Is that guy a cop? <laughs> Is that the bit? Are we just in the Heimering things now? Hey. Wait, did you put it in shit? Did you put the. Wow, wow, wow. Call me Meth and Heimer. I'm the one that knocks. What? Life is not breaking bad, Bryce. You telling me that or you're telling yourself that? I might get the mechanics come in, but I might I might send it. Hey, you do you, we brother. I don't want to get your shit stuck in there too, you know. I uh, know oh it looks like a challenge. I'm way out of me. Feeling. If it all goes wrong, the mechanic will save us all, I'm sure. Follow your heart. Right. I know, right? Could get it. I agree, dude. I agree. I don't think with a tow truck, but I think. Uh, I, I think if we that. get another car and just drive it there and try to keep sacrificing cars to push your car back. Well, it needs to be like. Tow truck. I think someone could just repair it and then I could just drive it off. You think? I can just get a tow truck. Well, no, I mean, not because he's out of tow truck, but he didn't bring it. Didn't bring a I could get repair kit. Well, my repair kit broke. Some dude's it's coming to re repair it. I feel like this dude's gonna get fucking stuck though. PBH. Bro, thank you for actually being excited about my mushrooms. I'm so okay. excited about the mushrooms. We're gonna get fucking what can crazy. I I'm you showing you guys. You can have all the materials that are in the trunk of that car if you, if you let me have them. What do I even do if with you let that? Me try one. Deal. Deal. Okay, don't tell Easton. Okay. So you already have a guy for the sale then. All right. Perfect. But they gotta finish growing first. This one. Oh hey. Shiitake. The tide's coming in now. It's crazy. <laughs> you think you could do it, man? Uh, yeah. I mean, did this thing get waterlogged? Yeah, yeah, I think she got a little bit of water in her, man. All right, what's the uh, state ID? Uh, my state ID is uh, 3986. And, uh... Yeah. Love these roadside mechanics. OG shiitake. Oh, uh, I'm gonna wait for the tide to go down before I try to repair it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
I'm hoping it's timed well that uh, it doesn't immediately get waterlogged again. Yeah, fingers crossed, my dude. Fingers crossed. I appreciate you coming out here and helping out with it, though. You know, it's a bit of a sticky situation. Definitely well, interesting. How how did it get down here? Did you guys just accidentally slide off the edge there? Just going a little bit too fast, testing the uh, off-road and capabilities of this car. You know. Right. Yeah. Uh, it said it was repaired, but it doesn't look any different. Uh, it's uh. I mean, it looks looks all right to me. Hold on. Let me get this before this wave comes on. Let me see. Back it up, bro. Back it up. Looking good. All right, all right. Freedom. All right. Do you want me to? Uh, no, no, no. Do you want me to tow you back up? I think I can get up there, man. I think I can get up there. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, 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 yeah. All right, try it with the run up, or I'll tow you up if not. Yeah, just get that, get that momentum, get that momentum. Send it, send it, send it, send it. Skirt. Yeah. Hey. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for helping me out of this situation, my dudes. Price, pull up next to that van. Never seen mechanic work like this before. You guys have a good one. I really appreciate you. Help me move things over here, trunk. Nobody is in like the market to buy these. That tow truck, that tow, that tow truck guy just wanted donations. He didn't even do anything. He showed up here with no fucking repair kit. <laughs> the donkey. <sighs> okay, guys, what I'm about to show you is gonna be fucking a movie. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, this shit's about to get crazy, man. All right, everybody in the fun car that's newly repaired. Is it? It's still missing a hood. You're missing a hood, bro. We stashed this car somewhere I can't safe. get in. Uh, I mean, do you just want to ditch that one? I can't. I can't get in. I guess. I, I, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Move that. Move that, Billy. Move that bus. I... Here, hold on. Let me I... try something. Yeah, it is. They got some pickup. No, I can't. Okay, I can't I'll, I'll, I'll park it away. How about we just... Uh... Meet at the motel. Meet at the Irvine Inn. I'll follow you. Hell yeah. Where's this one? The Things are fast. Fuck, <laughs> I was trying to do a shortcut. Bye, Mario. We'll pick you up in a little bit. Have fun at daycare. Why is that guy going know. back there? My spot! 
You don't think he's coming to my mushrooms, do you? Is that what you have? Then? All right, goodbye, oh God. Nearby is. It's fine. He won't find him. He won't find him. Mario. Holy shit. <laughs> you guys okay? That one was almost really bad, man. I know. It was almost exactly what you did. You guys okay? Yeah, but then I stopped moving with the cop. Irvani. you wearing my growing outfit now oh, come on get in should we okay, take all we, the can we all swing the, you guys have all the stuff yeah we already did yeah did all right double check what do you need in harmony to sell this stuff where at the mechanic shop in harmony near my seat a roman Lost a uh, rock paper scissors with Bryce. He gets all of the money. What? Yeah. From the from the materials. No, because no, most of these materials are mine. Well, no, because we well, half I mean, of them are mine, Billy. You probably from shouldn't when? have mixed them in there then. Those were all from the boxes, you liar. Yes, Billy. Half of which were mine. But I found all of the boxes. Yeah, that's true. Billy found them. The boxes the other day that I lost my job to get. Those those materials went back. No, they off. They didn't. Prove it. No, I'm with Billy on this one. It's a two v one, bro. Shut the fuck up, Bryce. I need money. Well, how? Well, then I guess it would be half and half, right? If it was ten boxes from the other day and ten boxes. Why are from you today. giving the money to him? I rolled it. We rolled for it. I was gambling. When? when you, you were, were on away phone. on the phone, yeah. What? He was sad Billy. He was saluting his car. What? Stop. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to gamble days. now. I'm I need not allowed money. to gamble with OG Bryce Miller. Weed, He's my Billy, OG. We need money for weed I, uh, and crypto. He's my OG. I'm going by OG Shiitake actually for the rest of the day. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> fucking god. Oh, that's what you get for being abroad, Easton. Roman. Is Roman here or is Roman across the street? Yes. 
I've you never seen what do you use for conditioner? That shit's nutty. Actually, I use horse yeah, no, shampoo. Horse shampoo? Oh, yeah. That's okay. why it's so shiny. Yep. That's actually really clever. That's pretty good. I read about it in a magazine one time. Is it good for your skin, though? Mm, I don't think it's bad for it. Good for the horse, right? They say I mean, what's they good for the pot. horse is good for the hair. It's true. I'm just wondering what you're absorbing through your pores. Uh, I'm sure it's fun. Catabine. You start growing a tail, then maybe uh, maybe cut down to like once a week shampoo or something. Of course, people could be a new thing. We that. did bird people uh -huh. before. Where is, where is this dude? New? Uh, it's called centaurs. Oh my god, we can get centaurs. You heard them. Yeah. I'm gonna go check the. Uh, uh, Easton, what you got? In the trunk over here. Nice canvas, man. This thing is a classic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, dude. All right. So I buy, like I said, the, the scrap acronym, which is silicon. So let me grab that. Rubber. Let me grab that. You skipped a C. Oh, shit. Copper. I said it in my head, but my mouth did not understand what I was trying to think. Do you have any solid copper? No, you don't. Okay, so silicon, copper, rubber, uh, aluminium. Ooh, you have a nice, that's a nice amount. Thank you. I'll yeah. have that. Mm -hmm. And then plastic. Okay. Plastic, I fucking need a ton of. So, hell yes. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, for now, we do not buy steel, wood, glass, paper, sand, or limestone, but I'm pretty sure in the near future, I will literally be buying every single bit of material you have. But for now, unfortunately, we just got to stick to scrap. The, the acronym, S-C-R-A-P. Yeah. All right. My rates are $1 per refined and $0.10 cents per scrap. So a full uh, okay stack of scrap is like 20 bucks. I'm okay with that. Sounds good, dude. All right. Hell yeah. That's pretty much uh, the market rate uh, across the board. I used to pay, what, what was I used to paying? I used to pay $4 for uh, 200 scrap, and now it's like $20 for 200 scrap, so I'm glad that that went up. You ripped me off. Hey, I was speculating. No, Who I'm else is buying? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't no, care. No, no, I, I know I, you're kidding. I'm actually really proud that I fucking nailed the price of refined materials. Like I just said, you know what? $1 per sounds, sounds fair, and then that's what everybody wants to buy at. That's actually kind of what it let me do some uh, calculations here. I'll make it silent because I'm sh suck at math. Mm -hmm. All right, that comes down to of what I'm grabbing. It's 157. I'll round it up to 160. That's cool with me. Hell yes. All right, I grabbed everything I needed. Uh, who's state ID? One one five one. No. Yes. Oh. oh. No. Oh. It's one one five one. Billy him, said. Please. Billy said that I won the rock paper scissors. The one that you didn't have with me that dictates my money. Fuck off, Price. You're rich. One one five one. Mm -mm. Billy, he's not respecting the rock paper scissors. That I wasn't a, gotta, Why does his rock, paper, scissors dictate my money? Fuck you, Bryce! That's not what I mean. Well, I mean, half of it is his. Yeah, it's Billy's. I guess half one, one, one five, one. Uh, I mean, it just seems kind of... I, I feel like this is not resolved, but yeah. it did say it the number half, first. It would be half to one, 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 five, one. Five, one, 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 the five, half one. To... Uh, three, three, nine, nine eight, six. Roman, for the love six. of God, one, yeah. one, five, three, one. Nine, eight, six. Three, nine, eight, one, six. One, one, five, one, for the love of God, Roman. I mean, I don't know you very well, but I am telling you the truth. So I, I will say it's next time I, I am down to uh, agree the, the the resolution, the group resolution that's happening here. But Easton and I, we have a special history. You see? Yeah. We, okay. We well, it's it's, it's clear you don't respect rock paper scissors, Roman. I respect rock paper scissors. I don't respect somebody else playing rock paper scissors for my money, Bryce. You know, it's it's kind of weird to call it your money when Billy worked hard for that. That's true. One more five Billy, what? Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Kind of weird, bro. One by one moment. It's 
fine. He needs it. I mean, I look do. at him. I do need it. Disgusting. Oh. One, 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 five, one. There you go. Thank Don't you. Don't worry. This Thank is going to be his final fun. review. All right. Now, All right. now I, I do I do have to say that up here in Harmony, we do respect rock, paper, scissors outcomes. That is that is written stone law, but... I, Clear, I clearly, you don't. Clearly, you this are in this rock, them. paper, ignore scissors them. list future. But, no, I did not witness a rock, paper, scissors. That's why I have to trust Easton, See? man. I know. See? I, Trusting Easton. That's a good one, it. Roman. See? That's a good one. Oh, shut the fuck you up, have to Christ. witness it. That's a good this one, Roman. You're sucks. a funny I man. I hope you guys we, burn we down a squirrel. My ass. I think you know someone. What do you mean? Saying you think you know someone and then you just fucking you go against the goddamn him. farmer. Uh, Billy, you were right. What do you fucking mean? That's not good. Oof. Bryce, how much money do you have in your bank account right now? That don't answer that question. No, no. How much Does money do you have matter? in your bank account Billy right now, Bryce? Bet all of matter. the fucking materials in the back. He the can't dice roll. Bet the, the last time, that I earned. the last conversation that I heard before I went to bed is uh -huh. that everybody was gonna get together uh -huh. and they were gonna find a turf, and everybody uh -huh. was gonna be working towards doing a goal together. Yeah, no, we're not. Be working together. Well, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way, Billy. Uh, well, I w no. Let me put it this way, Billy. He doesn't want to get involved in the weed stuff, so I need this money for crypto so we can do that. I, you I'm don't dumb. want to get involved in the weed stuff either. You said I, I could be. I have to to get to the meth. Well, kind of a it weird. It all leads back to meth. All right, whatever, dude. Listen, I'm down for like silly shit, okay? But as far as spending my days breaking into cars, I'm good, you know. It takes a long time. Uh, all I just those think seven it's, seeds uh, that I got, and it, it kind of broke yeah. my will. How and I'm you know. Billy worked really well, we hard. Can buy weed now. Billy worked really hard stealing that van and getting the boxes just for you to kind of take it all from him. You didn't even That's ask him, man. You know, just kind of... Then I did roll at that hospital. Like, technically, I should have been dead last Thursday. Yeah, man. You're kind of a dick. Easton. Kind of a dick, Easton. I hope you can see that even clearer now. Yeah. With your special eyes. <laughs> That's even your real name. Yes, it's my real name. Why are you? Why is this a bit? This isn't a I bit. The other day, and I kind of like it. Listen. OG Shiitake is showing you this shit, what the all right? Hell? Whoa. Now listen, you can get greenhouses, but there's uh out of stock right now. But from what the way the dude's saying it, kind of seems like you know there might be another way to do. So I could buy some fucking mushrooms for my boy here. He's telling me he's telling me they're oh real good. Oh my god, but here. <laughs> Billy, you want me to buy you some corn seeds, bud? Wait, does this mean we can lockpick a food truck and start cooking our own food? That's what I think, you know, who knows, man? You're making your own ingredients. You could. But here, you want I mean, me? you can you can take these seeds and you can plant oh, them wherever. So Billy, do you want me to get you some corn? Yes, get some corn. How yeah, many corn get, seeds do you want? Get Billy as much corn as he wants, and then we're even. How many, how many corn seeds do you want, bud? <laughs> Plant them in the football field? Yeah, I don't know. Do what they say, okay, Easton, guys, and there's a will. You guys are totally going to get high off these mushrooms. Price. Gonna... Mm. 
Can you take me to the, the, the jewelry spot? No, Billy's got to plant his corn. Okay. Where should we plant the corn? I got the perfect plant... spot. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I don't have a, I still have my little trowel, but I don't have a watering can. We need water? That's okay. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. Billy, yeah? just start, start taking the seeds. They're in the glove box. What a great day. What a great day, bud. It's cone. I really like cone. Uh huh. Yeah, Billy see, really, Houston, Billy it's... really wants a, a food I want truck. A food truck is so fucking bad. Well, you have your... no idea how sad I was when the food trucks stopped being a thing in Vice City. I don't know what that means. The, they outlawed food trucks because of the health code violations because people were just using the gutter oil in like nail salons and shit. Oh. Ew. Yeah. When people started putting up fake like food health signs. Are you are you sure that those are psychedelic mushrooms? Dude, they're gonna be crazy. Are, yeah. What other yeah. mushrooms yeah. would they be, yeah. Ethan? Yeah. Well, you said one yourself, shiitake. I, I'm called myself shiitake. You don't fucking listen Sh to me. Shiitake is a type of mushroom that is not psychedelic. It's my name, bro. His name, bro. OG shiitake. The, the, the dr what you're thinking of is psilocybin, I think. I'm not talking about the mushroom I fucking planted. I'm talking about my name, Easton. No, I know. The mushroom you planted, it needs to be psilocybin in order to have a hallucinogenic effect. You just have to shit on it and then, and then you get hot. I don't think shitting on a mushroom turns into the psilocybin. I can't wait for you to, like, figure shit out about meth so I can just shit on that all day and be yeah. like, Well, actually, I I'm guarantee you're not going to get high if you shit on the meth like the, you do the, the purity of the meth, uh, you know, and... Uh, you the, wouldn't the even know how to check purity, you fuckhead. Oh, and you know how to check for psychedelic fucking mushrooms? Well, Fuck I you. would like to think that if they were being sold at oh, just like a, a place that was, you know, selling also corn. I don't corn. need you to think. I need okay. you to know, okay? And you don't know, so shut the I fuck up. I know we really up. lucked out. Really like a cow. I am the one that knocks, Easton. It's Easton, when you do meth too, are we going to throw pizzas on the roof? It, my life isn't breaking. I'm gonna fucking scream. Kind of breaking bad, bro. Kind of breaking bad. It's not bad. breaking bad. It might as well be. It might as well be. Come on, Billy. This is my gross this spot. Is, this is where we used to grow weed. You check this shit. <gasps> He's sprouting. Oh my god, oh, look at why this. Why does the mushroom have a stalk? He's sprouting. Can you oh my shut god. up? Can you shut up? Easton. Why did you say it like that? Just shut up, dude. Look at him. All right, Billy, start planning. Dude, I might I need really to get a watering like can. <laughs> Billy, where are you going to plant it, bro? I think right here seems like a good, right? Next to the water. Oh, yeah. yeah. One corn. Bang. Wow. One potato. Wow. Why do you keep hitting the deck, Bryce? I'm just admiring it from their level, bro. One cabbage. One garlic. Wow. I gotta figure out shit about it. Young, so they said. You uh, Latus. I only, I mean, I only see this one you planted over here. Have you been planting all these? How do you, yes, he has. I see all of them. Toe -toe? Oh, that's crazy. Oof. That's crazy, dude. Oh. We're on a hill. Careful. Dude, he might need a. Can you get like watering cans and shit from the store? I need to get some. I need to fuck around and get some, dude. You see all of them? Uh, just that one, but maybe that's just me. Did you see the corn? Yeah, I see the corn, bro. 
And my mushrooms right here. They're going to be crazy. This is the mushroom. This is Mario. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna go check for watering can and then I could take you where you need to go, Easton. Billy, are you sure you don't want to be in the Ballenheimer group chat? I don't like group chats. It drives me fucking crazy. Yeah, Why? I hate group chats. Silence just starts bro. liking everybody's group chats and you just. Yeah, oh. So, so far, it's just like, trashy it's talking so about. So it. Yeah. So far, it's just trashy telling us he's awake and. Facebook. It just trashy. Trashy just, Facebook keeps say, trash. trashy just keeps saying he's balling so hard he's like a nutsack. What do you well, think about trashy, Billy? Trashy, put 33% deed inside of the Bugstar's aerosol spray came, and then it melted this lady's face off when she tried to use it for a pest control. What the fuck? He's what? the lead of R&D at, at the Bugstar's. He looks like he just sniffs fucking pesticides in his off time. Yep. Yeah. And he wants You're to be wrong. a lawyer? For now. He's, he always fat shames people too. And this guy's a dick. People. Okay, you can't get off your fucking high horse price. You were saying that I was fat today. Oh yeah, you are fat. <laughs> See? I'm not fat shaming you. you. I'm just stating a fact. You chicken wings the other day for no good reason. For no reason at all. You're just you know like, what, you know Billy? what? Today's a I day to order 60 fucking boneless chicken wings. That. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Were they, were they, even, were they just flavorless? If I were fucking... to do that, which I did not, no, we saw you do that. they would be teriyaki. We saw you do that. Very weird choice. They would just choice, be teriyaki. Dude. Real odd choice. You, you got fucking. Uh, you got some Charlie Manson vibes going on right now. What do you mean? You know Charlie Manson? I know who Charles Manson is, yes. Uh, you got some vibes going on. Right Why? I'm not. I'm not. I don't. No. Ordering 60 ass, plain ass, fucking. I don't think Charles mess. Manson did that. Yeah, well. I think it would par. be, yeah, well. Kind of on par. It, no, it's not. Kind of on brand for you, Easton. No. Injured. Putting more cigarettes onto my arm now. Come up. You know, I think would enjoy this actually, though, Easton. Who? Opal. Opal? Yeah. Probably. She makes food and shit, doesn't she? She bakes. I don't. Was that like wheat stuff? Weed. Wheat. I don't know. And then, uh, I think uh, Lila might enjoy it too. How's it going? A Ooh, a towel, sponge. huh? Wonder if I need this towel. You, you said you have a towel, a trowel. Uh, yeah, I have a trowel. What do you use it for? Oh, I was digging up bodies in the cemetery. Ah, oh, okay. Uh. I was gonna say I'm curious if uh. I got a sweet gig. I'm curious. If I need one of those to dig it up or not. You got sucker! Oh god, that guy's gonna. Oh my god! I bumped into him and then I said it was the other guy's fault, but it was. Oh me my god, we gotta dip. 
Oh my god, I'm kind of curious who's gonna win though. No, that guy just decked his shit. You need to go to the, the dude off Clinton, Easton? Yeah. That's teriyaki. Fucking teriyaki. I just make a phone call. Teriyaki? Wait, you, you got teriyaki? Yeah, teriyaki. It's even worse than getting them plain. That's not even true at all. Yeah, because if they're plain, you can at least, like, make your own buffalo. What are or you willing honey to do barbecue? for money? Why would you go teriyaki before buffalo or honey barbecue? That's crazy. Honey barbecue is superior. A car place? What is the car place? You're selling cars for money? How would you like to make some real money? Selling cars. Real money. <laughs> Who knows, dude? This could be really efficient. Ten thousand dollars for the first job. We can be corn directors. Yes, directors it's real work. Corn. I can't discuss it over the phone. Oh, I really? Need to, I need you to go up to the lighthouse. Oh my Wait god! Wait for me there. Come alone. Don't <laughs> show them my gross spot. He does this with everybody. He made somebody you, for like five within minutes. Within the next like, hour. Really, I like this person. Don't scam them because we need gonna money. I'm going like, to well, move in with them. Money. I met this person for what, two what minutes and now I want to tell them everything that we've done. I just met this person. I'm going to okay. move in with them. Yeah, it's crazy. Right? It's crazy. My name uh -huh. is Easton. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Just I'm not going to. I'm, no, really I'm just telling. I'm sending her to the lighthouse. I'm not giving her work. Bombs for these terrorists. Who's her? I, know, I'm, I don't know. There's some lady that said we'll do anything for work, so I called her and I I just wanted to tell her that I was going to give her an outrageous amount of money and then make her go in the middle of nowhere. She went to our to our grow spot. No, she didn't. You sent her to the lighthouse, not bro. The lighthouse. the lighthouse is somebody's home. Dude, you sent her to the lighthouse, which is like right down the street from our grow spot. Not cool. Dick. What? How did the dick move, I shouldn't have shown you. I shouldn't have. Sh I should have just showed Billy. You see how excited and supportive Billy is? That's how I felt when I was showed the, the, the other spot the other day, and he was bringing the future mayor there. And whatever. So easy to rattle him. It's so fun. <laughs> Usually, he's usually the one that's always rattling everyone. Well, he is the rattling one. Oh. Show, me this, show me the spot, man. 50 bucks. Which spot? I genuinely don't care. You said you wanted to show me your other grow spot. What kind of vegetables can you, you got? The, can you swing by the bank and then we'll, we'll play. it's out of the city? Wait, I have a grow mm. spot in the city I can show you. It's kind of close to here. I mean, Easton said he wanted to show him. What's going on at fucking up and at him? I was going to show him the place that we decided on. You know, the hillside. Right there. That's my another gross spot I have. I'm going here first. Oh, wait, the cubby. Oh, wait, we upgraded to the cubby, didn't we? Yeah, the cubby now. The cubby. There's a cubby. I don't want to I don't want to live in a place called not the mine. cubby. I don't want to. I, I veto. Easton, Why? Easton's terms, not mine. I don't want to do that. Why? Us, man. It is it is by definition a cubby. Dude, PTSD. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fucking fly, man. Peacocks are scary. Kinda. I love the I'm Irvine Inn and I love our jacuzzi meetings. The Jacuzza are crazy. Okay. Is that the gang name? Are we the Jacuzza now? That's just yeah. we're not a gang. Okay. It's like you. Not a gang. We're the we're the Jacuzza. You know, a lot of these people leave their doors unlocked. Very funny. We can just we can just have our own pr prison in there. Yeah. This thing yeah. right here. So yeah. pull uh pull forward, just so we're off the street, then pull into this driveway. All right, come this way. Yeah, I forgot we were supposed to park What's the up, other stub? house. Guys are growing off this construction site. The 
cubby. This place sucks. What do you mean? Doesn't have any corn or shrooms. Not Shroom. yet. Not yet. It's calm. Stop pandering to Billy by saying that you're into corn. I'm not, now. dude. Just because you're not interested in it doesn't My mean it's Bryce fucking stupid. Bryce is so stupid. cool. He likes corn as just as much as me. Be cooler than you, Easton. He does not like corn as much as you, Billy. Dude, That's I fucking right. love corn. L. But not L. for me. L. Uh. Miss, miss, no. hold on. No. I want to see if I can just have that lady take no. you somewhere. That would be so wow. funny, right? Easton, what happened? What did I tell you about playing on top of high places, bro? You didn't tell me anything. You're not my dad. I could be. I saw him. Sure you did, buddy. I did. I saw Scruffy. Billy that was there. Wasn't, no, that was Sprunky. No, that was Scruffy. No, that was not Scruffy. That was Scruffy. Scruffy Doodle? That yeah. was Sprunky Poodle, Hot bro. like a toaster strudel? Go dumb, go dumb, oodles and poodles. Yeah, I saw him. All right, buddy. Blow up like no, I did. I did I, really did. I'm actually going to tell me you saw Shirley, huh? No, I haven't seen Shirley. But I was with I was with Cassius and I was with Billy and we ran, we bumped into Scruffy. Cassius got to meet Scruffy. It was very nice. I said it was that guy's name was Scrunky Poodle. Okay, but then it was, I asked if it was my dad and he said, yes, it was my father. I think you hallucinated that. I didn't. You're scaring me, son. I'm painfully sober. You can tell. You're not you and you're sober. I know. I'm a park. What do you to do this time? Go dumb, go dumb. Hey, motherfuckers uh, out here. Racks and racks, oodles and poodles. They called me Shadow. That's even better. I'm Shadow. Damn. What happened to you? Uh, I think we're going to have to amputate. He was playing on a high me. place and he jumped oh. off and has oh. covered in boo-boos oh. now. Billy. I mean, classic Billy. East, to Billy. be honest. So, state to the morgue? Yeah, yeah so. I'd say. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Feel like you broke anything? Or... Oh, is, is Easton trying to run away and skip medical? Somewhere I'm just seeing You know what? I, I, this is weird. I'm just going to wait outside. Where to go, Easton? <laughs> Racks and racks, oodles and poodles. What time is it? Okay, I got like, I got like 40 minutes until it's time for D and D. Mm-hmm. 
I see, uh, I see Joe made a, uh, made a cop character. He was telling me about it. Do some ride-alongs. Can't do a ride-along today. Because we got D&D. &D. I mean, I guess if he's still waiting around, I can, I can help him out. There was a... There was a thing that was saying that someone needs to take his cop out and see where he's at. But, uh... You know, we're busy for the next, like, three hours or so. Unless he's still waiting. You ever played a cop before? I think he. Uh, someone was saying that he played like a month in Ignite. Like, like cop for a month. Is he dead? No. Fuck. He just left brain dead for a second. He's drooling on himself. I feel like you have that effect on people, bro. I was telling him that Irish sent us a postcard. Who? Irish? McIrish? What does the postcard say? I'm, I mean, I can show it to you if you want. Sure. Or just tell me what it said. I'm well, I can't. Billy. Billy, I were sent us a postcard. I sent, I, I showed it to you. I know it's in my scrapbook. Why do you have a scrapbook? Let I Billy have, have his hobbies. Jesus, Billy, well, why I are you doing I corn? Don't... Why are you growing this? Why are you having fun? Why do you have a I scrapbook? I know why he's Fuck doing corn. Off, dude. I, love I, I know why he's doing corn. He loves corn. I really like the cone. I just never, I just never heard that he had a scrapbook until now. People have hobbies, I'm man. Curious about it. It's not all about you and your drug obsession. I'm, what the fuck? I can take you a picture of my scrapbook eventually. I'm just speaking straight facts, okay, man. Well, I what, he said, what he said was to Easton and Billy. Do the Irish voice. Oh, I'm not doing that. Do the Irish voice. No. That's... No. no I'm not. Do the, do I'm the, not the, no. It's what he would want. No, it really isn't. It's what he would want. Two Easton and Billy. Oh well, if it is. isn't Mr. I don't know Mr. who this is from. Irish McIrish. I, I, you got me surprised because it doesn't sound like him. No. I can't do it without being offensive. I don't. He think. goes, Billy, put the shotgun down. Billy, put the shotgun down. Yeah, that's what that was his catchphrase. Just say it normally. Two, East, fine. two Easton and Billy. Oh, oh well, cool. if it so isn't I'm not Mr. Even, I will, like included in this. I will. Leave, I will send the postcard. If it isn't mister, I will send a postcard when I leave. I'm not dead. I got deported shortly after you two left. But after my time elapsed and the good legal system of Vice City forgot, I got a real vi visa. And this time, hopefully we'll be good this time around. Hope Los Santos is good. Irish. Oh, buddy. Why did you stop? It's a red light. Now it's green. We, we need to get Billy. Billy, get right, in. I couldn't get in. Billy, get in. I couldn't what get are in you doing? Time. Stop being mean to Billy. I'm not. You're being mean to Billy. Yes, hello. Okay. Why are why are there so many people recently that are like didn't mean to call you? But <laughs> why? I have a text message. You yeah, send me a period. Oh. Let me guess. You didn't mean to call me? No, I did. What do you want? Bank, Bryce. Bank. Hold on. I'm on the phone real quick. Bank, Bryce. Easton, hold on. I'm on the phone. No, you're not. 
Hey, you guys think if we, uh, cover the entire football field in corn, it'll be like that one scene in Blue Mountain State? <laughs> Which one? The, like, oh, last game. There's only one way to find out. Want to cover the thing in corn? Where he builds, he makes a football field in the middle of a cornfield. I don't think it would actually be that expensive. It would be very expensive. Well, first I gotta figure out how to tend to these crops appropriately. I well, if it's anything like marijuana, which you know, they're both crops that are grown. You know, hemp and wow, thanks whatever. Wow, so much, Easton. What? They're both like, they're both agricultural crops. I'm trying to help you. What else is an agricultural crop, Easton? I have experience growing things. You just, you plant it. My name's Easton. I, I do drugs, so I know how, everything about farming. Easton, you know what you grow the most? Descent between the group. True, man. Even more than trashy. Careful, it's a it's a oh, wax floor. Wax floor, Billy. I got money. Floor, wax floor. I, got money. <laughs> I got paid. You paid me. Oh. oh my God, I have almost four hundred dollars in the bank. Nice. This is the most amount of money I've had oh. since I moved here. That's not true. You had two thousand at one point. Yes, yeah, since I moved here. Bryce, god damn it! It's really Find your slippery, footing. bro. Find your footing, god damn it! It's so slippery. Oh, Billy! Oh my Careful, god! Careful, Billy! It's so so it's slippery, okay. dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, hello, Karen. Tell Karen to come help with. What do you what do you mean? Oh thank goodness I saved the Ooh. <laughs> I, I I don't know anybody like that. Careful, Easton, it's freshly if you, waxed. If you find anyone like that, I'll let it's you know. It's freshly waxed, Easton, careful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Easton, careful! <laughs> I don't know what I got all that money for, but I sure did. No problem. Yeah, we're doing. Yeah, you did it. What did my car get on the? Whatever. I don't know. Oh fuck! Did I? Oops. That's not good. What? Okay. You good? You know that guy? No. He neither. Okay. He walked up to it and said, say the thing. Yeah, I thought he was going to say it. What's the thing? I don't know. I just was going to see what he would come up with. Because he was a clown. What do you mean he's a clown? Can we replace... Oh, a can we replace Trashy for Billy? Oh my god. Reading some salutations. We don't need, we don't need to replace person. anybody. I Why would we replace anybody? Getting out of these overalls. I 
Why is there so many people talking right here? I don't know. There's a lot of people talking over here, though. What do you mean? You hear that? No. Top of truck. Can you stop to let him get in? I'm trying, bro. He's got to be quick. Excuse me, sir. Where did you, where did you buy such a great taco truck? Uh oh, really? Hey, Shadow. I don't know, cause I'm Billy's keeper. I guess I don't know. We found other goths, like a Locked. worrying amount of them. They don't have them for sale. Yes. We do not need more goth Shadow. <laughs> I'm going so back up to Irvine Inn because I got to take care of some dirt. What did you hold on? What did you just say, Bryce? I'm taking you back to Irvine Inn because I got to take care of some stuff. Oh, of course you do. Sorry. Do you want to walk? No. And stop complaining. Nothing. Where are you at the Irvine Inn? Why? Can you can you swing by PDM to pick up Shadow and then take us up to the Irvine Inn? Bryce? <sighs> Yeah. I was just in the hospital. Nah, nah. Well, actually, yeah. Just to, just drop us off a PDM, and then you can go wherever. All right. He's got a car down. Dude, when are we re when are we reconvening oh. to the serenaded Mario? Dude, well, I need to. I, I'm gonna check on him in a little bit. Once I'm, I'll, I'll be back around in a few, but I need All right, to check on him. him. Okay, Shadow, I'll be there in a second. I was playing classical music for Mario earlier because I read somewhere that that's good for the plants. God, Isn't that like a thing for a baby? The trash thing too. It is Bryce, my baby. Have you done trash yet? I have done trash. It's pretty fun, with the, dude. With the arms. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Just impaling other people. Can you flip cars with it? Uh, if you try hard enough, yeah. The only thing that I have I don't like about trash is that like. Well, I guess it's not that big of a problem, but like. Oh. If you were to do it with another person, you would have to like return your car and just get in with them already. Yeah. Hey Legos, thanks for the raid. That's what I did. Well, it's pretty fun. Oh, pretty fun. Do you still get paid? Yes. Yeah, I still got paid. Hope you had a great stream. Trash people now. Yeah. We could be the trash gang. Do you want to do that? And we trash can gang. Split it's a, it's a, it's a two-person thing us. though. You little Can't thief? Hang off what do you it. mean, thief? But everybody gets their Why own. Why are you calling me a little thief? Use the claws to just power me. I steal my okay. money. Come on, Billy. It could be my money. All right, Bryce, give me a call. Bryce, when you're did good. you feed them and everything? Are they good? No, they haven't been fed yet. You need to feed them, okay? All right. Come on, boys. Let's go. Bye, guys. Bryce, Bryce is a father now to some mushrooms that are growing in a very special spot. No thanks to Ray. And he's growing very well. We were playing classical music for him. Little Mario. And uh, he's doing great. What do you think? You don't think they're gonna call CPS on me, right? For that six strings? Fuck. That's crazy. Hope you had a good stream, though. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders! We're actually, uh, wrapping up roleplay and going into, uh, D, D for a little bit, and then we'll do more roleplay. We got a bi-weekly D&D &D campaign that we've been doing for a while. It's going on. My guy can shapeshift into animals. And we also have two magical items. One that's an infinite thing of, of cake. 
and another that's an infinite source of milk that I can use as a weapon and to heal people. So it's pretty serious. It's pretty serious. It's really cool. I flooded an entire place once with it. I milk boarded a guy for information with it. I put a towel over his face and I and I just non-stop poured milk over it until he answered. It's pretty badass. Yeah, we're leaving roleplay to roleplay and then we'll be back to roleplay. Thank you, Legos. Have a good rest of your day. It's corn. It's got the juice. It's got the juice. Mm -mm. Yeah, and, and Scorp. Scorp. That scorpion. I tell you what, though, I need to get some food before we do D and D. I need to get some food. Because I am le hungry. Ex-wife, happy life. Close, that close anymore, to be honest. I floating cat, cute kitty. Motel cat. The cat for mo short for motel cat. I like that. I like that. Home sweet home. Uh. All right. I uh, I'm gonna grab some food real quick, and then we're gonna get into D and D. Sound good? Let me change the title. We're back.
All right. I'm all ready. I'm all ready for this D and D. I'm all ready. Thank you for waiting, chat. Sorry, that took a minute. <coughs> Your plate, some leftover chili. Hello? Zach? Hello? Ah, hey. Hey, how's it going? It's going, man. It's going. Nice. Nice. You excited to whip out your milk powers? I'm ready. Do I have any anything new? No, but we will probably level up after this session. Um, hey, question. I don't know if you remember this either. Did you guys trap those dragons or not? I didn't write it down. No, we didn't trap them. They left. I tried okay. to trap one of them, but I failed. And they. Uh, oh, that's right. They they dipped. Okay. So nothing's trapped in the sword right now. Um, currently not right now. No. Okay. Cool. Cool. I don't think we check no, no because right. we because we trapped the. Uh, uh, we trapped some people in it. It was just for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Nice DM. Not even taking notes. Yo, I took notes, but I didn't. I didn't write anything about the dragon, which I thought was funny. Like in all my notes, it's like all these like names and stuff, and locations, and, but no, nothing about the dragons. I feel like the dragons and, were pretty important too, because them and freaking Rainbow's character had that like. Well, big standoff. So the dragon. So initially, the, so the point of the dragons was actually to take the sword away from you guys. You guys were not supposed to get the sword. So that's why it threw me off. Because I was like, oh, <laughs> right. They, they were able to get the sword away from these yeah. dragons. Like, they have this item now. So, yeah, so I probably just completely forgot about it. But, yeah, the whole point of them was to take the sword so you guys didn't they have, didn't. like, this super powerful magic item that you now have. Yeah, I know. I have a question. Am I yeah. able to put the DM in the sword? No. You can't? What What would you do? How would you continue your story? It's just a question. Can you trap me in the sword? Okay, you know what? Roll for it. You get a 20 right now. Yes. <clears throat> I have nothing. <laughs> What'd you get? I rolled a nat 20. All right, you're DMing today, Lucas. I could. Tra I'll that's only later. if I trap you in the store. Let's fucking go! Holy shit! Rachel. 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 Lu Lucas ruined D and D. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you roll in that twenty? What the hell? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The odds of that. I know. I know, I know. I have to open this. So, but now I can. It wasn't necessarily that I did. It's that, uh. You can't. I you can. have the option. 
Right. This is this is great. This is great. <laughs> Lucas, I've had to write more custom rules for you than anyone. <laughs> Why? <else. laughs> Just because you uh, think outside the box. Hell yeah. I've read up a whole milk subset. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't play by no rules. I know. I know, I know. Is Rachel, Rachel, is Rachel can, here. You, can you hear She's her? pretending. I'm so stressed out. Why? Guys, now I have to rush to get everything <laughs> set up. What if I made a fire alarm sound? No. Guys, how is B the one who's late today? B's always so sauce early. Sauce isn't even here. Yeah, that's the sauce that's is good, always man. late. Rainbow or <laughs> Rachel, good. I um, hmm. you know that special sword we got? What? Where? Can trap when? people Where? in the Who? in the yeah? sword. Mm-hmm. I asked Zach if I could trap the him as the DM in the sword, and he said only if you roll a, a twenty. And I <laughs> rolled a twenty. What? It's gonna be an interesting <laughs> session <Yeah>. today. <laughs> so if he wants to, Lucas can trap me in the sword. Oh. Actually, in that case, I put Rachel in charge. So Lucas, what? if you do no, 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 Rachel no, no, is no, DM no, for the rest no, of the no, session. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay that, that is the rules. No, 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 no. I'm okay with that. No, Rachel, this is great. Oh You'll my gosh, great. the fire alarm is going off again. This no, is crazy. Not, I, I gotta go. It. No, it's not. Yeah, we would hear it. So, gotta go. It's crazy, wild. <laughs> Being a DM's fun. No, no. Just a lot of rules. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, B's computer, please screen. Nice. What's with everyone of these excuses? Sauce <laughs> I legit had a fire alarm! Sauce isn't even coming up with an excuse. In fact, 30 minutes ago, yeah. he said, we're doing it in 30 minutes, right? Yeah, exactly. He we said, he said, he oh shit, I'm coming. I forgot. He asked a half hour ago. It's in 30 minutes, right? Yeah, and Sauce is the one who wants to play this more often. <laughs> even be here yeah he was asking if we could play weekly <laughs> god okay well i scratch off i'll put away for me b likes to get in on the recap oh i hear a fire i feel i hear a siren no you're fine i legit do <laughs> that's responding to the fire alarm from i earlier. can't i can't hear anything yeah. I die during the campaign today. Question. Great knowing you, you guys. If the DM goes into the sword and then Rachel goes into the sword, no. who gets who gets <laughs> the DM? Ooh. Yeah, send um, me in too, please. Look, you're the one putting everyone in the sword, so you're going to be the last on the list. I guess I put Rainbow in next, then Sauce, and then you. Because if you go in, then who's going to put people in the sword, you know? Hell yeah. I'm just going to put everyone in. The sword, and then we're gonna play Pal World, and we're just gonna get real immersive. That if Pal World is inside the the sword, yeah, yeah. Pal World Friday, Rachel, be there. Pal World, okay. Friday, Rachel. On Game Pass. I don't have any of that stuff, but okay. Well, I'll help you figure it out. Anyways, Pokemon with guns. What more could you want? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Why do you sound like you're underwater? Me? <laughs> hey, Sauce. Yes. How do I? Why do I sound like I'm underwater? You're fine now. You're, you're fine good now. now. You're fine now. Oh. <laughs> you said hello. Oh. <laughs> Yo, chill, dude. I'm sorry. Welcome, Sauce. Sauce, you beat Rainbow. That's impressive. Yeah. <sighs> By the way, uh, Sauce, uh, Lucas can now put me in the sword whenever he wants. So. He rolled yep. a nat 24. Yep. I sure <laughs> did. I sure freaking did. Yeah. Rainbow. So, yeah. We got to tell I, Rainbow that too. What? Huh? I can put the DM oh, uh, in the sword now because I rolled a nat 20 for it. Nice. 
Yeah. The most busted item <laughs> we've gotten so far. I can't wait. Yeah. 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 Let's see where we are. Um, all right, guys. Let's recap what happened last time. We'll get right into it. So yeah. last time we played, you guys reconvened in the bar, in the tavern, after Tyler's birthday party gone wrong. After many drinks and some heartfelt back and forth, you guys decided your next step was to be was going to be to head to the town of Iltheos on the border of Kyrnos to see uh, what is up with uh, Scout's dad. Maybe get to the bottom and find some answers um, about all of that. As you guys headed to bed, you were rudely awoken in the middle of the night by a knight who claimed that he was sent to retrieve Tylor because his uh, father's throne was now vacated and absent and that there was going to be a claim for that throne and that it is in his master's best interest that Tyler is the one who retains the throne of his kingdom. Then you would learn that there was two potential princes in your party. Uh, you guys then uh, decided on a new route where you would head to Kyrnos first and then make your way up, rally some troops, and eventually arrive at Tylor's uh, old house to try and reclaim that throne as well. You guys had a good game plan and decided to all hide away in uh, this knight's sword so that you would be able to sneak out of the city undetected. Unfortunately, the knight was instantly killed, uh, leaving only Scorp behind uh, to try and find a way to get you guys out of the sword. After many long days spent inside the sword, uh, you guys are eventually freed in the middle of the Feywild, where you discover that two dragons had taken the sword as their own personal treasure, uh, and they uh, and Scorp had currently run away with it. You guys were preparing for a fight that was not going to end well before Shaneth was able to talk to the dragons and administer some sympathy from them. Uh, the dragons agreed to give you guys the sword and parted, looking very sad at Shaneth's current state. Uh, you guys picked yourselves back up and headed into the forest behind you where Ember realized she knew exactly where this was. In fact, it's the forest next to her old home village. She knew a way to navigate you guys there. Potentially from there, you could get back to the mortal plane and continue on your journey. Uh, as you uh, guys uh, headed uh, into the um, uh forest you came across a couple of other eladrin one of them variel who is the princess of the village that ember comes from uh was not nice to anybody especially ember and seemed to imply that ember couldn't attune to different seasons being stuck in the fall season uh and you know was overall around the worst you guys threatened them by putting them in the sword and they ran off saying that you would regret this as you guys laughed your way to bed uh in the middle of the night the end of last session, Scout uh, had somebody break into his tent. A small, uh, fairy-like creature that resembled perhaps a small boy, but, you know, with definitely a lot more magical essence, wearing a strange mask, managed to sneak in and steal his hammer and proceeded to bolt out of there as fast as possible. Scout proceeded to follow uh, in the middle of the night, fast in tow, while the rest of you all remained asleep. And that's where our session picks up today. So, uh, you guys wake up uh, in the morning uh, as you guys kind of pitch your tents, gather your supplies, look around the beauty of the Feywild still surrounding you, these large trees, the uh, arcane kind of coursing through the air, this magic energy that seems to make you feel more energetic, more youthful, uh, but uh, yeah, as you guys clean up your stuff, you guys realize that Scout has not come out of his tent yet. Okay. Tyler's, um, Tyler's asleep. He's snoozing. He's eating. <laughs> are we are we able to like open the tent and peek in for him? Um. Yeah. You. You. Yeah. <laughs> you peek in, Shaneth. Uh, you don't see. Uh, scout in there at all what does this tent look like again on the inside isn't it like super nerdy it's very scout? minimalist uh, oh right there is like it's very clean well kept there's a, a, a desk one chair one cup <laughs> like one pillow like a little cot 
So this is like this is like very... the saddest thing Shana has ever seen outside of her own reflection. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Bar. <laughs> okay. But he's not in there. Uh no. no. Scout? Uh, you She's call around, it. Shaneth, um, and you've been like, also, you like look around the tent, look around their campsite, and go ahead and give me an investigation check. I'm gonna use my new dice with the eyeballs all over it. I'm so oh, excited. Oh, right, and dice, these, and dice. These, these came in the other day, and I literally ran to the mailbox for them. I'm so excited. I wanted to buy these during TwitchCon, but they sold out before I could. That's not a great first roll. Um, it is a nine plus, she said investigation. Yeah. Uh, nine plus four, 10, 11, 12, 13, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? Yeah, 13. 13. Okay. 13 is, uh, good enough. Uh, you notice footprints, two pairs. One of them seems to be really light, uh, as if the person with those prints is barely touching the ground. It's kind of a circular shape. And the other seems to be, uh, you know. Uh, these like kind of combat boots, the, you know, similar to probably the shoes that you would see Scout wearing, and they seem to lead circular, off circular, like tiny little pegs, just kind of tip tapping on the ground. Yeah, yeah, like tiny little pegs. Yeah, my chasing He's got a little jaw feet. He's got little hoof feet. <laughs> um, and you see these these uh, footprints trail off into the forest a little bit. Uh oh. Um, Ember. Yeah. Do you know what these might be? And she'll point at the tiny little, tiny little footprints. Hmm. I don't know. Do I? Ember, make a hist- <laughs> Yeah, Ember, make a history check with advantage. She so roll twice. Take the higher of the two. Hell yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Respect. Ember, yeah, you uh, recognize these belong to the whatnots. Uh, they're a <laughs> base spirit that kind of uh, exists to serve a greater fae master. So whether that's they're called like another, whatnots? Yeah, they're called whatnots. That is the cutest shit. Um, as you look at them, uh, as you look at these prints, you recognize that, uh, you know, these beings normally serve either, like, another Aladrin master, who is, like, much more powerful, you know, uh, or a beast of the Feywild, something that is more intelligent, more noble, um, and these are kind of, like, the little servants, for lack of a better word, that kind of work under these greater beings. Um, you know that it's incredibly rare to see them out and about, they usually stick to the shadows, uh, and they don't like to make their presence known, especially to people who are foreign to the Feywild. So, you know, all your friends, you know, don't, you know, normally belong here. So it, it strikes you as quite odd that they would make their self's presence in such a camp full of, you know, people from the mortal plane. Now, there's usually a visual difference between a walking footprint and a running footprint. Um, does it look like they're walking or running? Uh, running. Yeah, it looks like they're running. Okay. All right. It doesn't look like anything's being dragged. Uh, no, not that you see. I'm gonna uh... peek into the tent. Okay. What do you uh, What do you want to look for? Uh, signs of a struggle. Signs of anything like missing. I guess. Uh, Shane yeah. doesn't know what this usually looks like, but like, is there anything like? Like a like, a, did he have? A, I forget if he has a shield or something or whatever. Um, oh, you can make a perception check. Yeah, she's basically looking for like, did did he get robbed and 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 chased after him, or did they go running off to play? You said perception. Oh, that's way better. That is a thirteen plus four. Um, it looks like whatever here, uh, whatever happens here. Uh, they left in an in extreme hurry. Uh, you can see that, you know, uh, there's some of Scout's gear that he uh, left behind uh, that normally he would keep with him. But he did seem to take, like, his essentials, you know, uh, stuff that he would need. You know, he can just, like, grab, get up and go. But it looks like he, you know, bolted out of here. The bed still looks messy. Uh, you can see that there's a small indent 
near his bed where it looks like maybe like a hammer would lay that's currently also gone um but yeah it looks like it was a fast get out of here you don't see so it doesn't, it doesn't look like he was attacked it's just a normal he got out of here in a hurry exactly okay I don't think we have much choice but to follow. Is T is Tyler still asleep? Tyler's, oh, Tyler's still EP. He's still snoozing. <laughs> what an EP boy! Oh, Everyone will go up to Tyler and nudge his shoulder and say, "Tyler, wake up!" Tyler. Tyler's still asleep, and I feel like she has to roll for this. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, Ember, go ahead and uh, roll a persuasion roll to try up. and wake him up. Oh, I'll be so persuasive. You better... I hate everything. I mean, no, that's not uh, bad. I feel like anything over well, a 10 is usually pretty respectable. Yeah, it's pretty respectable. Um, For a loser. What the heck? Tyler, Tyler. a like lot coming from you, nerd boy. <laughs> Tyler, you, you were dreaming of like... And you know, chilling with I'm having a great maybe. time. Um, and then you just see this giant ember come into your dream, shouting at you to wake up. I'm turning Boy. over. I'm turning <laughs> over. <laughs> you try, no matter how much you flip up, Tyler, ember's just in your face, yelling at you to wake up. I haunt your nightmares. Do I have my sword in my dreams? Oh, what? no. No, your sword seems to be absent. Ah, fine, I wake up. I wake up. What? <laughs> he was gonna try uh, to sleep the whole session. <laughs> Scout's missing. Okay, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Tyler, we have to go. Uh, where? What are you? Is, was he missing, or is he just walking, or something? Where is he? He, he ran off somewhere after something. Is he in danger? I don't know. We woke up and he was gone. He was probably just peeing or something. He morning. is a foreigner <laughs> here. He might be in danger. So we sure are things out not. here that could kill us. Uh, He's out there alone. Uh, Tyler's going to remotely <laughs> get up and just be real upset. You can have about your it. cake and milk as we walk. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm walking. Can we like walking. collapse Scout's tent ourselves before we go? Is that like. Yeah, you can take a tent with you. Yeah. Um, you guys collapse your tents, uh, and then you guys begin to follow uh, these footsteps. You guys better pray um, you put it back the way Scout would, or he's going to have a fit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tyler's, Gosh, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler put it up, and he just crumpled it Do up. Do we roll for it? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, should we roll for it? how well we, we roll put for how well we put it back together? All of you, all of you just Three, roll, no one cares. roll a... Uh, Dexterity Slide a hand. Slide a hand. hand. Oh, oh god, where oh. is that? I have to know. Oh, I only have a plus one. I have a plus two. Ooh! 19! Nice. Two 19s. What a time. I got a plus three, baby. <laughs> <laughs> very, used to, very used to these oh, tents. No. So we know how it to looks... set them up and take them down. Yes. Yeah, you guys, you guys, but Tyler doesn't. So you guys set it up. <laughs> you just take it really? Up, that's really fitting nice for thing. his character. And then Tyler just like messes it up a little bit at the end. Uh, nobody really notices, but yeah, Tyler just like maybe like leaves something out, jarring a little bit, crumples it up in the wrong way. Um, well, if anything's wrong, we'll just blame Tyler. Because <laughs> we right. know we did a good job. It's going to be the only thing Scout thinks about. <laughs> um, There's gonna be something that's just like two inches off to the left. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys begin to follow these footsteps into the woods. Um, Ember, you quickly realize you guys are going deeper into the woods. The path you were leading them on before was taking them, you know, kind of along the outside, trying to just cut through to your village. But these footprints you're currently following are, uh, you know, taking you deeper into like the center, the heart of this uh, forest. Um, somewhere that you were probably often warned about as a child not to go. Um, but uh, yeah, as you guys proceed further, the, the woods seem to even grow denser. You're not even sure quite how that's possible, considering these forests are kind of already stacked up on each other. But, you know, the, the woods kind of is spread out in every direction now. And this blue arcane essence is growing thicker and thicker the closer you get to the center. Um, as you guys come across a small stream 
uh, bisecting the uh, forest in front of you. You can see the water is is glowing blue at this point, which is how much you know arcane is in the air. But you notice Scout's war banner, the thing he wears around his waist uh, at all times. This this scrap of cloth with this hammer on it seems to be uh, stuck like on a twig, and it's just kind of like floating in the river. I'm a milk glass, oh. so it. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you milk glass went over to you. Uh, you retrieve. Uh, like Spider Man. Yeah, you retrieve the banner. <laughs> Stick it around. You, uh, you you take his banner back. Um, uh, but you guys uh, notice that the uh, footprints uh, around here seem to get more like jumbled up. Like it looks like there is like some sort of. Maybe confrontation or struggle or something here. Okay. Uh, should we check the lake, the, the whatever the water? Like in in the water? Yeah. Not a bad idea. Uh, Amber will walk over to the water and look and see if she sees anything else. Uh, yeah, so uh, the water is like it's so blue at this point and glowing that you can't see through it. Um, you would have to like if you wanted to like look through it or into it, you'd have to just reach down, you know, or okay. use a stick or something like that. Ah, uh, she will grab a stick and start poking around the water, poking it with a stick. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, poking the water with a stick. Uh, um... go ahead and make a uh survival check for me i'm gonna regret this decision now what kind of is this like remind me is this, i've already forgotten is this a pond is it a river it's a small like a like a little stream it is a stream. uh yeah 14 you poke around at the bottom looking for something else that might be of note um and you don't seem to find anything uh with your stick mm. at least uh nothing's here i don't see scout or this creature i'm gonna do an experiment because the range of message is 120 feet i'm gonna try casting message to just call out scout where are you um can you uh can you remind me to text a message uh does it have to be on the same plane I believe so. It doesn't say anything about that, but I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, uh, you point your finger toward a creature within range and whisper a message. The target and only target hears a message can reply. You can cast the spell through solid objects if you are familiar with the target and know it is be and know it is beyond the barrier. Magical mm. silence, one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood blocks the spell. Okay. The spell Where does not have to follow a straight line and can freely travel around corners or through openings. Where are you pointing your finger? Uh, is like there's there's footprints still, right? Uh, there are there are footprints, but they're not they're not trailing off. As you get a look at them, the footprints seem oh, to no, be like they're still here? circling around this stream, as if there was some sort of struggle here. I'm pointing toward the stream. Okay, uh, what was your message again? Scout, are you here? Where are you? Scout? Uh, well, I'm not going to get into exactly what's going on yet, but oh, no. uh, Scout, you, you you can reply to this message. Um, if they bring I will the say, I will say uh, the information you know right now is you're not sure where you are. It's dark, and there is a large chapel in front of you. Going to the mm. <laughs> Gonna get married. Okay, the message was what exactly? Scout, are you here? Where are you? <laughs> um. No. <laughs> it's really, Incredible. really good comms. Really good. Hey, comms but it horrible. helps. We know he's in this range. You know, best Maybe. comms. Best comms. He's within 120 <laughs> feet of us, and I pointed at the water, 
and I got an answer, I'm and he's not very dead. out of breath. Just no, no. The fuck? <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Um. So he sounds out of breath. Does he sound distressed? Incredibly so. Okay. Uh, I really, I, I just gesturing at the stream. I pointed, I asked, and he replied. You can do it again, right? I can. It's a it's a cantrip. Okay. But I'm just relating to everybody else. Just. Okay. Uh, this, can Tyler tell you a message? Can I tell you a message to send to him? Sure. Try this one. Uh, Scout, it's oh, Tyler. No. <laughs> Is that the whole message? Yeah, send message. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I will cast message again, still toward the river. Yeah. Uh, Scout, Tyler wants me to tell you that it's Tyler... Where are you? I didn't say that last part. He doesn't hear me say it. I don't think. Hold on. Do you have to? Do you have to say it out loud? I do. Oh. I don't care. Definitely hears you. I don't care. We need useful information still. Scout, uh, you vaguely remember going into the water. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Water. I. I. I don't my hammer. I need my hammer. Okay, wait. Okay. He he was he was chasing someone over his hammer. Mm. You say where he last was? This. <laughs> <laughs> this? He 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 said water. I'm uh, so He said his hammer and water? So he's in the water? I, I step into the water. Uh Okay, uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw, okay. Let's do wisdom save. It is plus two, okay. I keep forgetting that my charisma and my con is the only thing I have, like, a bonus to. Uh, 13. I got an 11. 13? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys see a shade of steps into the water. Um, she begins to... Looks like she's shrinking. Um, and then I'm she baby? disappears. Oh. Yeah. You shrink to like a little, little tiny size and then pop, she's gone. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Interesting. Mm. Tyler, you, you want to go next? Want... Tyler pushes Ember in. <laughs> <laughs> Ember, make a I wisdom that, saving throw. Ember just keeps getting pushed into shit. <laughs> I never thought that I would for the last time to my Tyler. Sometimes you just need a little push, Ember. Sometimes just a little push, all you need. Now she's gonna be mad at Tyler. Oh. No, it's, uh, it's yeah, a it's fun it's... thing. It's a silly <laughs> hop. It's a similar thing. Boom, shrink gone. I let you alone. Tyler cannonballs. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew the cannonball was coming. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw, Tyler. Fuck, I should have cannonballed first so people could have seen it. <laughs> now she's you and Scorp. Scorp's gonna see it. We all used to get in is I walked okay. in, he got shoved in, and he cannonballed. It fits all of our characters. It does. Okay. All right. You guys. Oh, no! <laughs> um, this is Scout's fault, see... by the way. As you guys kind of wake up, kind of like one after another, like just appearing in the space next to each other. You see that this area of the forest seems to have been mostly cleared out. Wherever you are, the trees no longer reach towards the skies, and in fact, the leaves are rather barren. There seems to be a dull glow of magic here still, but it almost feels like it's trying to attack you. You know it's not, but it just feels like it has this edge to it. The air seems to be uh, like almost composed of, of tiny needles. Um, as you look around, you see smoke billows up into the sky, obscuring the stars from somewhere in the distance where a large purple fire looms. In front of you seems to be the remnants of a church uh, that's seen its last legs. The stained glass still shines, 
But other than that, it looks to be in rubble. It looks to have been recently burned. You notice fresh footprints leading directly into this church uh, right in front of you, like appearing right in front of where you guys are. Do we see Scout? You do not see Scout. Oh, fuck. Tyler's gonna go grab the... Well, first we're gonna help Ember up because she probably (laughs) fell. (laughs) And then I'm gonna... Tyler's gonna go and taste... He's gonna put a finger in the footprints and taste it. (laughs) You... (laughs) You oh. taste the dirt. It yeah, tastes like his, dirt. Using his druid power. Tastes like um, tastes it, like dirt. Doesn't taste like it scout. Tastes like dirt. It tastes maybe a little scout bit like scout. Like... I don't know if you know what scout tastes like, but maybe a little bit. It tastes a little bit weird. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Guys, it tastes like scout. <laughs> what do you know what scout tastes like? I don't know if we want to know this answer. Did you bite him? Just, you guys all have just a certain scent and taste. As, oh, you guys are, as you guys are conversing, you see sitting on top of this little stained glass window, kind of in this little, you know, this this abandoned pillar that's destroyed, is this creature wearing a mask. Its feet seem to be made out of shadows, as does the rest of its body. It resembles kind of like a small child, but it seems to be glowing a little bit purple. Um, and again, it seems to be made out of like this wispy, shadowy material, except for its mask, which is this deep oak uh, with kind of these eyes painted on. Uh, the creature seems to be kicking its legs back and forth and watching you guys argue. Um, and Ember, you recognize this as a whatnot. Um, guys, we're not alone here. And she'll point up to the creature. And then uh, she will say, that is what we call a whatnot. A what? <laughs> a whatnot. Yeah. What is it? Uh, it's kind of cute. They, uh, they're kind of servants to different fey masters here in the fey wild. Um, they normally stay away from outsiders, so I don't know exactly what this one wants, but I think we should go into this church. Maybe it belongs to that girl we pissed off yesterday. All right. And then Ember will start leading the way into the church. All right. Uh, Yeah. You guys begin to go into uh, this church. As you guys approach the outside, um, you see that uh, these footprints seem to stop the second they reach the doorway. Um, Is it because it's no longer dirt or just they stop there's no there's like a thick layer of dust on things they just stop peering inside you see the remnants of an abandoned church uh it looks to have been recently burned down you see you know everything looks to be torched by fire there seems to be benches and chairs and stuff but other than that the place seems to be empty peering like just inside there's a couple other doors that lead deeper in but you would have to enter the church to get to them other than that just looks like it's caught by a fire. Once we're inside, can we still see the whatnot? Uh, if you want to go in, let me know. I I am looking up at the whatnot and just watching it. Yeah, you're watching it. It seems to just it seems to equally just watch you. Um, and it's like following. Like it, it's it's definitely watching you guys. It's craning its head to watch you guys as you guys go to enter. It's just like sitting right up there, uh, staring down at you. Before she goes in, Ember's going to shout, Scout, are you in here? While she's doing that, I'm going to take my eyes off the whatnot for just a moment to, like, check for traps and shit. Cool. Yeah, make a uh, perception check. Perception? Yeah. Or investigation, either one. They're the same for me. Um, It's a 17 plus 4. I like these um, eyeball dice. They're doing me good. Okay, yeah. You look around. Uh, you don't sense any sort of trap. Um, you don't see anything like a tripwire, a uh, switch, or anything like that. No uh, weird sigils or anything. Yeah, no weird sigils or anything. Does she get an answer to calling out for Scout? 
Uh, no, it's, yeah, just echoes around the room. No answer. I don't want to go in first. I don't like this music. <laughs> it's the Carnival of Hopes. There's nothing ever good that comes to the Wild Carnival. Let it get in. Let it get in. <laughs> the music. I have a very uneasy feeling right now. <laughs> nothing ever good. Nothing ever good comes from a Fae Wild Carnival. Tyler's gonna start screaming out, saying, "Scout, I'm gonna rip up your tent with your hammer." Ooh, wait. Hey, Tyler, can you send Scorp in here? Where? Into Scorp the church. Dies, gets if he. <laughs> Scorp. Scorp, you cool with uh, with going in there? Hey, hey, I, I just want to say, I mean, she said, send me in. The guy who saved you guys. I mean, look, you tell me to go in there, boss. I'll go in there for you. But her, I mean, come on, you know, it's a little bit. You know, anybody could have went, right? Scorp, check this shit out. <laughs> Scorp hops He's out like, his shoulder, right, fine. walks around. You see him make his way to the back room. Uh, seems to try and open the door, but he just can't with his little claws, and it kind of makes his way back. It looks clear as a uh, clear as clear can be. It's kind of dusty and whatnot, but I didn't see anything unusual. Right. When he walked in, did he like disappear from sight or anything? Did anything seem to change? No, no, yeah, he just walked in just like normal. Does he leave footprints or like little tiny? Scorpions? Yeah, yeah, he leaves like yeah, little tiny scorpion footprints. Mm. But Tyler, I mean, not, but the scout didn't. Is there a way up instead of in? Uh, you could potentially climb the scaffolding. Uh, it's pretty ruined. Might be pretty dangerous. Might like fall down on you. Uh, but you could potentially climb up this. There's enough holes in the wood and whatnot. Does Ember know anything I'm... about this? No. Okay. I'm Ember, just. So the footprints go to the door like they go in, but then they just disappear. Correct. And the whatnot is just hanging out up at top. It's just watching. Maybe we try to talk to the whatnot. Do you want to try talking to the whatnot? Yeah. If you want to try talking to the whatnot, Shana's going to leave it up to somebody who might. Tyler has cast probably... animals, but I don't know if it thinks an animal or not. Or an animal. Um. Uh, Ember will back up. Uh, from the entrance a little bit to where she's in the line of sight of the whatnot. Okay. And yeah. then she'll call up to it and be like, hey, do you have our friend? It kind of just cocks his head in a direction. You see, it just shrugs. Hmm. <sighs> I think we have to go and investigate, guys. <sighs> I don't like it, but I don't know how, how, what condition Scout is in. A poor Scout has ran in here with reckless abandon, and you guys are being so cautious. <laughs> yeah, because right? if the rest of us die, who's going to save Scout? <laughs> They've been through some stuff, okay? Yeah. It's the it's the friggin' catacomb thing all over again. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Uh... Shana is gonna step to the side and just gesture because she's not going in first. Yeah. Ember is gonna walk in before she gets pushed again. So <laughs> she's gonna walk into the <laughs> over the threshold. Okay. Now Shana will follow. As long as it doesn't look like anything horrible happens to Ember when she walks in. Yeah, Ember walks in just fine. You follow, Shadeth, uh, and you also walk in. Uh, Still no footprints. Uh, footprints when you guys walk in. Interesting. What are you doing, Tyler? Uh, Tyler's walking in with with everybody. Okay. So, great. You guys are all three in there. Um, as Tyler enters... You see uh, some like rummaging coming from that the room in the back that Scorp tried to open. And you see the door opens and a whatnot enters 
Uh, this one looks to be slightly taller than the one you saw outside. Its mask is painted a light teal color, uh, and the expression on it seems to be one of confusion. It's painted kind of like, you know, uh, you know, teal paint that's, you know, marks a confused face on this oak mask. Other than that, its body, again, it seems to be comprised of shadow. It kind of taps its mask as it looks at you guys. And then it uh, scratches its head. Uh, and then points back towards the door. What the heck, Scout, or not Scout, Scorp? I thought you said there's nothing in here. I, I, hey, this guy just came through this door. What can I, I can't, I can't gotta go through. I didn't see this guy. So this whatnot tapped his mask and then pointed at them or at, at, a, the, door. Just, at the door yep. that he came through or that that you guys came through. That we're out of here. I'm going around just without like just where I'm where I'm standing. I'm just like looking around for signs of Scout. Yeah, you look around um, and you see the uh, the what that kind of seems to try and get your attention, Shane, if, um, as if to like stop you from looking around. And again, kind of stomps its little shadow foot. It doesn't make a sound. <laughs> And points towards the exit again. It's just like, get out of my house. <laughs> what are you Are say? you alone here? It shakes its head now. Have you seen our friend? And she'll describe what Scout looks like. It nods its head, yes. Will I ever get married? Oh. <laughs> Seems to oh, like uh, no look a little uncomfortable around that situation. <laughs> kind of scratches his head. Uh, he's kind of, you know, subtly shakes his head. No, but just like in a really tiny way. Oh. So, Non-committal. You don't notice. Oh, yeah, non -committal. Rip. Will Scorp ever get married? <laughs> Vigorously shakes his head, yes. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> At least Scorp has that. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it points it towards the door again. It, it seems clear it wants you guys to get out of here. Yeah. What happens if I take a step forward? Uh, you take a step forward, it also takes a step forward towards you. And it seems to kind of look to be more defensive about it. Can you tell us where our friend is? Please. It considers this for a minute. And then shakes its head, yes. Can you take us to him? Again, it shakes its head, yes. But then it points to your guys' weapons and points to the floor. I think it wants us to drop our weapons. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, they're just shitty daggers, I guess. Her magic is her weapon. <laughs> oh, the only weapon that Tyler has is the... We have a scimitar that we don't use ever and Scout's hammer, which is Scout's hammer, you know, but that's... Uh... Yeah, we just... Shayna just has a couple daggers that she literally has never, ever used, I don't mm -hmm. think. So she'll just fucking... Are there, like, pews in this church? Yeah, there's like pews that look to have been scorched by fire. Yeah, she'll she'll just toss the two daggers onto a pew. That's Amber that's all will she's yeah put her weapons on top of like creating a little pile. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, as you guys put your weapons in a little pile, you see it holds its hands up as if to wait, and then it goes back through the door. I guess we wait. Um, all right. A Tyler After... still has his milk, right? <laughs> it's not uh, a weapon, it's food. It's not a weapon. It, yeah, it didn't seem to, you know, it didn't seem to qualify that as a cool, weapon. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> After uh, a couple uh, minutes, you see the door creaks open, and you see this witch 
enter through the back. She's oh, covered God. in vines, and her, it seems as though her skin might even be made of wood. She stands rather tall above you guys. Um, she's like 6'10". She's, she's, she's quite large. But she's kind of hunched over. She's covered in thick shawls and other robes to obscure much of her body, leaving only her face visible. Auntie uh, Ethel! Looks as though she, uh, you know, is quite beautiful uh, on the conventional standard, um, but these kind of vines and other wood features seem to obscure that beauty um, ever so slightly. Her mm. hair is this deep green, um, and her eyes seem to be as purple as kind of that magic air around you guys. She takes a look over all of you and then pauses. So why have you come here of all places? We're looking for our friend. He ran off in the night after one of your what nots, I assume. You will find no friends here. Only disappointment. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Has That's anyone which spitting? <laughs> she hates Scout. She's calling him a disappointment. <laughs> I know. I was like, Damn, bro. Has anyone come through here with your whatnots? We saw the footprints outside, and I did get to speak with him briefly, but I can't find him. Terry, many people come through these halls, but once they arrive, they don't ever return the same. Whatever friend you had, whatever creature or being you thought you knew was merely just a shell. Where is the shell? She seems to eye you. You are persistent. I'll give you that much. Do you know what a whatnot is? That's a that's a question for Amber here. <laughs> Amber a, will I don't uh, know shit. <laughs> step forward uh, just a little bit and be like, I I do. Do you truly? Or do you just I, know what your people know of them. I'm, I mean, yeah, from what people have told me and what I've witnessed. Whatnots are beings that should not have been. Creatures that don't exist no matter where they go. And they long for something to cling on to. Anything to give them purpose, meaning, a reason to exist. It could be due to a number of things. Maybe they gave up hope. Maybe they experienced a great loss. One way or another, they come here to my chapel and they cease to be become something in the middle. Your friend. How much do you really know about him? Huh. Uh, we're learning ab about him and we were probably only about as much as he knows about himself at this point. Yeah, we, we were grouped together for a mission, and we, we've we learned a, a few things. He kicked me out of his room. I see. Yeah. 
He didn't Real help friend. me on a giant worm once. It was stupid, but whatever. Right. But he should not have been. He should not have existed. And him clinging on to his life will tear him apart. It's better for him here. Where I can look over him. But that isn't for you to decide. I never you don't make have that authority. They all come here on their own, wandering in one way or another. I don't think he would have come here willingly. He has something to look forward to. He has something to go to. What's that? A family. A family that he killed. You were there when the explosion happened. Oh, so someone only has a father, they don't have mothers, they don't have siblings, they don't have cousins, they don't have uncles and aunts, they don't have other family members that they can go to? They only have fathers. Pretty weird. She notices your determination. And then nods. Very well. You wish to see Scout? Let's go see him. And she opens the door behind her and walks through. Ember will follow. Shana will follow. Shouldn't like this lady. Tyler follows. Okay. You guys all follow. Um, and as you do, the room seems to morph around you with magic. Uh, things take different shapes. Uh, this room seemed to be before maybe like a small dining area, but now it's slowly morphing in front of your eyes as she throws up her hands and casts magic to shape the room. Uh, you notice sitting in the center of the room is Scout. It seems to be hunched over uh, on his knees as if like in prayer, uh, but he seems to be completely zoned out. Um, Scout, you arrived here chasing this being, trying to get your hammer back, and you remember following it into here and then uh, uh, you saw what they're about to see. So, uh, Scout, you find yourself um, much, much younger. A small boy, perhaps. Maybe only, you know, a couple years old, if that. And you look around the room you're currently in. You guys are seeing this as well. It's a nice palace. Although it seems to be very, uh, you know, harsh stones, dark woods, everything kind of gives off the sense of necessity versus excess. You see that banners around the room present that hammer, hammer sigil you know well by now, Scout. And you, as a small boy, see the same man who you saw explode in that explosion approach you. Younger, his beard still thick, with a look of concern on his face he kneels down to you scout and even though you were a child in this vision you still feel like yourself you still feel capable of answering as yourself as he kneels down to you he looks you in the eyes and he goes boy you have much to learn but do you realize what you've done What do you mean, what have I done? Why do you learn to take responsibility for your actions? I, I don't... I'm a scout. You, as you hesitate here, you look around the room and you notice that... Uh, uh, this particular room you're in, uh, you've seen 
paintings of it before. This is the room of the Warhammer or the Warlord of uh, Battle. Uh, this is like his big hall. Um, and this particular room is where many of the big deals of Kyrnos are decided. But more than that, you look down at your hands, Scout, and you see blood caked on them. I don't remember. You don't remember. Your don't father remember. picks you up by your tunic and brings you to his eye level and stares daggers into you. You, I told you not to touch the hammer, Scout. Um, And he seems to throw you. As he does, the room shapes around you, Scout. You are about the same age, and you remember looking... Uh, as you get thrown, you like arrive in a room, a treasury room, an armory hall, all sorts of large weapons stacked upon it. Your father has taken you here numerous times, told you stories of the legendary battles he's won with each of these items. Swords used to conquest the uh, coastlines of Ascalon, you know, other maces and stuff brought to help turn back the forces of Sheer. But he always told you one specific story about this hammer behind this display case, the same hammer that you carry now. This was your grandfather's hammer and your grandfather before that's hammer. Forged at the start of the nation of Kyrnos, an indestructible tool, a magic weapon beyond all capability. It only, the only difference is it only answers to those who belong, who deserve this lineage, deserve this legacy. You remember your father telling you that if you keep up your training, this could one day be you. But here you find yourself in front of this display case. A small child just wanting to take a peek. As you approach it, the glass seems to open as if calling for you. And the hammer glows, a distant murmur coming from it. Um, um, I reach, I reach for the hammer. Scout, as you reach for the hammer, your small fingers grip the hilt, and you feel power begin to rush into you. You can hear a distant voice calling, getting louder, but your vision begins to cloud. You hear a voice behind you shouting at you to stop. But this is where you belong. This is what your father said you would be destined for one day. The voice seems to get louder, and suddenly you feel hands seeming to try and pry this hammer from you. The hammer tells you to fight. That this is your moment to swing. Can I... Do I have any... Do I have the wherewithal to look around? You look around, whatever this thing is that's trying to claw your hands away from this hammer seems to be just like a shadowy being. It looks evil and menacing, uh, and it's yelling at you, the words harsh in your ears. I'm, I pick it up fully you hold and prepare to swing. And you swing down. One sickening blow after another. The strength seems to sap from you with each strike. And eventually you feel the hammer grow heavy in your hands. As it clatters to the ground. Scott, you look down. And see. Your mother at your feet. dead by your hand. What happened uh, next was a blur. The screaming, the shouting, your father, and then being forced away. Memories you tucked away. Memories you left behind. Your father couldn't bear to end you. So he sent you away. 
someplace you'd never be found. You guys see the witch turns to you as you guys have witnessed this. And you see the memory begins to restart again. Um, Scout's still laying there, prone, seemingly unable to move. You see she goes. As I try to explain to you, some things are better left forgotten. Did everyone else see that, or was it just Scout? I, I think we all just saw everyone that. Did. Yeah, you guys all did yeah. see it. Okay. Tyler's just <laughs> eating cake and drinking milk and sharing with everyone <laughs> while we're watching and listening. Oh, my God. Ugh. Now, his dad is the Count Viscount guy, right? Uh, Who? Tyler's dad or Scott's dad? Scout Scott's dad, dad is, is the uh, war oh, lord of battle. Oh, Count Viscout is Tyler's it's dad. It's Tyler. Yeah, that's what it is, Tyler. Gotcha. It's not Tyler's yeah. dad, but it's somebody who's interested in Tyler's kingdom to protect oh, right, it. Right, right, he was right, friends right, with Tyler's dad. Right, yeah. right, right. My notes are a little confusing sometimes, but with myself. It's all um, good. What is Scout doing right this second? He's just kneeling there? He's, yeah, he's like kneeling like almost in prayer. Um, He seems to be unable to move as if he's just reliving this moment <clears> over and over again. Is you he sitting part, in like a? You know that part in um, the Phantom Menace where, like, they're sprinting after Darth Maul, and then like the red barriers stop, and then Qui Gon kind of like kneels and sits there. That's how I picture Scout. <laughs> These are Star Absolutely. Wars references that I know. <laughs> I'm with you, Saz. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> that's how yeah. I picture it too. Yeah, I've seen me a Star Wars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Have you actually okay. not? I've seen like two Star Wars movies. You're gonna bitch at me for not watching Beetlejuice and you haven't fucking seen Star. Sorry, different Excuse time. Excuse me. Continue. Fuck Continue. off. Yeah, anyway. Sauce hasn't seen like any movies, but we're getting yeah, all right. Got, yeah. Sorry. Uh huh. Anyway, um, is he sitting in like a like a a circle or anything? Are there any like symbols on the ground? Does it look like he's about to be? turned into something um, or also a what's the witch him? doing right now yeah the she's witch just, is just standing there she's just standing there yeah she seems to be whatever has been whatever spell has been cast on scout seems to be already been cast uh it doesn't seem to be a ritual or any sort of thing like that no sort of symbols on the ground or anything like that it seems to just be a spell that's making him relive this moment uh Question, this isn't an illusion. This is, like, pulled from Scout's, like, buried trauma, right? Exactly. It's pulling from okay. his memory. Yeah. Uh, she uh, seems to be kind of just almost at ease. She doesn't seem to be really concerned about anything. She's vibing. She's enjoying this. She's, pro she's probably... You get the sense that she's done this uh, so many times before. Mm -hmm. Um... Sheena isn't going to say anything. Uh, she's just going to go sit next to Scout on the ground. The witch kind of observes you closely as you sit next to Scout. But she doesn't seem to interrupt. She's still not saying anything. She's just sitting there. Yeah. I have you seen enough. That's not understand. a question for me. Very well. That's, uh, that's a question for him. I can wake him if you prefer. Yes. Understood. Just remember. I don't seek them out. They find me. Mm -hmm. She waves her hand. And the vision stops. The room folds back into the small dining room it is. Scout, you seem to be ripped out of this memory, back into reality. You look around this dining room. You see Shaneth next to you, your friends behind you, Tyler sipping on some milk. Uh, as you, you know, had probably just were beginning to relive this memory again for you don't even know how many times. Um, <clears throat> was, uh, I, I remember that this happened, right? Like, I don't, like, come out of it, like, completely just, like, disoriented. 
you remember yeah you remember arriving at this temple and then seeing these memories and that's about as far as you got okay then uh scout's just gonna be he'll look around see them but just like look back down on his hands and just kind of sit there and apologize why are you apologizing i'm sorry uh for what? I touched the hammer. I don't care that you touched the hammer. I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't ready. Did you know you that, though? You were child. I don't know. It's kind of on them for not having it less accessible to you. You were a child. You did a thing that kids do. They get into stuff. If it's not bolted to the ground, it's yours. Because you're what? Five? Six? Seven? You're a kid. You're a child. Um, Do I have the hammer with me right now? Scout, you don't see the hammer near you. Uh, You don't see it in this room. You don't have it with you. Okay. It's, um... It's gone again. The hammer? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's in the other room. Or it might be in our room. Can I put it on the ground? Oh yeah, we we, we did see yeah, it. Yeah, we dropped we? all of all of the weapons. Oh wait, we didn't have his hammer though, because his hammer is why he ran off to begin with. Right, you grabbed you it guys out of the had water. The, uh, you, no, you guys had. The oh, it was in the water. Right. No, no, no. You had no. You guys found the one of the scrap of cloth, the hammer. Oh, yeah. And he's been carrying around his waist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So we don't have the hammer. Just we have. Right. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Scout's gonna look up at the witch. And just. Um. What do I do? That choice is your own, Scout. You have things, done things, most people couldn't relive. I can make all of that go away, make you forget about If you notice, and Shaneth is intentionally cutting off the witch, if you notice, it's been responding to you. It's been doing what you ask of it. Do I know where the hammer is? Can I like have, the, have enough connection with Mirkanos to know? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Make a religion check. Bad. He's like, hmm. I don't have locate object. I just checked. I was like, damn. I do. <laughs> An eight. You get the sense that it's somewhere in this temple, probably deeper, beyond some more rooms. Uh, but you get a sense it's close. Then that's what, uh, then, and Scout's gonna, like, stand up and let his eyes flash. And I'm gonna cast Locate Object. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you, uh, look for an object. Um, you see that it's, uh, 300 feet away from you. Uh, it seems to be, again, deeper into this, uh, chapel. Uh, probably, you know, quite, quite a long ways away. Uh, but you get the, you know, you know exactly that it's here. Uh, about 300 feet, uh, and the direction, um, that it is in. Bring me my hammer. The witch narrows her eyes. You said the choice was his. He's making to his choice. To leave. Have you not seen what you've done with this tool? This weapon, Scout? The life you took so that you could feel strong. Scout is not think- short. How 
much taller is the witch than him? Uh, the same height. <laughs> no, they're like the same height, but they're probably like five inches apart or so. Okay. Like Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant kind of vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he's going to hold his head up, fully standing up. I'm not going to ask again. Bring she me my hammer. Slowly smirks. What do you intend to do with it? Strike me? Kill another? I intend to make my own decisions. Yes. That's done so well for you. So that way, next time, your friends can be in the crossfire. Scout's going to look over at his friends. Kyle's going to wave. <laughs> I'm already dead. It can't get much worse. Tyler's going to mouth to Scout. I have an idea. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what? what I'm a, Scout's Ember gonna puts do her a, head I, in her hand. I can hear you. Scott, you are gonna, speaking loudly. I was gonna do a thumbs up, thumbs down thing at Scout. Sorry, we're the only four people in this room. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Scout's just gonna give him a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. How <laughs> sneaky how sneaky can Tyler be right now? Or can he not? <laughs> biggest cell check. Biggest cell check. Uh listen. You ungrateful mortal. I am here to cleanse you for the thing that destroyed your life. And now you just want to walk on out of here with the thing that brought about your own doom. That's the problem with mortals. They don't understand when to stop. You see, you are, you're pretty sneaky. We're going to sneak along the edges of the room. Are I'm going to try and sneak behind her. Okay. Uh, you get about halfway there. Uh, I feel it. Like, I feel like he should get advantage because we're pissing her off and distracting her. Yeah, that would normally, you guys would normally have disadvantage because Tyler's uh, visible. And you're in a small that's room. True. <laughs> 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 saying that she's small enough as she's I'm doing just this. sitting on the floor doing a like hand motion of blah blah blah. Right. Tyler just has her head in her hands. She's just face palming this whole thing. <laughs> Tyler, make another cell check. You're halfway there. Make another one to see if you can get all the way behind her. Um, yeah, Scott, what do you reply to her? Up. Um, uh, she keeps using that word "mortal." Yeah. She's like, I don't. I want you. He's like watching Scout. Like so, is Scout like moving behind her? Scout's like inching behind her. He's almost okay. like. Tyler. My name's Tyler. Tyler. Oh, yeah, Tyler. 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 Tyler's inching behind her, and he's gonna he's gonna try and like just keep her attention. Just be like, I fear you have things mistaken, <laughs> because I'm not that person anymore. How close is uh, Tyler? Uh, Tyler, you're behind it. What are you going to do? Okay. I'm going to tap oh the sword my. on her shoulder and say, Annalyph. Ah! Okay. Ah! Oh, she's tall, she's tall as fuck. Her. How it's got to be above her. Yeah, you have to, you have to hold to the sword above her. Above her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can, can I jump and head. swing it above and say, Annalyph? You can jump. <laughs> make an athletics check, but also I'm going to need you to make uh, to just roll an arcana check as well. Arcana? Ooh, ooh. Can I... Because yeah, of the reaction, can I try and Ooh. cast feather fall on him so that his fall is slowed when he jumps? Holy shit. And he has like an extra Ooh. second. I like that. It's a reaction. Yeah, I go got, ahead and make an arcana check. I rolled a 20 on arcana. Okay. 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 You want 20, me to do one too good. or just him? Yes, you do one too. Okay. Um, All right. Also, uh, you need to make an athletics check, Tyler, to see if you can jump up that high. Uh, that's a 19. Oh, baby. Uh -oh. Athletics could be acrobatic. Uh, acrobatics mm. is fine. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. So I, it's oh a nineteen. Gosh. I wanna, I wanna <laughs> cast feather fall on him as oh, he jumps bud. in the air to give him an extra second okay. in the air. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Well. Huh. 
Uh, okay. Um, uh, this is a lot's about to. Okay, let's just. I, 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 oh, I didn't do good. Uh, I, I didn't. No. I didn't. Tyler. All right. I helped. I helped. Um. Okay. Here's how this is gonna go. Okay. Uh, I need both Tyler and uh Shaneth to go ahead and roll the d a hundred for me. A hundred. Do you want the no. ten as well, or just the hundred? How the heck do I do that? Just the hundred. Okay. Uh, ooh, just uh. Mm. Now, when you so when you say one hundred, you mean like just the per, just the one that's got like right. the double digits on it? So, okay. Uh, just roll. What I want you guys, what I want you to do, Tyler, because uh, there's no d hundred here. Uh, just roll two d tens. So your first one. Five and six. I got a fifty. If if I if I'm just rolling the one that's got the double digits, do I add in the d ten? Uh, Demon hundreds are weird for me. Should have totally used Mage Hand with Ember. I know. <laughs> I, I could have had it. Hold. My brain is not working. Can I have both of you just like Google D one hundred dice and just roll it that way? Because I completely okay. am forgetting how to do it with two D tens. My yeah. brain is shut off. Uh, just yeah, just, just yeah. Dice. That'll be easier for me. I could have been uh, helpful. Oh, okay. Here we go. Is there a thingy to roll a one hundred? Okay. Eighty three, baby. <laughs> roller where where did you roll it i, I just there's trouble. a roll Wait, a die I dot it. net i found it okay <laughs> roll I found that just you said that okay i'm gonna get a i was already in motion before i thought about mage He's hand fucking... oh i have to i have to actually physically stop it okay i got a 37 fuck i'm so upset a 37 yeah okay and realized 80... I had to physically stop it myself. 83, Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Roll 1d10 for me. Just him? Yeah. Seven. All right. Seven. Okay. Um, Everyone's going to go ahead and take seven points of damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> except sorry. for Tyler. Yeah. Everyone? Tyler. Uh, oh, because yeah. he's behind her. Uh, everyone's gonna go ahead and take seven points of damage, except for Tyler. Hello. Oh. Why can't I do uh, anything? And What's then the Tyler, thing? you. Um, I marked that okay. one. Actually. Hold up. Does that work? No. Okay. So I'll just do it that way then. Okay, Tyler, normally you feel like you would gain some health, but you're already at max health. Um, as this oh. goes off, um, Tyler, this is because you tried to cast a magical spell. When you said Analith, uh, to try and put her into the sword, the spell instead backfired, causing a wild magic surge. The same thing Ooh. happened to B when she cast her, her feather fall on you. B, you rolled a 33? Uh, 37, I think it was. <sighs> Uh, mm. Should I have wished it was a 33? Oh, no. <laughs> should you I wish it was? Oh you no! Oh no! Oh, no. Why? All right, B. Uh, okay. Four. What? Four. Four. What horrible thing is about to happen to me? <laughs> um. Okay, you see, uh, we'll just do... Oh, actually, that's better. Okay, four whatnots uh, appear next to you, um, and they look scared of you, but they also look, like, vicious. Like, they look like they're ready to attack. They look just kind of, like, wild and unfettered. These whatnots seem to be a little bit stranger than the others um, as, these, as these magically appear next to you. Uh, again, there's four of them. The witch, as this all goes down, one after another, the witch turns and goes, So, you won't heed my warnings, and you wish to attempt to hurt me and my people. To be fair, I wasn't going to hurt you. It was we, that there was going to be no pain involved yeah. in what he was about to do. We will have to make all of you into whatnots, won't we? Um, I knew see. she was turning people into whatnots. I knew it. 
You see uh, her, the vines around her face seem to recoil. Um, as they do, you see years of age begin to be caked on. And it almost as though she tethers herself to the church. It seems Fucking like vines bad. and other things come out of her and kind of attach to the church around her. And the whole place seems to come to life as though it's breathing, like as though you can hear the bellowing of wind going through this dining room and in the halls. The walls seem to like sag in and out with each breath. You feel the magic in here gets stronger. Um, we're in combat now. Ember, that is your turn. <laughs> Great. Cool. Ooh, Low move for us. I don't so, want to be first. Oh. So, the, so the vines are, re- like, are, is she attached to anything? She's attached to the house itself. <sighs> okay, okay, so there's four whatnots and her. That's all. Correct. The whatnots seem the whatnots not really loyal Shana? to her. Uh, they're by Shana. They don't seem really loyal to her. They just seem kind of crazy. Uh, and they are, they look scared of Shana. Cool beans, my dude. Do we know anything about this witch other than she's pretty powerful and turns things into whatnot? No. Nope. I thought about asking for her name, but I didn't get a chance. Uh, okay. So Tylor is by the witch. I'm somewhere. Shaneth <laughs> and Scout are together with near the four whatnot. Yeah, we're oh. right in front of the witch. <laughs> Which works out for me. All right. Fucking hags. How close is Tyler to the to the witch? Uh, he's like, you're the only he one just, that's not he all like up on her. on her, so he's like right on top of her. Whoa, hell yeah! Wait, I'm like on her <laughs> back. Uh, what was your acrobatics? If you wanted to climb onto her back, oh, it was only six. No, you're not like on her back. You're probably like at her feet, but you're like you know right behind her. <laughs> um. Okay. <sighs> I don't want to cast anything on her because I don't want it to hit Tyler. Tyler will understand. We don't have our weapons. Yeah, you're gonna have to get your weapons too. That's the other thing. You guys' weapons are in the other room. I got milk though. <laughs> Tyler <laughs> does have milk. Milk was a weapon. <laughs> um. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Could I go? Could I cast Mage Hand and go have it grab? A weapon? How far away are we from sure. the weapon? Yeah, you're not that far away. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I don't know how heavy our weapons are, or how. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and grab one of. I mean, my daggers are only a pound each. They're very small. You can probably grab all of them if you want. Okay, Mage Hand's gonna go and be cute and go grab all the weapons <laughs> for us. <laughs> Felt cute. Might go grab some okay. weapons later. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I guess bring it back to us. Lay it at everyone's feet. Uh, all right. Uh, you uh, have it grab the action. Uh, you have it, are you using action to grab it? Bonus action. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't think you can. I get to wait till next turn. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know yeah, what I'm doing anyway. It costs, an action to, so. it costs an action to cast it and then an action to control it. So, yeah. So, like, next turn you'll be able to control it. So right now it exists in the other room. Okay. If you would rather just go grab your weapons yourself, you can do that instead. You could probably do that in one turn versus waiting for the mage hand to do it. I will do that then. I will go okay. run into the other room and grab, grab everyone's it. weapons. Okay, you grab it all, run back in. Yes. Uh, okay. uh, good on you. Uh, because as your turn ends, um, kind of simulate the weapons to everyone. Uh, as your turn ends, uh, the witch is going to go ahead and use a legendary action uh, oh, to shut the door. Uh, all of the doors seem to be magically locked, trapping you all in this room. Is she now locked uh, out? No, she uh, she's, in. In. she's in. Okay. But you guys cannot leave now. There is no, there is no way out. Uh, everything seems to be locked. Um, okay. These whatnots are going to go ahead and attack a uh, scout. Or this one that's up. It's, it's turn next. Uh, does an 11 hit you, scout? No. Or... Okay. Uh, it misses. All right. That is going to go ahead and be the witch's turn. 
L. <laughs> um, <laughs> the witch kind of has this cruel smile and goes, Which one of you wants to realize why you're nothing? Tyler's going to point at one of the whatnots. <laughs> she turns and smiles at you, Tyler, and goes, Oh, good. Well, they're already taken for, so why not you? Um, and she no. uh, casts a uh, spell at you, waves her hand at you. Um, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. This stupid God, witch. Druid. This stupid witch is about to freaking find out. You said wisdom uh, saving? 15. Yeah, DC 15. You're going to get 15 or higher to succeed. So close! Scorps with um, me though, it's a plus one. Oh no. <laughs> um as as she waves her hand at you, Tyler immediately's eyes seem to glow this bright purple, and Tyler falls to his knees. Oh um, no. Show you what happens oh, on Tyler's no. turn. Um she smiles uh this bitch turn him into a whatnot. And she is also going to go ahead and cast a magic missile at you, Scout. Um, nine damage. Fuck. As you get pelted with these three magic missiles. Okay. Um, all right. That's your turn, Scout. Damn. Okay. Um, so... If I cast anything, it could backfire seems horribly, right? The vibe. That seems to be the vibe. I don't have any weapons. Uh, your weapons are... Yeah, you have nothing. You're right, because the hammer is not here. Is there a chance when I cast a spell, it doesn't fuck up? You slight. To... <laughs> I'm not my... Hey, I'm not going to... You anyway, Probably you super try. slight. I got a 37 and I took a bunch of damage and summoned a fucking sprite. Because I could just grab her and cast Inflict Wounds, but... There's also like, the chance that you, your hands like, turn into fucking butterflies or something. Yeah. Fuck. Or, I think there's also a chance of you doing double damage, so like, there's always that. It could it could also just reflect and kill me. It it it, it could do that, yeah. Oh, or yeah. it could not. It's wild. We don't know, man. We don't know. Can I? Am I Scout too far is, away to summon Mirko? Oh no! This hammer he doesn't have it. It's it, it's in here. Uh, it's not like in this room, but it's in this chapel. It's just far away from him right now. It, is is my hammer too far away to summon Mirkanos? Yeah, you need to have hold of the hammer to, to oh, summon shit. him. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, my plan was to just spiritual weapon and make the hammer. <laughs> and fucking swing with it. Um, That's pretty cool. For, I don't think I think you could make the hammer. You could still try spiritual weapon, though. Uh... <laughs> Fuck it, I'll try it. It's just a bonus. If it fucks up, then I will I'll figure something else out. Okay, uh go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Okay. Um, uh you summon spiritual weapon? Where do you summon it? By her, I can imagine. Uh my hands if I can. Can I hold it? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. You make a miss. You make a miss. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have it. All right, you All got right. it. Uh, yeah, then I was wanting to use it and fucking swing and use the war priest charge. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. What do the war priest charges do again? It gives me like a. Um. um uh. If you click on your character sheet, click view, and then scroll down uh, towards like 
And use action to make one up protect as bonus action. Okay. Because battle needs attackers, you make one in action. Okay, let's switch it over times. Res war base itself. Trying to find where it is. Okay, shit. I think it's just tied to. Yeah, I think it's just tied to that first thing. I. I so basically, you can make an extra attack as a bonus action. Oh, I already burned my bonus action then. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of my channel divinity, which gives me a plus 10 bonus to the roll. Right. Right. Okay. okay. You can use your channel divinity. Yeah, that's just a separate thing. But yeah, you can use that to get your plus 10. Yep. Uh, then you can yeah, do it after I'll, you see the roll too, so you can see if you roll oh. high, so you don't have to burn it. Ah, uh, yeah. Then I'll swing on her. Yep. We'll see. Yeah, that's all this. Okay. Uh, all right. Nice. Seven. You want to add your channel divinity to that at ten? Uh, yeah. I, fuck yeah. I'm not taking the chance okay. of missing. That hits. Cool. All right. So what's the uh the damage so the for? spiritual weapon yeah so your spiritual weapon damage is going to be a d8 i believe plus your spell casting mod which is wisdom uh yeah one d8 plus wisdom yep okay four and then what is your wisdom it is plus three plus three Okay, so it's seven damage. Okay. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Cool. All right, yeah, you swing at her with your uh, hammer. Um, she seems to uh, look annoyed. Um, oh, hold up. She's got a roll for... Oh, concentration she's check? Fine. Yeah, she rolled for concentration, but she's fine. She is all good. Uh, okay. All right. This we got her. Uh, switch weapon. That is your turn. Yep. Um, all right. Tylor. Uh oh. She casts a spell on you. Tyler, you are, um, you know, you see this vision kind of wrap around your eyes back in your father's. Uh, throne room, for lack of a better word. Um, a large entry hall, uh, and you can see your father looking down at you. You're a small, no more than, you know, probably like six or seven years old, um, and you have your little homemade cape that your mother made you, tied around you, uh, and you just got it this day, I remember being so excited to show your father, you know, your new attire, your new persona, uh, as he looks down at you. What is that? It's my dream, Dad. <laughs> you see, he gets up, walks down the steps from his throne, and then takes a closer look and goes, This it's your dream. It's what I said, You are Dad. a will I. You understand what that means, right? It's your dream, Dad. Not mine. I'm going to be a superhero. You're going to... You see, he rips the cape off of you <gasps> and begins to tear it. Do I have the sword? So he goes... You don't have the sword. You're, oh, you're, you're nothing. Uh, yeah, you just put on this outfit. Uh, I didn't even bother to bring your, like, your play sword with you. And you see, he goes, You are a disappointment. I'll let Egbert know. No milk for dinner and no cake. <gasps> I hate you. Oh, my God. Go to your room. This house is a <gasps> fucking prison. You... See some guards come and grab little Tyler and take you up to your room as your father discards the, the cape uh, over his shoulder. Um, you're going to go ahead and take uh, eight points of uh, psychic damage. Um, and mean? I need just eight, just eight damage, uh, but it comes from her fucking with your mind. 
Uh, and then I need you to go ahead and give me another wisdom saving throw to see if you can break out of this enchantment. Oh, you clear it. Uh, Yo. It, it is the uh, end of your turn, so you don't get to take a turn, Tyler, unfortunately. But you are good to go for next turn. You are broken free from her spell. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so just take that eight damage. You're good. Okay. Uh, these sprites are going to go ahead and attack Scout still. Hawk, man. They miss. <laughs> You're very weak. <laughs> Shane, that is your turn. Yeah, thank God it took this long, because Saturn jumped on my desk and scattered my dice everywhere. So I just spent the last all of this trying to collect it from under my bed. Okay. Um, I have a weird question. Can huh? I do, like, an arcana check or a history check or something to see if your version of the Fae have an aversion to steal? Because I know not um, every DM does that. Yeah, big history check, yeah. History check? Yeah. That's going to be a 18, 19, 20. You have read about it. They do indeed do have an aversion to steal. Yeah. Hell yes. Okay. I have a steel mirror. Okay. Uh, since I don't have my daggers from Ember yet. Um, I thought Ember dulled out all the weapons. A mirror is not a weapon. Oh my! God, I thought you already had your daggers. Is what you, I'm getting. You at. can't have your daggers. I, I I did say that Ember gave them all out. You can't have them if you would rather use those. But you can also do the mirror thing. I'd rather the mirror have. Thing. I'd rather have the mirror because it's it's a metal okay. that they don't like. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take the steel mirror, and uh, I'm going to slam it against the witch. Ooh. I don't know what kind of roll that is. Okay, uh, yeah. So go to roll to hit for me. Uh, so D20 plus your strength. <laughs> All right, at least yeah, not minus it's... one. It's just a flat D20 roll. Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay. That is, that is an eight. An eight. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you try and swing this uh, mirror at her. She is able to kind of uh, duck to the side, but she, she does hiss um, as you do. <sighs> That's fertile. Why? Why did you bring that to my realm? I didn't think about it now, but I see you don't like it. She glares at you. I'm just smiling. Our shell of what you once were. If oh, anyone deserves to be a whatnot, it's you. Mm, no, I'm, I'm very aware of what I am, and I'm going to fix it, and I need them, so you need to die. She uh she smirks um as your turn ends. At any return, she's gonna get in and take a legendary action. Um she is going to shake the house. I need everybody to give me an acrobatics or athletics check. Oh shit. Okay. It's better. My ass. Oh god. Neither oh, of them yeah. are good. Three. DC ten. You see a ten or higher. I got a Mine three. Are all, they're all trash. No, three. Okay. Yeah, Everyone. I rolled a two. I only have a plus one. The room besides, uh, okay, so the house begins to shake. The room physically bounces up and down as if you're like in a bounce house for a second. The wood slats go rattling um, as you hear the sound of this thing uh, coming alive. Uh, mostly you're able to dodge out of the way and not fall down. Uh, but <laughs> unfortunately, Shane, if you do uh, fall and get hit by some of the wood, you're going to go ahead and take uh, three points of damage. Great. <laughs> I'm doing great. Um, that's another whatnot's turn. Still gonna... double digits, baby. What's that like? <laughs> tech, tech Tyler or Tech Scout, I mean. Uh, 14 hits, Scout? Uh, no. Okay, another one's turn. Uh, 12? No, 14 again. Nope, that's it. Okay, Ember, your turn. Mage hand. What do you mean, mate? We can't do that because then it'll backfire again, won't it? Hey, Dad. I don't think it's we don't know word. if it'll backfire. It could, it couldn't. We don't know. It's because the roll was, wasn't good. You have I was your able stuff. To get the... Yeah, you have your I sword. I think he's talking about the sword. He wants me to use Mage Hand, raise the sword above her head, and then he says, Analyst, <laughs> to put, him, put her in the sword. Mage Hand. 
<laughs> okay, this is on you if it goes horrible. I'm just gonna say it because I was just gonna go up with my dagger and start slicing. This is um, way more exciting. Okay. Well, anyway, I just started blasting. All right. Um. Yeah, well. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Mage Hand. <laughs> okay. Roll the D20 first. <laughs> Let's see if the spell actually it works. Please, please. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Roll a D100 for me. Oh, oh here's no. The light that we use. Uh, hang on. Hang, hang on. Here you go. Let me put it. Let me put it in the chat for you, since we got it. Have, I got we're, it. Up. We're just all gonna need it at this point. Yeah, I got it. Up. <laughs> so okay. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I got a 37. Wait, no. Oh no. That no! Was wait, wait, wait. I don't know if I. I you mean, just I guess stop I could... it yourself. I, it, it didn't ever like go. Okay. Hold on. What? Wait, 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 wait. Roll a die. Oh, if you if you Let's use the start. link, it maybe take you to like the exact roll that B had. No, maybe? mine's just roll a die. D one hundred. Hold on. I have I'm... a five on my screen. Oh, if you hit wait, go, roll. it just does it. If you hit start, it just rolls for a while. Okay, I see. I see. But it doesn't. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna. Was it 22? Okay. That could oh, mean good, anything. I think. I Literally think, anything. I don't know. It's random. That could mean li there's a table. It could mean literally there anything. There's a whole wild magic table. Yeah. I don't you address could... the laughter that I'm hearing right now <laughs> at Ever. all. Ever. <laughs> um, two things happen. One, your mage chain does acquiesce. You have a mage chain. Okay. It's there. It exists. Great. Um, again, you're gonna have to wait the next turn to control and it. Now you're so one more turn. Number two, wild uh -huh. magic surge does indeed happen. It doesn't cancel out the spell, but it still happens. Your skin turns a bright shade of blue. Mm. <laughs> and blue dab a dab a dab. Just turns turning blue. into an avatar. Yeah, yeah just blue. Yeah, your ember <laughs> is now blue. Wait, so is the Navi. is the That's sword? It. I don't take any damage. I just turn blue. You just turn blue. Is okay, the sword well, above her head now, though? It, it, the sword is not no. above her head. Next turn it will be, because she has to use an action to grab the sword. I have to, to control it to go pick up the sword and, okay, and raise okay, it above. Okay, okay. So it's not yeah. there yet, but it is out and ready. A mage hand, your mage hand is an action, right? Some Sometimes it's a bon bonus. I don't. No, I think it is. No. You would have to look at your... I think it is, though. Um, okay, next turn. It is an action, right. I think. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Um, that's another one of these whatnots. It's just going to attack Scout again. We get her in the sword. We can never. 20! Let her out. Take yeah. one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that one damage. <laughs> All right. That's the witch's turn. The witch. Uh, oh the whatnot's turn? Uh, the no, witch. the witch. The whatnot just went. Yeah, the whatnot just went one damage. Uh, the witch is going to go ahead and try try her spell on Ember. Ember no, make a wisdom saving I refuse. Throw. I refuse. I'm invisible. I'm blue, dabba dee, dabba die. If anything, you're more vibrant now. No! <laughs> you're about to die. Yo, you probably look Big sick fat as liar. fuck. <laughs> blue can be a fall color. Yeah, wisdom save, Ember. Uh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Doing a great Ember's job. Her eyes light up blue and she collapses to the ground, much like how Tyler and Scott did. Um, as well, the witch is going to go ahead and take a claw attack onto you, Shameth. Uh, well, she misses with an at one. So Hell yeah. uh, she tries to claw you up. She is unable, trying to get you to take the steel Bitch. away. Piss I off. Her with the mirror. Scout, that is your turn. Oh, I'm swinging. I'm swinging twice. I'm burning a charge. I'm, I'm wailing on her with this fucking uh, hammer. Okay. So I'll burn a war priest charge. We picked a fight with a creature we shouldn't have picked a fight with. Well, it would have worked with, <laughs> but like, you know, I I had two bad rolls. Eighteen. Oh no, we yeah we we had a lot of bad rolls. Uh, I'll roll both attacks first. 
Seven. And... You, should, you have one more channel divinity, or are you out? Or is it only one? I don't remember. Oh, how it's the out. war priest charge that. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm out of channel divinity, but war priest charge gives okay. me another attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So your one attack does hit, though. So going to roll damage up for that. That. Nice. It adds up. It adds up. It's fine. It adds okay. up. Another Plus seven. Three. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's looking a little bit injured. Um. Okay, Tyler, that is your turn. Where's the sword? Uh, it's currently probably in your hand still. In my hand. Yeah. Okay, so I could still. I could still jump up and say and live, huh? You can certainly try. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Tyler's pissed because she's making Mage him feel is stuff. Out. She's making yeah. him feel stuff. Yeah, Mage Hand is going to be the backup in case this doesn't work. <laughs> Tyler's going to try again. Tyler. Tyler's trying again. He's going to jump up and because he's pissed <laughs> off about oh, feeling shit. Not? All right, go ahead and make an acrobatics athletics check. Come on, baby. And then go ahead and roll a d20. Come on, Let's baby. Come Okay, 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 okay. Okay. That's good. Starting now good. Roll, Starting roll good. Oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, that doesn't, that, that, doesn't, no. that doesn't matter. It's just, it's no, just... it doesn't. Okay. Well, there's a lot okay. of things that are about to happen. Um, oh, God. So. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. This is not working um, on normally while magic works, obviously, because it's uh, different. Um. All right. Tyler. Yeah. Oh, no. You. Say the word analyst. Uh huh. I don't like where this is going. The witch begins to be sucked into your sword. <laughs> As she does, you realize mm -hmm. that she's attached herself to this house. So <gasps> oh, shit. But the, the entire church around you begins to flood into the sword oh, you were that... having a hard time keeping a hand on it as panel after panel of wood you know all these tables chairs all this stuff is flying into the sword all at once oh, we're gonna die <laughs> Tyler, are we getting I into it you... too uh no you guys are fine oh, so not easy attached. new real estate it's free real house, estate. but not you guys um you need to roll for me a, a, a strength uh check uh, or six save works. Strength save to try and keep hold of this. The rest of you guys, the house is going out from underneath your feet. I Let's need everybody go. to give me an acrobatics or athletics check. All right, here you go. Plus one, baby. Hey, that's much better. 17. I hate everything. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, Tyler's strong as hell. I rolled an 18. We're fine. All right. Uh, I'm just going to roll some dice. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, uh, so you, uh, Ember and Scout, you guys both take eight damage. Um, Shane, if you take four damage, um, oh. as you guys are trying to leap over the board, just cracking and falling into the sword, mm -hmm. um, you guys are trying to keep on a steady ground. Um, and then you guys look around as like the chapel's going into the sword. Tyler's just this dude trying to hold on with all his might, trying to keep the sword steady as everything's flying into it. You guys notice um, that around you, uh, the entire area begins to slowly clear. Cool. Like, you like, see like heal the magic. Or just go away? It seems to be sucked into the sword, but the, the magic around you, the fire, the smoke, seems to also be going into the sword as well. Um, we just put this woman into a demi plane with her entire demi plane. Yeah, we did. So now when other people fuck with us, I'm going to put them into the sword too, and they're going <laughs> to get fucked up too. Uh, Tyler. Yeah. The last scrap of wood falls into the sword. And you guys see the strength of using this magic item and holding it upright. Tyler, you collapse to the ground unconscious. You go ahead and put your HP at zero. Uh, oh, fuck. Ooh, Ember goes running over. 
Well, Ember, you cannot because Ember, you are still preoccupied. Very no! preoccupied. Uh, you, uh, you guys see Shaneth and Scout left. You guys look around. This part of the forest is still barren and desolate. But the magic here is gone. You guys see whatnots, masks begin to fall off. As they do, we freed everybody. You see all sorts of creatures begin to shape out of the shadows that constructed the whatnots. Humans, tieflings, even some animals seem to be forming from this around you guys. You guys also notice that Ember um, seems to be under the spell, but then blinks awake as the last of this magic seeps away. Ember, in your vision... I'm blue. <laughs> you're still blue. Ember, in your vision, you saw the moment you were sent away. My flower. You remember waking up in the middle of the night, the panicked cries of your mother and your father as they're trying to wake you back up. Um, and you can hear shouting from outside. Uh, you remember them turning to you and your father looking into your eyes and going, There's, there's another plane out there, all right, and it's it's safer for you right now, Ember. Uh, you you know that, right? I don't want to go. Yeah, I mean, I know you don't want to go, and but out there is the only chance you, me and your mother, we've taken something. We shouldn't have. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. I'm with me. It's not going to work like that. Ember, you have to promise me that you're not going to come back here, okay? I want you to forget this. I want you to forget us. I need to know that you're going to be okay out there. Try. And you remember fire emitting from the bottom of this room. You remember the flames as you're separated from them and you make your way running, struggling to get down the stairs. A smoke begins to well up in this house. And you remember seeing all their faces jeering, snarling and angry outside. Faces of your friends, of people you knew and trusted, Thario amongst them, turning their backs on you before you wake back up and you see the same thing that Shaneth and Scout see, everyone kind of waking up off their masks. Um, you guys all reconvene. Tyler is still unconscious. Ember, uh, after she kind of snaps out of that nightmare, <laughs> uh, she'll go over, she'll look around and then she'll see that Tyler is unconscious and go over to him. Did she oh, see oh, everything? Out get... too, by the way, Scout's fucking unconscious. Oh, is he? But... Okay. Yeah. yeah she's still she... over to Tyler. Did Ember see anything that happened? Like the witch being sucked in, or she was in that vision the whole time? You were time? in the vision for all of it, yeah. Okay, so sh when she gets over to Tyler, she'll look at Shaneth. Because I'm, I guess Shaneth is the only one that's awake and be like, "What happened?" <laughs> yeah, Shaneth is actually still trilling. We're still in double digits. We're we're thriving right now. This is great. <clears throat> so uh, Ember will look at her and say, "What happened?" Uh, she's gonna kneel down beside Scout and I guess do a medicine check to try and fucking wake him up. Um, uh, Tyler got her into the sword, but. She was attached to the house, so everything went with her. Everything. And she's just, like, looking around at the now barren forest. Uh, can I do a medicine check to try and wake up Scout? 
Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. It's only a plus two. Uh, 18, 1920. Uh, Scout comes to with like one HP. <laughs> hey. Ow. Um, as you Tyler. get. Uh, Tyler's out. We need, we need, he needs help. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, how far is Tyler? Not too far from you. Yeah, I think the so, three of us were grouped up right on top of her. Yeah, he's not even gonna stand up. So, I'm just gonna he's gonna reach his hand he, over. He's gonna roll until he gets close enough, and then just lay his hand on him and cast cure wounds. Tyler, before you were welcome back up, you you know blacked out the strength of the magic, and um, you hear a voice in this kind of darkness that you're seeing. Imagine like a dream. Um, you hear the voice say, Man, oh, well, well, what a powerful spell to someone so unknowledgeable. Every spell has a prize. You see hands emerge in front of you. These hands seem to glow blue, but they look like, you know, very like clean and tidy. Um, and you see in one hand is a deck of cards. You see he fans the deck and shuffles it before he outstretches it to you. You must pay a price before you return. Pick a card. Tyler will I'm uh, go ahead and roll a D uh go ahead and roll a D twenty for me. Oh my god, is this what I think it is? This is a fucking deck of many things. That's what I'm thinking it is. You see he looks at you and smiles. Uh, the smile can only be seen in the faintest light, the teeth gleaming. And you look down at the card you picked, Tyler. It's the night card. Um, you see the hands disappear. Good luck. And uh, Tyler, you uh, wake back up with a start as you see Scout has just kind of cast a spell on you. Um... Yeah, you guys look at each other. You're back up, Tyler. <sighs> Tyler's gonna mutter something that Scout can't quite hear, then motion him to come closer. He's gonna. The Scout's gonna inch his way closer to try and listen. Scout, get closer. It's free real estate. Okay. <laughs> after he after he says that, Scout's just gonna cast prayer of healing, <laughs> just for uh, everybody. Oh hell yeah! I'm against twelve HP. Um. So you, uh, Scout, you got ten from the first one, and now you got twelve from this, so you should be full. All right. Uh. Or Tyler. I got Sorry. 10 from the first one and then 12 from the other one. 12 from this one, yeah. I got yeah, 22 then. Broken. Not full, but, you know, still good. I'm almost full. Um, Yeah, uh, as you guys look around, um, you see that a lot of the whatnots have kind of looked very confused. Uh, you see one of them, this small uh, child, this elven child, um, you see she comes up to you guys Uh uh, she's wearing like they're all wearing kind of these like very simple looking robes. Um, and so she goes, um, "Sorry, I, I don't want to bother you guys, but uh, where, uh, where are where where are we?" That is a very good question. Scout's gonna pull himself up, walk past this little elvish girl or whatever, and find his hammer. <laughs> Um, yeah, you walk past Scout, 
Uh, you see your hammers jutting out of the ground, like a circle cleared around it um, in the dirt. Uh, just like waiting there. Seems to be like humming for your presence. Before he gets to it, he has to stick his hand out like four. Just to see. It wiggles a little bit. <laughs> but it doesn't oh, show do anything else. Soon. And go over and pick it up. As you grab the hammer, Scout, your it seems to burn at first, and you drop it as you see a flash of what happened. That scene mm. play out again in your mind. Um, look at look at his hand. Anything? You see some scars on your hand, freshly singed in. Uh, and Dwarvish. Hmm. I'll reach for it again. The hammer feels comfortable in your hand once more. But the thought lingers in the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. As you look down and realize... A little bit more of what this hammer is truly capable of. Uh, you return to your friends as this little girl is still looking up at you guys. Um, well, do you think that maybe there's like a way out? Of... I'd like to go see my parents or whatever they are. Uh, Ember will step forward and say, where are you from? Fay Wild, like you. Uh, we are in the Fay Wild, so that's good. Tyler's gonna get up and pat Ember on the shoulder and say, "It's okay," and look at them in the face and say, "We're your <laughs> gods now. You listen <laughs> to us." Oh my God. Oh, no. You see a uh, couple of other whatnots. These people kind of a little just unsure. Put their head in her hands. <laughs> a little unsure as they uh, peer over at you guys, and as she you guys look like around, a thumbs up over her head. <laughs> she keeps walking away to find a way out of here. As you guys look around at the rubble, job, yeah, man. as you guys begin to look and 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 see all these people who have just who you freed. From this mm. curse, basically, mm -hmm. uh, from the spell. Um, as you guys look around at all this, uh, and uh, you look for a way out, uh, are they? Do they listen to us? Are they kneeling? That's where we're gonna end our session for today. <laughs> we're we're find out next time. <laughs> I'm upset. Hey, we'll find out next time what happens. Oh, do they God. accept you as their god? Oh do they god. accept you as your god? What was the point of Tyler tough pulling to that card? We will find even, out. I don't care about the card, man. I want to know if they're... Whatever. Whatever. He wants to rule over people. He just wants subjects to rule over. He just, he just, he just, wants, to, he just wants to rule. Yeah, whatever, man. I've d this hey, you'll find out next time. time. This isn't the first time Tyler's done something like this. <laughs> it's true. not. True, true. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll find out next time. Um, <sighs> Is Ember yeah. blue permanently now? I want a refund, if that's the case. I, I feel like, the, you... doesn't the table say how long you're blue for? Yeah, um... I'm gonna tell you, you can look it up if you want, or you can make an Arcana check next Shit, time. Find Ooh. out in roleplay. Find out <laughs> next time. <laughs> you cast the spell. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have fun. Uh, it was a lot of fun yeah. this week. Uh, battling some witches. Uh, we'll level up next uh, time we play. So you guys can Hell yeah. Fire. New spells, so we can new start, magic. We can start looking at stuff to level with. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I feel like everyone's Ooh, what does that getting make us a level five? And I can still yeah, I put so. the DM in the sword at any time. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, still can go in the sword. So. Ooh, what does level five sorcerer get? I'm going to look that up in a little bit. Okay. Also, did you guys see that they've already announced TwitchCon? Yup. Oh, yeah. Back that in is. San Diego. Back in San Diego. Hell yeah. Oh, I wanted to loot. Okay. I wanted to see what was remaining. I wanted to be a little goblin. 
There's nothing to loot. It all went with her. Not everything. The things that wasn't held down did. Hey, we'll do it all next time. There's loot. There's some other things that are going to happen. We'll find out if you're gods uh, amongst... Uh... Count's God. hammer has new powers. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna roll for Shane and health while we're all here. Where's the fucking? How do I roll things here? That I forgot. How do I just roll a d6 in the chat? Oh, let's click the dice button, the five e button at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh my. Yo, imagine God. we play next week instead. I I get I get one new health. Sweet. Imagine. Imagine. Yo, imagine Sweet. we played next week instead of taking a week off. Imagine. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know because I'm I'm I just hired 20 people. I need to train them. It'd be crazy. All right, guys. Yeah. 29 health instead of 28. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm so fine. good. Hey, all right, guys. Fine. See you guys all later. Jeez. Bye. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. <sighs> Dude, Tyler's probably like cursed or something. Probably gonna do some weird shit at night now for Tyler. I don't know, but we have an entire witch and like area inside of the sword now. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Maybe the milk is cursed now. Don't say that. Don't say that. The milk, the milk is fine. Why would you say something like that? Oh man, yeah. Sauce has been really pushing for. Uh... She's been, he's been pushing to try and get us to do it weekly, but I think we're gonna keep it bi-weekly. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Let me use the rest real quick and then we'll get back into more roleplay, okay?
right. All right, all right, all right. We're back. I just love that no matter what the rules and, and expected solutions are, Tyler finds a way around it. <laughs> it's always a good time. Okay. We haven't played cop in a while. Tyler is OP. Hell yeah. What's right here? What goes right there? What am I missing? Handcuffs. Oh, thank goodness they added this wristwatch. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I missed it, man. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need evidence back. It's been a while. I need ammo too. I need bullets. I just thought about it though. There's probably not going to be too much crime. But who knows? All right. Oh, I'm so happy they added the wristwatch thing. Because I'd let me tell you, I was struggling. I was struggling. There's a lot of cops on duty. Holy shit. Humane Labs Patrol, eh? There's a thing going on, Humane Labs wise. Thank you, sir. Sir, you need to move. Sir, move! Move! Well, I could have died, man. I had a 4 2. I'm going to uh, input my evidential photographs onto that situation. That'd be pity. Oh, my God. Do you guys like it in the top right hand corner? The, uh,. The map now that we have this i put it up in the top right hand corner because uh it just was easier to see street names and stuff like that uh I, now that we know where it is i might put it back in bottom left hand corner I want it center screen well Bottom left? Well, yeah, I was thinking maybe bottom left now, but it's fine. Honestly, it's kind of there. They're better there. Radio check. 
We hear you. 10-2. Two I to six is ten forty one. Let's go, police. Center right. Cover the windshield with it. I'll just make it really big and take up the entire screen. We do have to switch to Bryce at some point because I want to check on the. Uh, I want to check on his. Uh, his stuff, man. Mario. Yeah, there's a Humane Labs thing going on today. Just check with Mayfield. <laughs> Bryce is actually Mayfield's cousin? So... That was a bad headache. Mayfield found that place off stream and thought it was a weed grow, so he went to go see it. But now that uh, Easton and Billy told us where their weed spot was, I'm just going to use that knowledge on Mayfield. So. So. Mayoral campaign bids. Yeah, no, that's what we're going to try and do. I also really have to film this thing on Friday. And also, I have to edit. Because I'm going to be honest, I haven't done any editing for that uh, that commercial. Not commercial, the uh, the trailer. I just need to. I just, I just end stream and I just don't want to do anything. Trailer Thursday. Yeah, I mean, we can. I just, I don't know. I at least want to, like, organize all the footage off stream. Dispatch, Ida 42, show me 1042. Have a good night, thanks, Lisa. You know, like, EMS. I feel like, uh,. I at least want to organize the footage because organizing the footage can be a bit boring. one call for North Rockford Drive at the gas station. Injured person's being hit by a car. I'm not sure if you have availability, but just letting you know. Hey, Ben, we'll get someone to them shortly. But yeah, filming Friday. I gotta. I gotta figure out how we're doing Friday. Because I have a lot going on Friday. We got Power Worlds, we got filming later in the day, and also I have some IRL stuff to take care of on Friday. So I'm trying to like figure out how we're gonna stream and what. There's a lot of car jacking. A lot of 911 calls coming in. A lot of cops, too, for, like, people talking about crimes now. We're really looking for these damn phones. Dispatch show game 22 10 6 for a while. 
me off radio, taking some samples. Uh, we'll be on a different channel if this match needs us. Oh! 62! Go ahead and uh, go ahead and pull it over. Engine off, please, sir. Please. Dispatch two out of six for me at ten thirty-eight with a uh, rusty-looking truck, southbound Elgin Avenue. How's it going there, sir? Corporal Mayfield with the LSSD. Yeah, what can I do for you, Corporal? I get some uh, license and registration, please. You can go ahead and pass that in through the window. Or you can know, just find me showing me too. It's good. That papers are in the, in the window, though. All right, Mr. Nick Archer. Hey, you can go ahead and grab that. <sighs> Mr. Archer, where are you heading? Huh? Uh, back to uh, my job. Where you I'm working? a tow truck driver. Oh, tow truck driver, huh? Yeah. Just had an interview actually at uh, City Hall for uh, City Hall Security. So, how do you think that went? I'm. You know what? I got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping it went well. Okay. Okay. Well, you know why I pulled you over, Mr. Archer? Not a clue. You're, you're speeding a little bit back there. You know what the speed limit in the city is? I believe it's 50 miles an hour? Uh, 55. 50, 55. You were going uh, 65 back there, man. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. Didn't realize I was going that fast. Yeah. Going a little quick back there. And, you know, this this car, it's looking rusty. And, I'm, you know, I just would hate for it to... Uh, to fall apart. Yeah. Fall yeah. apart. Get yourself hurt. Get somebody hurt. Who knows? You're going to get. You're gonna run into this guy walking over here that's on his phone not paying attention to anybody. I mean, isn't that most people nowadays? They're just this guy's about to walk, phones, right? Yeah, that guy looked like he was about to walk into traffic for a second. Jesus. Some people's kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, Mr. Archer. I'm going to run some information real quick. I'll be right back with you in a minute. Hey. Right. Yeah, sure. Have a good one, Red Life. A lot of archers. Rebel. Rebel, 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 rebel. He's nice. He was going a little over the speed limit. He's fine. All right there, uh, Mr. Nick. I tell you what, uh, you've been compliant, you know? You've been, uh, you've been good. Pulled over, you didn't try and run away. Really appreciate yeah, I tried to get over as much as I could. I didn't want to go fully on the sidewalk. I know you're fine. Everything's looking like it checks out, though. Okay, I'm gonna oh, give yeah, you a I'll warning one, today. To please, uh, please slow it down, though. Yeah. I will. I will for sure. Operating on the. All right. All right. Free to go when the lights are off. All right, Mr. Archer. Dispatch two out of six is uh, clear traffic from that 10:38. Speeders. They're speeding in front of me. Mm -mm -mm. The radar is resetting. It's saying it's reset, but it's not. Shots. Where is everybody?
Whoa, this guy's coming into my lane, man. Wow, look at those clouds. Look at that sunset. Every time I think about playing around with a graphics mod, I just get reminded about how beautiful this game is already in vanilla. Uh, Sierra 17 to dispatch. Sierra 17 to any available units. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be, uh, lost MC individuals locked behind closed doors at Sandy SO. Can someone please let them out? I don't know how they got there, but they've been trying to 311 and 911 and apparently everyone's been ignoring them. Can someone please take care of that? Uh, yeah. Two out of six is, uh, 76. Okay. Thank you. Two out of six. Appreciate it. How the hell did they get up there? I'm gonna have 76 as well. I just uh, left the DMV. I should go up to my phone. Very curious how they uh, got stuck there. Same traffic. I said 22 to Sierra Zero Four. Send it. We've got two ninety five. Well, one ninety five. The other one's been treated still for uh, critical injury, so we're going to be transporting one back to VPD. I'll meet you there, Chin. Send four. <sighs> be very interesting to see what they were doing there. Vehicle 77, uh, my complete statement is in the report. Uh, Chinny, if your witness testimony isn't already, uh, sorry, you're already in there, just make sure it is. I haven't checked it, so it might be, so disregard if it is. Is that for the hostage situation? Uh, yes, sir. We missed a hostage yeah, situation. I'll, I'll get it up now. Simple, thank you. Uh, it's report BPD uh, hostage. It's uh, 3657. Roger, thank you. At least we'll be up north so we can get a bunch of these carjackers. Cotton candy clouds, man. Six is uh, twenty three at LSSD. Same traffic. Uh, Sierra seventeen. I don't see any individuals locked inside. Hello. Hello. Hello? 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 Yeah, same traffic. Border. I'm oh. checking upstairs. Sorry. Dokes, can you cover over this cruiser real quick, please? Sorry. I don't know. Whoa, anyone locked in? 
box in here. I just looked in uh, there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh, sorry. But I don't yeah. see anybody. Sorry, Chief. Didn't mean to interrupt uh, therapy. Sorry, Director. Oh, it's okay. We're not really. Hi, hi, Bob. I'm very proud of you, sir. What is that? You're making great progress. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Trying our hardest out there. I got uh, DOC guys stationed up for guard Sloan. I outfitted them, and uh, they don't have arresting powers. Obviously, they're not LEOs, but they have the power to detain, call for LEO uh, assistance with uh, uh, booking for felony trespassing, and they can also grab the people that are trespassing and throw them out if they need to. Yes, sir. Good to hear, sir. Thank you for the update. I really appreciate it. How are you today, Director? Or is that too personal? I apologize. Are you okay? What's with them? Yeah, Boys. Yeah. Are, you, are you all right? I'm uh, just being professional, sir. I know something that'll... Here, hold on. Hold on. You're just being professional? Yes, sir. What happened? Any officers... Is it because getting married? Uh, can I get 177 at uh, Mount Zona for completely different Director? incident. I have a 95, can't handle it. Uh, I can assure you that my personal yeah. relations do not affect me. It, it has nothing to do with my ex getting married. Is it because of the incident last night at the containment zone? Deputy, can you step outside? Fuck. I, just, fuck. I thought it would distract you and make you feel better. Uh, yeah, I can give you guys some space. Corporal, you can uh, find those lost guys that are lost. Yeah. I guess then they'll be found, uh, sir. For this, uh, additional complaint. They're found. Yeah. Um, okay. What about me being... Can you request that they come to VPD and file the complaint with you? A lot of officers are tied up right now. Hello? Yeah, so we, he's the primary on a, a two officer involved shooting. So uh, we need to just, uh, if we can. I don't know if someone's just picked up that 9 one I'm not sure. There's also another ongoing event, uh, clock and bell if someone's free. Yeah, so any available units, please respond to clock and bell. What is happening? Oh, oh sorry guys. What are you sorry for? Hey, have you have you guys seen any lost MC guys in here? In here? I don't know. They they keep calling nine one one, talking about how they're stuck. They're locked up in here, and I don't see them anywhere. Are you high? Mm -hmm. No. I haven't heard anybody in here. No, not what like fuck? not what? here, guys. The the police department. You know, not specifically this this room. Yeah, no. Uh, still, are no. you high? No. Okay. I I'm, I'm just I, looking to see if people are actually genuinely stuck in I here. I work a lot. I've seen you like twice. And I've never seen a lost MC person, so... Are you high? Yeah, no. nobody's been in the building. What is what does seeing me twice have to do with me being high? Well, just me being around a lot. Uh-huh. Haven't seen lost barely seen you so that's why i'm asking if you're high yeah, i usually are up in harmony okay well i'm you're gonna keep looking more... let oh. you get back to this this yeah this is is is, is everything okay no nothing is okay right now well what's what's going on do you is... know anything about the radiation right now uh, no. Is that the, the shit going on that's, in Humane that, Labs? That is what's the fucking problem right now. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. You said no. That is the issue. Okay. So, but then you're you're taking that out on other people. It's not no, super not appreciated. No, I was just, no, I'm just sitting here. We're dealing with reports before we go to the radiated zone to go and uh, do some testing. To He's a corporal, too. That we can prevent the slaughtering of countless innocent animals that might not even be infected. Do you have a hazmat suit ready? Do I have a hazmat suit ready? Do you yeah, do you have one? Yes or no? No, no one's told me anything no. about this. Do you look at the government form? What's your email? 
I'll send you the uh I, I, I can I can look at the uh the government form. I have the the full one. Uh, I don't know if actually you know what? Yeah, no, I gave it to Dokes and Sergeant Nova, so they have it, but basically this. Uh dispatch to Juliet ten ten forty one was had in y'all. Alright. I'll uh I'll figure it out and find it on the government form. Give me your email so I can send it to you. That way you have it ready. Because if you have a situation over there at the Humane Labs, <laughs> if you don't respond properly equipped, you will possibly get infected and be like everyone else and end up in the ICU or dead. Uh, They're having people do rotations over there for security. I see. Okay. You might get sent over there. Yeah. Yes. I've got, I've got an old email. Right down on here. It's one of those emails, you know. That it's just, uh. You just want to. You send it? Hold on. Let me make this email. Yeah, I'm going to make an email there in a PD general chat on the government forum, okay? I'm going to add it to the random guy in the bathroom, okay? <laughs> I got okay. the whole, uh, uniform for you. That way, if it comes down to it and you have to respond, you are properly equipped and you are probably safe from any radiation because none of us have gotten anything from it yet. All right. Because yeah, we've I'll, gone in the full proper suit. I'll change into that right now. And uh, medical also has iodine pills. If you need to have them. All right. Good to know. He I said, you signed a familiar person I've never met before in my life. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. Just kind of sounded like unfamiliar person you've never met before in your life. Yeah, I said, I thought you sounded like someone I've never met before in my life. Ah, oh, okay. All right. There you go, I've that email. Just you. make sure it's there so <laughs> if you get something, <laughs> if anyone says radiation, just that. That's the full outfit. Basically, and then you'll actually no, you have the stripe because it's the same for FTO and Corporal right now, so you're good. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm a Corporal. You. There you go. All right, thank you. I'll change into that right now. Get it ready. You don't have to. You don't have to like wear it right now. It's just so you. I'm just gonna get ready. ready. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like there. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh... Yeah. Oh. I responded to him in the Discord, and I think he realized who I was. <laughs> it's okay, Chad. It's okay. If you take uh, those things and tell the uh, PD guys, they'll bring you a full outfit. It's oh. just the outfit. You should be able to oh. import it. There you go. Bam. Yeah. And then just take off, like, your helmet. Make sure, you know, you look like yourself. You should. It's it's just the clothing. It's full clothing, but you happen to have the same stripes, so you don't really need to change anything. Amazing. Yeah. That's a cool yeah, feature. The AG tries, uh, is trying to tell all officers to go and eradicate all animals in the area because oh. they could be infected. And uh, have you met my partner right here? Mickey Faraday? She's the game warden. No. I think in passing, but thank you for your service, yeah. Mickey. San Andreas State Parks. I didn't, I, I, I didn't know we had too many people over there. We have her. That's yeah. it. And then, good. Um, you know, working with her. So <laughs> that's why we're kind of trying to help this. And then Miss yeah, Pita has been helping. Executing yeah, I'm Anna, in my a veterinarian. Jesus. Maybe there won't be one. Hi, my name's Mickey. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mickey. Corporal Mayfield. <laughs> yeah, you asked me why I'm upset. <clears throat> 
These you officers are. With your protective gear. Let's go, let's go. I just gave them the appropriate uh, clothing for the uh, wardrobes. Yeah, I can change them. Just so he's ready if need be, because, you know, I saw the stripe. I figured he should know or does know. Hope you're having a good day. I mean, I'm just getting on duty and learning about all this shit. So, so what's the plan then? I mean, uh, you said you got people swapping out patrols over there, and they got people. Yeah, wanting I to... got mandatory patrol there within the hour, so I actually have to head up there because Dokes is the kind. <laughs> I self-reported, dude. I self-reported. You self-reported. I told him I called the suspect a bitch, and he said, "All right, I want you up at Humane Labs within the hour." Because you care so much. And I was like, all right, fuck you then. So that's why I'm in this. I'm going. I have to. Uh. But he also cares. He's going to start telling Shift 2, like, wear the appropriate gear. And he's going to enforce the whole eradicating thing. Shift 3 is on the same page. I, I don't have a reach in Shift 1. I don't know the sergeants there that well. They don't like me. But you got to start somewhere. The attorney general is treating this whole thing like it's a joke and telling us that we should kill all the animals and just build a wall. Huh. Yeah. Greco? Greco is saying this shit? Yeah. Came to the PD meeting and said it. Jesus. He also said we should build it. Us. The cops. We're going to build it? Well, who's going to pay On for the it? Phone the cops. Him, oh, my God. He the situation <laughs> to a TV show he watched. Yeah, he said he watched Chernobyl, right? That's, a, that's what he said? Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to... I feel like... Wait, so... Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, hey, welcome. Welcome to the frustration. It's like, wait. <laughs> this is really happening? Yeah. Fuck. Greco, huh? Is there, is it, uh, Jerry Cal is above Greco, no? He's the, uh, I think governor, he's, right? he's out. He's, is he, is he still in office? I don't even know. I mean, the last time I heard, he was getting he was. arrested. No, I thought he got fired, actually. I don't no, even know. I thought. I oh, he is? Oh, then he's yeah. above him, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, what, you got, you got ends with Callow? I'm just saying, I mean, if anyone could stop Callow, you know. Or you mean well, Greco? Or Greco, I mean, yeah. Callow. I mean, we call call oh. Callo, but it doesn't seem like he's, at least he's not in the City Hall app. No. I I told him last night that I was going to go down there at some point, and he was like, what do you say? He's like, be careful. I heard it's not good out there. So. Jesus. But yeah, he was, uh, he was around this morning up in Grapeseed checking things out, but I don't know where he's gone. I'll keep an eye out for uh, for Cal and maybe, you know, talk to him about some of the stuff's going on. Maybe he can whisper something in Greco's ear or just step in and big dick Greco and stop this. Greco, yeah, Greco's kind of just taking his shit all over it. Like, it doesn't seem like Bob's on foot with Greco either. So we need someone above Greco and it seems like Bob might not be above Greco. I don't know, or he feels like he's not. It's weird. I don't know. But huh. the governor, though, that's, you know, right? The top. Yeah, no, that's the top. He's definitely yeah. above above Greco. Also, uh, open your uh, Twinsta app and search Humane. And then read that tweet by, uh, oh, uh, sorry, uh, Twinsta. You see from, the ones that uh, I Greco. sent you a screenshot of? Is that the one? Yeah, it is. No, there's two, no, there's two that I oh. sent you from two other people that are talking about it. Oh no! This text. is the one from uh. Wait, when did you text those? Talking about the developing on silent forever training exercise related to a simulated hazardous chemical leak. This is all normal, and there is nothing to worry about. He says. <laughs> what okay. the fuck? Greco's putting words in my mouth. So 
Someone said, is this where the three bodies were found this morning? There was bodies found there? Jesus. Then we got people tweeting out, the government is covering something up at Humane Labs. We're going to have all sorts of people trying to go down there and see what's going on and probably get something too. Oh my God. So Greco texted me back because I said, what research do you have stating that all up, animals in the area need to be exterminated? He goes, we spoke about this last night and you were on board. The research is what was given to me by the people on the ground. Now get out there and kill those animals for the greater good. I never said I was on board to kill all the animals. I said I was on board to be there to assist and make sure that they were doing the right procedures. I need to uh, meditate a second. Sorry. Also, okay. hashtag fuck Draco. Get it trending. All right. Well, uh, you know, I'll be on radio if you guys need help with anything regarding that stuff, and I'll try and keep an eye out for uh, for Callow and see if I can talk to him about all this. Yeah. All right. You have a safe shift out there. All right. Thank you. Past five minutes have been a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, they really have. That was uh that was very hostile at first. Hello? That was kind of funny with the tone shift though. <laughs> he put he posted random guy in bathroom and I said thanks random guy on bench. Well, I don't see any lost members, so it just kind of seems like they're, uh, well, I guess, really living up to their names. Yeah. Is that you, Ron? I thought you were someone else, my bad. Whoa. Evening. I don't know why I've got that out. Apologies. Alright guys. Yeah, all good. Alright, let's uh All good. Let's go find a quiet spot. Yeah, find a corner or so, yeah. Check. Check ten two. Two out of six is uh, ten eight.
Uh, dispatch, this is a uh, one India 45. Show me 10 foot 108. So many cops on duty. Hi. Didn't you just 42 like 10 minutes ago? That's a negative said, no mate. Where was it? Definitely not, sir. I've not been in the country. So hostile. Yeah, there's like three, four hundred person reports all at the same time. Boone from Keller. I think Boone's Joe Fudge's new cop. AKA Pilot's cop. Oh, dude, the the wristwatch thing, a little like the, the the compass at the top is is. I'm so happy they added that back. We, uh, we asked for that the other day and said it would be really useful and they were like, yeah, it's already implemented. We just need to turn it on because we thought that the thing on the mini-map was fine for people. It was like, no, please. Please, please implement. <laughs> turn it on. Such a big difference. I like... I found myself stumbling on comms and stuff. I think a lot of people found themselves stumbling on comms with it. His voice acting is amazing. I'm very happy that I've uh, we've gotten to meet Joe on this and so many other like fantastic role players and new people. Um, looking forward to meeting this cop. Uh, one Julia 30, Anthony. Evening, boss. Sorry for falling over your after, sir. <laughs> it's all right, Teddy. You okay? Combat roll. Nice. Eddie. Park car at Sandy PD brought it over. Boone from Keller, are you on the radio? Boone from Keller. The 
Doesn't look like he's on duty anymore, man. Actually, yes, he is. I lied. Boon, 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 boon. Just kidding, I didn't lie. Oh. I know, right? All the different blips. Green blips. Doctors. Okay. Radio check. Then two. Then four. Show added to 76 to humane labs for mandatory patrol. It will be interesting to see how crime progresses, though. Even more so. I feel like right now everyone's just trying to figure out how to get past the lock, but pick thing, but it's fun seeing people try and figure out shit, you know. A lot of gunshots. Up in Polito. It's like all hunting, though. Where'd send Kudo approach? of set my phone up here sets phone on car Out of 61, going 1042. Was that, was that him? 10 4 10 3 series, Mike. Wait, hold on. I took my phone. I took my phone. Fighter 2, 23 Humane Labs, I'll be uh, here for about an hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
what's that dude doing? You all right there, sir? You, you all right there? Yeah, no, I'm all good. I just went to ten. Oh, this is I'm the new. Uh, I'm a new deputy transfer. Oh, all right. What's your name? I'm, uh, Murphy Boone. What's your name? Murphy Boone. How's it going, Corporal Mayfield? Nice to meet you, Corporal. You up on the? Uh, I see you wearing the same uh, outfit I was wearing. So LSSD. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm up, uh, up north, LSSD. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, hopefully I'll run into you. What shift are you working? Uh, I do uh, a little bit of both one and two. That's what I'm looking to do as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll run into it a little bit. I'm just learning all the ropes of the uh, the city, all the country life. So, a little are different you, out there. Are you coming in as a as a deputy or? Deputy, that's right. Okay. Well, where, are you, where are you transferring in from? Oh, over in a small town in Texas called Tennessee. Tennis, Tennessee? No, Tennessee. It's very it gets confusing a lot of time in Tennessee. Yeah, it's over in Texas though. Okay. Tennessee. It's in northwestern Texas. Tennessee. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, well. Small little town. Good to have you here, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you know I'll see you around, and maybe we can uh, ride together or something. That sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, what'd you say your name was? It Corporal uh, what, uh, Mayfield. Mayfield. All right. Well. Thank you so much, Corporal Mayfield. I'm going to go get myself some food and drink and watch the game. You, you support the Pounders? My, support the Panthers? Pounders, Pounders. Uh, oh, the Pounders. LS Pounders. You a big fan? I'm a huge <laughs> fan. Top <laughs> scene, huh? Just got transferred over. No, no, no. I'm not, not much of a sports guy myself. Everyone always confuses me with uh, with a Baker Mayfield, but I, uh, yeah, no. Oh, hey, hey. That, no, that's fine. I'll get you into sports by the end of the shift. Next shift. You okay. gonna spot the Panthers just like me, okay. Thompson? Have a throw, have a throw. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> what is he fucking? Hey. Go Panthers! Go go go! Oh. Go Pounders! Is he Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> That's so funny that he uh. Oh my god, imagine if we brought Neil over here. He would have loved Neil. He would have loved he would have loved Neil. Now go ahead and uh, keep that engine off for me, please. Two out of six from me to ten thirty eight with a green and colored four door occupied once eastbound Vespucci Boulevard. Oh no, Neil's Neil's not coming back. How's it going there? It was going good Simple. until you, you stopped me. Well, I mean, it, I agree. It was going good until I stopped you. Could use an additional. I, it, mine's what? Corporal Mayfield. Oh, so I mean, it's always good to have oh, sure. Just sorry, Mom, you you know, some backup. Uh, this Pucci Boulevard. No, uh, you'd be surprised, sir, but the uh, a traffic stop is actually like one of the most dangerous calls to respond to. Uh, you'd be surprised how much people really, really don't want to pay for uh, small amounts of tickets. Uh, it's it's protocol to have backup to uh, every call, regardless of how small or big it may seem. So what did I what did I do? Well, glad you asked. First of all, uh, how's it going, Corporal Mayfield, LSSD? Uh, can I see some license and registration? You can pass that through the window. And while you're doing that, I uh, I pulled you over because you are uh, you, you didn't really come to a complete stop back there for that right turn. You're coming through pretty pretty quick and a little reckless, man. Do you have that on dash cam? <laughs> no, no, I don't have that on dash cam. We don't have dash cams. Will that uphold in court of law? Yes, actually, it would because there's a thing called officer testimony. Okay, so can you prove that I did it? Actually, you know what? I can prove that you did it, actually, because, uh, well, one, I have officer testimony. Two, I have another officer's testimony right there as well. And three, I also have you on radar of how fast you were going right before the intersection, and uh, I can use that to help 
approve of uh, how you were going a little too quick. Going? Give me one second, sir. Let me, t let me see how fast you were going. Fuck. Time to lie. Going 35. So what's the speed limit? Well, the speed limit, sir, is 55, but considering it was a red light and you have to come to a complete stop to turn right on red, I take 35 miles per hour going right past me. How many me cars were near me when you radared me? Sir, I'm going to need to see some license and registration. All I right. don't, you know, there's no dash cam. I, I have all the proof I need. All right. Honestly, uh, you know, you're looking at just a warning right now, so I mean, just just comply. I shouldn't have to just comply, though. You know, I mean, I just I didn't do anything illegal. I, I, you, I you did actually. You're you're allegedly saying I'm doing these crazy things you can't prove. The only thing you can prove is testimony that's just bullshit. Uh, I mean, we'll uphold in court. Again, sir, and, uh, you're, you're not you looking at I'm speeding, and I'm mm -hmm. not speeding. I didn't say speeding. I said you didn't you didn't stop. Fully at a red light to turn right on red, which is the law. Mm, again, once again, alleged. You can't prove it. I, I can. You can just prove it by saying words that you can lie in court. I mean, that's bullshit. Yeah, let's say that we go to court. Let's say first of all, you're looking at a warning already. Nothing. You you, you haven't been hit with anything. So I don't know why you're coming at me with all this stuff. Uh, let's say that bullies. we go. To, uh huh. Sorry. What'd you say? I said I don't like bullies. Have I said anything that, that seems like a bully to you, sir? You stopped me, then you're asking for additionals? Like, what the it's fuck? It's part of protocol. Just... I'm doing my job, sir. I feel like I've been very oh, polite oh, yeah. to you. You have, but, I mean, regardless, uh, I have a right on red. Uh-huh. I stopped. I just went, you know, this is a stock vehicle. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not like you, you, you know the vehicle for any other crime. I'm... Well, no, I, mean, I don't know that yet. I haven't run that information yet. We're just talking. But I, I'd like to imagine that it hasn't been used in anything else. And you're entitled no, to okay. your own opinions and if completely have the right to, uh, you know, disagree with what I'm saying. That's fine. I saw what I saw. I uh, you know, pulled you over and we're having this talk. I feel like I've explained everything very uh, calm and politely. And, you know, I... I kind of failing to see where all this uh, anger and hatred is coming from. <laughs> I've been fucked over by the police so many times. Okay. Have you ever been fucked over by me? It doesn't matter. You represent the police. Ah, okay. Fucked over by one cop and then all you hate all cops and then, you know, they're all I'm the same, right? different cops. Look, Sergeants, uh -huh. deputies, corporals. Did you uh, make officer complaints or deputy complaints to the PD about this? But I have tried to sue them, and every single fucking lawyer doesn't want to do it. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Sounds like you need better lawyers. Sure. Uh, I would yeah. also try and uh, urge you that if you genuinely do have compliance, tell people about it. You know? Yeah. Get their, get their ass in, took in trouble. CDO without doing anything fucking illegal or wrong. I mean, if you genuinely... I said with some words, and she just took my CDO because she was mad. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, when this stuff happens... And report it to them. Uh, I asked to, but she's a sergeant. I got to fuck. <laughs> she's a sergeant. There's people above her. Not at the top of the food chain. Yeah. It's hard to just get in contact with these people. And I asked a lawyer, and they just don't. They say, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll contact you back. And they never do. So then they get their ass handed to them by the fucking judge. Uh-huh. Anyways, how can we... How can we... I just gotta go. Like, I'm, I'm trying to meet somebody... Uh, <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, you know, it's kind of fucked up. Uh-huh. Right. Do you have registration for this vehicle, sir? Uh, yeah. I'm... Can you pass it through the window? Yeah. I'm... Do you see that? Uh, no, I do not see that. There's a... Uh... Um... Do you mind if I step out the vehicle and put it on the ground for you? You can, or you can go into your your you know your pockets and you might be able to have better time for that. But this is fine too. I couldn't seem to. Show all good. You all good. Of... All right.
right. All right. Okay, you can pick that back up. I'm going to check the plate of this real quick. Looking like it checks out. All right. Uh, just go ahead and hang tight real quick, sir. I'm just going to run some information and make sure everything's all good. Okay. All right. Lando Bando. <sighs> Five days. Lost his commercial driver's license while I was towing PD cars when trying to explain why he can't tow cop cars. Had a huge hissy fit and made it clear he doesn't understand the legislation for towing cars. After 10 plus warnings to stop touching police cars at the DMV. <laughs> he continued to fight, was told to learn the legislation before he can get his license back. Lando told the DMV that he is not able to tow Officer cars with lights and sirens on. After double checking that he understood with an exam, we are granting him his CDL license back. If it is suspended again, it is on him. His actions are going forward and told him that, which he can agree to, 111.12. So he has a back. Everything's uh, looking like it checks out, but uh, I looked on your profile and your CDL license was granted back to you. You know that? Yeah, it was given. Yeah, it was given back because I had to talk, had to get with the lawyer. Got it. So, you, so you do have it back now. You have it. Yeah, I finally got it back. Yeah. Lost okay. wages. Bunch of other shit. You tried to sue for those lost wages and the lawyer didn't want to take it? Um, they wanted to, that's what they said, and then they just never contact people back, I guess. I'd bug so, them. Bug the hell out of them. Listen, you have a right to do, I you know, did. these things and just keep fucking poking them if you want to do that. It looks like it, you got just, you got it back the same day. <laughs> yeah. How was that? I did. How, how long did that take in between? Well... To be honest, um, I wanted it to take as long as it could, but uh, the lawyer, for some reason, just wanted it to give it back to me as quick as possible. So Why did you want it to take as long his, as possible? Well, he um, wanted to, he just went up to there and I guess got it back for me. I didn't know what the Shit, fuck to do, so I was just, enough, you know, you. waiting for the lawyer to do his shit. Lawyer... Talk to the well, I talked to the person with light behind me. I got my thing back, bang, 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 bang. But I still, you know, I lost hours and hours of. Uh... Anyways, am I free to go? Sorry, sir. Am I am I boring you? You're not boring or bothering me. I just uh, kind of want to go. I mean, it's like you're questioning me. I don't like it. I, I mean, I feel like we're just having a conversation. No, I agree. I just, you know. Well, look, sir. Uh, you know, I'm I'm willing to give you a warning today, okay? But I hope that this shows that you know, just because you've had a couple of bad experiences with the police, multiple. Regardless, not everyone is the same. I agree. It's like, you know how you eat a bunch of the same food over and over again, you just don't like it anymore? Uh -huh. You're being, you're, you're sick of being sick. It's kind of like that, you know? Okay. Okay. But then you, you know, you get people that are just trying to, uh, actually, you know, help you out and talk to you. And you're just saying stuff like, I want to leave. Can I leave now? What it like, yeah. you know, it's not. 
It's as if I really want that food and try the same food. Just because you're sick of that food doesn't mean that I'm sick of the food. And ma'am is... Yeah. What's with you taking a picture? Are you okay? Don't worry about it. Okay. You know... She can do that. Don't... Yeah, I mean, just wasn't doing anything illegal. Just asking what's up with the picture and she ran off. A little weird. Someone yeah. came up and took a picture of us and ran away. I'm a photographer. I like pictures. All right. All right. See, now we're, you know, now we're getting to know each other. Basically, what I was saying is, you know, just because you're sick of the same food doesn't mean that others are. Yeah. Do you ever get Do you ever get annoyed with the, the same cars over and over again? Oh, I, I love what I do. You love it? Yeah. You've never complained about it? No. Awesome. That's great, actually. All right. Well. So. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. I just. Were you gonna ask? Like, can, you, so, can you go? No. Is that what you're gonna I just, ask? Well, <laughs> no. I was saying. So, like, what's next? Like, what do I gotta do next? Don't worry, sir. You can leave. I'm walking back to my car and turning off the lights, and then you can leave. It was great talking so, with you. Yeah, it was great to talk to you as well. But. Um, is that is there any anything gonna be on my like record like no. notes? Cause uh, no, I didn't some... I, I didn't give you anything. Okay, some some cops like to put like a bunch of notes on my shit. I uh, I would have I would have let you know. Awesome, great, perfect. Uh, thanks for being truly wonderful and um, you know a great. Um, human in this great world we live in. Ooh, I can feel the pain coming out of you saying that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. You don't have to lie to me, you know, sir. You can be honest. Well, I was already honest with you once. But yeah, I just. Like I don't. I don't need you to compliment me. You know. I mean, it's nice if you meant it, but I could. You know. Picking up were, on the sincerity. You were pretty cool. So is there like an actual reason you stopped me? Or? Yes, because you went through that red light. You didn't come to a complete stop, and uh, you know, pulled you over. I was just gonna tell you to slow it down and you know, have it uh, be a warning and to stop fully on right on reds, and then it turned into this entire thing. Yeah, I like conversations. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to walk back to my car. Turn the lights off. You're free to go when the lights are off. Uh, although you weren't speeding, you know, let's make sure that we do come to a complete stop at red lights when turning right. Perfect. Excellent. What was your name? Corporal Mayfield. Corporal Mayfield. Ooh. I'm put that in my notes. All right. Oh, wait, so you're just going to... Well, thank you for letting me know that you're putting me in your notes. Because some people, they just put me in their notes and they don't even tell me they're putting me in their notes, you know? Yeah, no, it's not for, like, anything bad. I'm just, you know, putting <laughs> you in, your, in my notes. One of the greatest... Not greatest. One of the good interactions, you know? All right, all right. I'll take it. Yeah, um, there's a big line behind you. I, I could go around. I don't know what this longer. lady's doing. But, uh, yeah, you're, uh, yeah. you're free to go when the lights are off, sir, okay? Perfect. guy is so lucky that it was me that pulled him over because any imagine if imagine if like Maddox or uh, or uh, 
like a cop like Maddox or something pulled him over and immediately he was just like you got dash cam <laughs> would have been immediately like all right get out of the car <laughs> immediate backup get him out of the car put him in cuffs <laughs> frisk him you know oh my god <sighs> He, uh, well, who knows? Maybe that changed his whole perspective on cops there. Huh? Huh? This is why 10 boards were better. Yeah, you know, I talked to the guy, got him to calm down, made him realize that what he was saying wasn't all that right. Made him realize that not all cops are bad. Who knows? So there's no witness to see me beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. But tell it and taught me Aka. No, I mean, look, we could have gone, we could have screwed that guy over. You know, we could have gotten hostile. Uh, what's the, what's the point? You know. Dispatch 2 out of 6, show me clear traffic from that 38. Stop jaywalking. Hey, can I close with you for a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. Out of the street, though. What's going on, sir? So, I need, I, I, I want to know, like, what the crack is, because. Like, I do repo, yeah, and I've been doing repo since, I don't know, pretty much fucking the day I came into the city. Ah. And, um, there's, two, there's obviously, there's like a couple of different ways you can repo, yeah. Obviously, there's the waiting around the for the person picks. to give you the keys. There's, like, lockpicking the vehicle and bringing it back. And there's towing it, yeah. Uh -huh. So, obviously, if the person ain't there, the only op option is, is to lockpick it to bring it back. Or get uh -huh. it towed back, yeah. Yeah. But if I'm towing it back, I can't. Wait, I can't be clocked in at two places at once. I can either. Oh, I haven't got. I can either be clocked in repoing, or I can be clocked in towing. So it means I got to outsource the work, which I don't mind doing. But sometimes it costs more than what it would cost to bring the vehicle back. So it's counterproductive kind of to do that. Right okay? Yeah, but I mean, I, the, you could do it with a you. with a friend and have the friend clocked in a tow, and you have the tow truck, and then you, you know, our, uh, or the repo guy, you know. That's, that's probably the best. Show, I right guess. There. I guess I would do that. I know there's a whole lockpick ordeal thing going on right now, and me personally, yeah, you, you know, know, although they're not illegal to have, it sits a little weird with me of people lockpicking cars and bringing them here. Uh, yeah, so it's the the issue is is because like okay, so the way I feel like the way it should work is if I if I collect the repo, uh, for instance, there's a rat loader now that needs to be brought in. I feel like if I if I go for that. Repossession, they should give me a set of keys right, just to walk in and get it. Go but, um, they don't, so I gotta fucking like, make my own way. Mm. Well, maybe something to, uh, picture the repo yeah, people. Yeah, I think I might do that, you know. Keep a, keep a spare key, uh, so that, you know, they give one to the person renting out the, uh, the vehicle and they keep one for themselves in case they, uh, get fucked yeah. over. Yes, yeah, definitely, yeah. Not I a bad idea. Not a bad idea. But, uh, uh in the meantime, I would say probably, you know, double trouble with one of your friends or something. Double trouble with a tow truck driver? Yeah. Mm. All right, but yeah, I'll do that. Appreciate you. Yeah. You have a good one, I then, sir. Sorry to disturb you. I, no, I appreciate not disturbing you, me uh, at all. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know. It's just something that's been bugging me. Like, you know, I just thought I could ask somebody's opinion on it. I, uh, I think your idea is a good idea. So, I just, like I said, picture with, uh, 
with uh, the we repo people, with... PDM, and we'll see what happens. You know? I, genuinely not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, affirmative. Ten thirty traffic is gonna be uh, southbound out the street across the San Andreas. It's gonna be a prairie, green color one occupant. Bring that up later because right now there's a different conversation going on in that chat. Trying to throw anybody available for play check? 10 2. And 2. San Andreas 2 8, Whiskey Sierra Lima 4 6 7. interested to see uh, how people continue to respond to the no lo uh, lockpick thing. Is this the same dude? <laughs> Sierra 17. Did you copy that plate? No, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry, send that one more time. Sorry, people are screaming in my ear. Sandra's plate 2 8. Whiskey, Sierra, Lima, 4 6 7. Whiskey, Sierra, Lincoln, 467. Yes. Um, one sec, my MT2 right. is not working uh, now. Someone else help, uh, Ferraro, please. Yeah, yeah go ahead and attend on that play for me, Ferraro. 2, 8, Whiskey, Sierra, Lima, 4, 6, 7. It's gonna be, uh, signs of tampering on the car. And yeah, it's gonna be like Stephanie Contreras, the blue Oracle, flag, stone vehicle. Can we get there an additional to his location? Two out of six. Two out of six is uh, attaching and already attached. It's uh, it's Alta Street, southbound Alta Street, nearest cross to San Andreas Ave. Yeah, Alright, please flag, y'all handle that. Yeah, tough one. Sorry that took so long. I'm up at Humane Labs. Sorry, I did. Oh my god, god. I my car. This isn't the same guy though. This isn't the same guy. Alright, we got three, three units here. Alright, uh, he's yep. got no warrant, uh, but I'm gonna get him out of the car, I guess. So, uh, Mayfield, be ready for it. Copy. What does the eagle come back to? Uh, listen, I got a problem with the vehicle. Uh, yeah, you might just step it out. Stephanie is what I got. Ooh, it's he's flagged. stepping out. Oh. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. Um, you guys Stephanie's phone number? Okay. Why would she have changed? Well, when did you get the car from Okay, so. so she gave you the car for a week. Right, okay. Okay. Uh, because you don't
know, the car is reporting stolen by the owner. Yeah. So, uh, you got a phone number for Stephanie so we can clear this up. Okay, so, I mean, how are you going to give her the car back if you don't have a phone number, you know? That's a good question. So, no, are you give me a, a boy now. Can't get is that what this is? We got tow truck Chat, this is incredibly off topic. How are people getting, does anyone know, like, the tow union there's just streamers randomly getting Pal World. A copy of Power World in their uh, their Twitch. Third unit can break off. I see you getting a little squirmy there. Twitch is just sending them. Oh, I know it sucks, Jasper. I mean, we only have to wait till Friday. Yo, thank you so much for the uh, the raid, man. I hope you enjoyed uh, cop tings. Were you planning on giving it back? I'm super down to uh, to ride with with your cop. I had this on the last server I played on. I had a uh, my cop was like a huge football guy. And he would put, like, football stuff in every analogy that he could possible when, like, dealing with things. And your cop and him would have been best friends, man. <laughs> would have been best friends. But I'm excited to uh, excited to roll around with you on Cop 2, man. So thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. I learned all the call signs and buttons. You want me to send you? You want me to send you my um my keybinds? John thirty one custody. All right, you, all right, you good, left? DJ? Yeah, we're good. I'll let you know, man. You have any questions? You let all me right. know. So you said that. I mean, you're detained at the traffic stop, right? You know, but I definitely have probable cause to arrest you. I'm just deciding what I want to do with you. You know. It's a choose your own adventure, you know? Ooh. You got any weapons I, on you, Chet? I do have a weapon, yes, which I do okay. am licensed to have. I actually have two. Okay. I have a knife and I have a gun. All right. Looks so like you license, got something else uh, there, too. I do have a license. It's in my wallet. I got a little shovel. That ain't a weapon, though. Hold on. Caruso, you seen that? You seen that? Mm, I, I think I see it, Mayfield. I think I see it. What's this? I think I see it. I think I see it. I think I see it. Bit of ketchup on my end? Oh, it's oh, a quarter. It's a quarter. Oh, it's a quarter. Uh -oh. I mean, I'm being mind freaked right oh, now, Jay. Well, We're just like doing fucking car. My friend Jay was here. We'd be seeing some shit we had never seen before. <laughs> Sorry, what was you saying? Where'd you steal the car, sir? Um. Oh, jeez. Try to. I've been all up and over the city. But you stole, yeah? I. Honesty goes a long way, sir. I will say that I did use a lockpick on that car. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Are you doing tow or are you just doing uh we'll document the vehicle for you guys? <laughs> Chad, I mean, Mind what are you doing freaking. this shit for? You don't even have any priors, not even so much as a traffic ticket. What the fuck are you doing boosting a guy? That's a cop. Uh, well... I'll be honest, I called a guy earlier and he said that there was stuff that I could find that was worth a lot of money. I'm a bit of a hobo right. right now. Obviously, I need to get my feet started, so I need you I'm to look for any way to make money. Signs of tampering. I mean, what about a fucking job, man? You already said you were aware There's of, like, plate. tow trucking and all that. Like, why do this, you know? Like, I mean, it's a fucking what felony here, man. What's this, what's this guy's name? Chet, Chet uh, Chet Tumbles. Chet Tumbles, huh? 6590. Hey, I appreciate that, dumbass. I mean, you kind of like pigeonhole. I swear, I said it you know, very but, sincerely you know, with that. You said you just fucking moved here, pal. You you shouldn't be doing this shit. Yeah, it's like a nuclear exclusion zone. You know, I figured there would be good scrap that I could find. Well, it's funny that you say that, sir, because this is actually the gateway crime. 
Okay, so it starts mm. off, you know, oh, look at me. I'm going to, you know, I hate walking everywhere. I'm going to go boost this car, drive it around the city because it's all cool. And then... I wish it had a boost. That way I would have zoomed further. Next thing you know, right, you're killing a man. You want to kill I a mean, man, sir? I mean, a man almost killed me. Not you... particularly, no. Why are, you, why are you stealing cars? Because yeah, cars go fast? Yeah, I'm and far. stealing them so could give life, you money? Sir. So does life. Life goes exactly. fast. I'm mm. 29. I got one year good year left in me. Well, guess what? You might as well spend that next year up in jail if you keep doing this shit. <laughs> I mean, you turned a, uh, you know, simple traffic infraction if it was your car <laughs> into an arrest. You know, you could be going in for the big time, yeah. That, that, I don't that know comment that really pissed me the fuck off. What look, comment? Look what you did. You pissed off Joe. Oh, God. You pissed off Joe. Oh, no. You know, look what you're doing. Look at the path good day. you're going down. He was having a good, good day. day. Yeah, he yeah. was. He was having a good day. <sighs> look at the consequences to your actions. You're having collateral damage here. This is mm -hmm. real harm. This, mm -hmm. this is real harm. You having this a Joker is, moment, I, sir? Is that I, what the hair's about? I thought, no, it's just, I like green. I can tell. Is that why you stole this thing? It, 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 it was my color. I'm not going to lie. It was very enticing. His color, you hear that? Well, I think we should drop this mm. guy off down in the uh, the south side where the uh, the families hang out, and so they, he can talk about yeah, uh, how man, that's his color. color. Right? Huh? I could use a family. <laughs> you need a job, is what you need. Mm -hmm. A job. Co-workers could be like this. Uh, this car right here. The Thanks, man. Right. Why, like, why don't you try? You know, I, I know you. <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, did you text me the state ID? Uh, which, whose state ID do you need? Hungry, you know? I need the <laughs> officer's state ID and the report number. I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. Appreciate you. Well, that, I mean, well, that's like a that's fine. Thing, Nobody, you know? no, nobody's saying you can't, uh, you know, work, uh, like, eat while you work. I mean... But, like, uh, you're talking about, you know, you don't want to do tow trucking because you can't afford the license. I mean, there's other avenues for you to keep your nose clean besides, you know, just fucking breaking in the cars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I hate seeing this, you know? You I, don't even have a traffic ticket this, or anything, you know? It's like you're you right. about to go yeah, down right. for a felony. Like, right. what, you know, Thanks what are we doing here? Is there any jobs where I can drive a cool car and go really fast that isn't tow trucking? You want to go really fast? <sighs> really fast. I mean, if possible, I would settle for moderately fast. What about under 50 miles an hour? Mm -hmm. Okay, we could we could In do a that. racing yellow vehicle. Ooh. Ooh. Some like, like maybe five, some black six stripes people. on it. Five. Some black to stripes. Six? Black racing stripes and black racing lettering. Mm. Holy shit. Uh, but you, you have to keep it under 50. And right. you get to, you know, uh, 85 just drive. On the freeway. Yeah. I do love driving, is the thing. Ever since like, I got my license, I've been running errands, doing little, you know, taking sisters to the movie theater how broke are you uh i have around 204 dollars to my name at this moment sir oh also when you say sisters do you mean like nuns or any any woman is a sister is the thing and i love women okay prove it prove it yeah name every woman uh anya taylor joy uh nicole kidman Obama's wife. Oh, come on. Don't disrespect Obama's, Obama's wife. Obama's <laughs> wife? What's her name? What's her name, man? She works Michelle, way too hard Michelle. to be... There's... Jesus Christ, <laughs> man. I'm playing. I'm playing. Are you? She works I'm way playing. too hard to be called Obama's wife. Yeah, she Jesus changed the Christ. school what lunches, for... man. Yeah, what she did for kids across the country. Like, There's nothing to shake a stick at, man. She made the school kids lunches. Kids were getting fucking bad. slop served to them, and they were mm -hmm. getting fucking cholesterol problems at 13 years old. I do love slop, though. Yeah, I can tell it attracts. <laughs> Listen, so, you know, if I fucking stick my neck out for you and try to get you on the, the straight and narrow, are you going to fuck me over or what? Hold like, on. Should I just fucking take you to prison? I mean, I said, I know you said you had a lonely day, but if you're looking for someone to fuck you, I'm not, I'm not that desperate. I'm talking about if I sponsor you for a, a fucking taxi license so you can Sponsored. do something legal. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You know what I just realized? What? This guy doesn't have any eyebrows. 
Oh, you're going to jail. All right, let's just get you in the cab. Wait, wait, you wait, need wait, medical? wait. You need medical? Wait, 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 wait. No, we're done. What do you mean? What? I, 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 I've been wearing the goggles for so long. I just, I never looked underneath them. <laughs> hmm. What do you think about that, Joe? The guy whose day you ruined? No, 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 no. All right, let's no go. No eyebrows. I tried. No I tried. Eyebrows. You know You've what? Enough. You know what, Chet? I literally offered <laughs> to buy you a fucking taxi license. You say, are you trying to fuck me? You know what? Now I am with the law, raw, mm -hmm. unprotected. Oh, mm -hmm. Please accept my humblest apologies. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. T tell it to the fucking In the car, judge, sir. Down. In the car. I'm coming down with y'all to make sure this right, goes perfect. well. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> You motherfucker, you. I was having a good day. The eye open up. It's such a good day. This badge. Two out of six. 76 VPD 195. Do I have any uh, EMS that are. Uh... Uh, 10 8 that want to deal with something unimportant but funny. I got a guy here that I'm taking of his Fuji PD for processing. I think he's got some sort of disease. He's got no eyebrows. I'll say less. Uh, DPD, That's one way. of my brethren, I think. All right. Uh, yeah, Nobody. we'll let you guys uh, inside. Yeah, I think that's one of my uh, underdeveloped brethren that did not know how to grow hair. Put you in the soft. Fuck. I was really scuffed for a second there. Sir, please. Joe, I need to give you a VIP badge here. Fucking pants, okay? Which means I need to un VIP someone. Yeah, it's called hump day because it's the middle of the fucking week, you sex pervert. Like a fucking camel? Got a hump help. in the middle? You need help, sir. The EMS on a way to check you out for some sort of medical disorder or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're fine. I mean, God yeah. damn it, Mayfield back there works in the county and he's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Never felt what are you better. Fucking, what are you, licking uh, uranium rocks or something? Like, what are you doing? I do love rocks, is the thing. Yeah. Sedimentary igneous. How do you feel about glue? Oh. Love glue. I yeah, actually glued tracks. my goggles right. on for a I'm, while I'm there. One plus they might have came off with the eyebrows. Too. Yep. I feel like, I think I remember reading somewhere that there's a way to like get your possessions back. Collect items right here. For whatever reason, it's the water cooler. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No, yeah, yeah, we, we are. We are, oh, we are yeah. sir. No, no, oh, yeah. No. Come on. Listen, this, this, po this photo they took you at the DMV doesn't do you justice. Oh, yeah, it's the this harsh lighting. Permanent Probably. record. All right, up against the water, okay? okay? Get over there, sir. I wonder how tall I am. Five foot. Five foot. Five Look at that. Even. He's just a little guy. <laughs> I'm just a little guy, officer. Disgusting. Hey, Chris, are they in the cells or? Yeah. I'm a short no, king. No, no, Bro, Lee, how'd you get a radio, dog? That was uh, oh, hostile and necessary. Hello? Hi. Wait, are they bald too, Caruso? No, they're not bald. Yeah, negative. Fuck, All right, uh, turn uh, 90 oh, degrees oh, oh, to your left. Bro, how we get leads? How leads get a radio, dog? That's uh, that's 180 degrees, sir. I, uh, I don't know. They're responding to uh, EMS calls. Maybe they're doing some EMS stuff. Or something. I don't know. Oh, word. 
Okay, that's that's wild. Hello. Is that a fire? Hello. Fire? The whole county's coming yeah, here to see you, sir. We're concerned for you, sir. Go ahead. I gotta put his uh, MDW photo. Do what you gotta do. I just never looked underneath Pick the, the guns. Sicko out. What you talking about? I was wearing it for so long. Take it away, what EMS. Hey, get in the corner. Get in the corner. Get in the corner, boy. So just in the corner right here. Hello, sir. How can I help you? I'm a freak. Look at me. <laughs> I was wearing those goggles for so long. Yo, uh... They took my eyebrows uh, off with them. They glued to my skin. Outside. What's wrong with this fool, Caruso? This is like... Mm. This... This is... Uh, he stole a car right here, what they're doing and uh, then him. said that I offered to, like you know, freak. asked him why he was going down a bad path. And I offered to sponsor him for a taxi uh, license and he thought I, uh, he Do said, you are you trying to fuck me? Uh, and then Mayfield uh, figured out he didn't have eyebrows. So it was like, uh, what are we going to do at that point? Straight to jail, you know? I'm wearing the goggles, you know? It's a nuclear wasteland out there, Doc. And they're just laughing at me. Look at that. God damn, I bet you smoke some reefer yeah. too. Sir, there's no radiation in here, okay? You're you're fine. You just don't have any eyebrows. You better get some eyebrows, boy. Were you asking me? You better get some eyebrows. Here, here's the thing. I, I discriminate against them. eyebrows. Did you put my goggles eyes? back on? What? This guy's a dope head. He's a doper. That's uh, what he is. This guy's a sicko, yeah. goggles? I can sicko. separate you from the population. Uh, they should be uh, stuffed in his jacket there. You eyebrow this oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. We'll get your goggles back on. This. Hopefully that'll make you feel a little better. He probably oh, like my eyes me, being cops. seen. I'm a, I'm a paramedic I firefighter. I don't know. Oh, I'm just oh, here. Bro. Is that you Maybe on the radio? Yeah, like a, bad. 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 Like a, bad. Bad. Like a couple bad. band aids you could put on bad. the top of my eyes. How you doing? Who the fuck is that? Don't worry about it. It's not. It's not your problem. That is my problem. I think that? of someone else. That is my problem. What's that? You sure? Uh, I'm sure. I mean, it's such a problem. He said it's Listen, not. So it's, it's not. It's difficult having all these. Oh my God! God there's so many, many voices. voices. Don't Spider Man and Eddie. Huh? What'd you say? Eight Scooby Doo band aids. I only have Hello Kitty and Spider Man. Put some band aids uh, on him. He, he's probably too high to even realize what's going on. Yo, you got some I Power like Rangers. Can we just put some? Oh, Power Rangers. Like, we gotta run this gun. He had really quick, his like, eyebrows minute. so that we don't have to see him. Oh man, he had a gun on him. Oh, no, he, he he's gonna put his goggles back. Or actually, you oh, got some Ben 10 band aids. Those go hard as the paint. Ooh, the Ben 10. Or as long as like this, if it's one of those band aids that like the pad on it is a circle. Hey, if you get the Ben 10 logo perfectly in that circle, in those are the best band aids. Uh, yeah. Oh, All right. Well. I'm gonna be. Let me honest, get you I've been the those goggles for, now, for the past though, right? like year or so. They probably uh, no, just took the hair off my eyebrows with them, you know. Yeah. All right, you got your band aids uh, now. I'll let. Ten for them, just with a patient right now at the VPD. Uh, but I do need officers here. I'm in civilian clothes. All right, I'm we'll get the other one. On the way. Like one of those pens right. for the clipboards, right? You could just draw something on real quick. Uh. Oh, I, I already covered. Check out his mug shot. I'm very proud like of myself. I just learned how to do that. Draw over just the band aids them, and make yeah, it look make like you have eyebrows. Make them look angry. Oh, sure. Make them look angry. Yeah. Right. Like the way they draw eyebrows in Dragon Ball. Yeah. Six five nine zero. It's really deep. There you go. Sorry, ten there nine or a bell about what you're oh, yeah. looks... What'd you do that? Angry, I think. What'd you say? How'd you do that? Like fierce. You uh, you do on a camera. You do. So, like, you know how you can capture a region? What's your name? Uh -huh. And then you go, like, uh, in a top. There's, like, a gear. And you check the box that says, uh, like, fix the region capture. And then you input, like, uh, I did, uh, for that, I did 400 by 400. And then you, you go in there and you capture the first one. Then you have them turn. You capture the second one. And then you open the image of the first one. Like, not, like, the, the link, right? You open the image. Uh -huh. And then you go to the second photo, and you copy the image from the second photo, and then you just paste it. Totally paying attention. And then it should say, like, uh, Definitely not insert lost. and align it to the right of the first photo. And then you just save Thank that you. with Thank the check mark at the top. I'll be honest, you lost me a long time ago, but sounds free. good. 
Yeah. I, however, I it's do have the, a suggestion. It's in no. the emails thing. Oh, okay, okay. This is this is your ninety five, and you can do what you want with it. But um, I don't know if you were looking at sending him up for jail time. But if what if out instead of jail time, we uh, we soft cuffed him and make him walk from for? here to the nearest uh, barber shop while we shouted over the PA system of the cars. Shame. We're able to walk. I like that. Okay. You can have him walk down to Vespucci. <laughs> Yeah. There's a barber shop down there. Yeah. You've been underground since it's a good been idea, able to yeah. crawl. We'll process him and then we'll make him do that for his time. In a bunker? Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. You live in a bunker or what? Oh, no, wait. Oh, did you say underground or underground? Yeah, no, under, underground. Oh, never under. Why would no, I ask you under. if you will... <laughs> I ain't no mole what? man. I was in a tunnel earlier. You have a choice. You can go to jail or you can get public shaming. All right, I'm gonna give you this, uh, this gun man. and this knife back, okay? We're gonna do something here, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. it's gonna be called, uh, name and shame. All right, mm -hmm. so we're gonna process you for the stolen car. And the, uh, and the traffic infraction, which is the original probable cause for the stop, because you were second degree speeding. You were going 43 over. Mm. All right? I was flying. That's for sure. Yeah, you were flying. I think you, you actually flying. got airborne when you came through the intersection. What so, are we going to do? We're going to put him outside the DMV, put a sign on him. I have no uh, eyebrows and I'm a speeder. I, I had an idea, actually. Yeah, Mayfield had a good idea. I'll let him uh, say it. We, uh, well, I mean, sir, you have the choice between either uh, jail time or instead of going to jail, you can uh, walk while handcuffed to the uh, nearest barber shop while we scream <laughs> oh shame God. to you over the uh, the radio. Oh, Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> I know you were having a bad day, but this is this is cruel and unusual. I mean, you can go to prison if you your want. Your call, sir. Your call. Yeah, it's your choice. It's a public shaming. You wouldn't have to go to jail, but, you know. All right. How much is the fine that we're looking at, by the way? <laughs> uh, let me see. I got charge of him. It's just uh, speeding second degree and theft of a motor vehicle. Shame. Uh, it is going to be 575. Okay. That's only... Slightly more than double my net worth. Okay. Crime doesn't pay, sir. Mm -mm. No, apparently not. It does the opposite. It indents mm -hmm. you. I'm in the system now. It's bad. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're you're uh, you're part of the system now, sir. How would you like to plead to these two charges? Yeah, I'd like to plead guilty, and I'd mm. like to take the walk of shame. <laughs> All right, you want the walk of shame? All right, I'm gonna create this fine here. This is payable within 21 days uh, at the DMV. If you don't. You can have some motherfuckers knocking on your doorstep pretty Shame. soon while you're sleeping, okay? They call well, it down here. Door, barber so. shop. I, mean, I think there's one on Vespucci check. down well, here. You know, you better keep uh, look right over right your there. shoulder if you don't let that uh, fine go over door. Right there. Perfect. Look at these How bounty hunters and their the sole purpose is. Uh, so we'd uh we'd take you down to uh, Magellan Ave and just kind of park there and make you walk all the way down Magellan Ave while doing it. It's uh it's about like. Like two blocks from where we're at right now. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay, I get my steps in for the day, you know. Sure, sure. Gonna help me pick out some good-looking eyebrows. Mm. Sure. Sir. I don't know. You did kind of ruin that day. Let me just throw this lock pick in the evidence. You guys can bring them out, load them up if the you want. The magic we'll right trick was so good, though. <sighs> Lost the lock pick too. Those things are worth like I don't know five grand. I don't even think. Yeah, you I don't even think you can. Uh, store anymore. You can buy yeah. those anymore. You fucked I up, can't. sir. Yeah, oh. I bought mine from the hardware store. And goes your golden ticket. You should have sold it. I should have. Could have been a millionaire. I could have paid off that five right here, right now, if I did that. Could have. Too little, too late, my friend. Mm -hmm. I'm Where just are you a little that guy car? after all. Uh, I was just using it to get around. No, you didn't. You were just using it to get around. You weren't bringing it somewhere. No. To maybe uh, pot out. And I'm hanging around you too much, Caruso. Sorry, Joe. All right. Come on, sir. Yeah. There was ports up already. You see it? We just make him walk from here. Actually, sir, I'm not trying to fuck you. He says. I think we just may maybe we just make him walk from here. I think from here, yeah. I think you asked here. if I if you were gonna give me a taxi license if I was gonna fuck you. I wanted to know That's that not wasn't what the I case. Said, sir. 
want to let you know that even though I do find you fuckable, I wasn't gonna do that. Thank you, sir. Go to the uh, go to the gate over there. Okay. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna walk right and keep heading down there until I tell you to turn left, okay? Okay. Shame. 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 Hey, this guy doesn't have any eyebrows. I never, I never looked beneath them. This guy doesn't have any eyebrows. Shame. You hear those bells oh, ringing, sir? Oh, not those the bells. Those are for you. Shame. Oh, the bells. Shame. Shame. Oh, Shame. Look at me. Oh. He's hideous. Look at him. Everybody look at him. Everybody oh. look at him. Everybody look at him. Everybody look. Bam in the red car. Look at this. Look Shame. At this you see this guy? He's looking right at me. Shame. Everybody knows, he man. My soul. Everybody he's knows. Chet Tumbles. <laughs> Chet Tumbles doesn't have eyebrows. <laughs> no eyebrow bozo. <laughs> no, I'm not a bozo. I'm a little guy. Yep. A little five foot little guy. I'm only five no feet tall. Having bozo. Yep. The five feet tall. The five feet tall and I got no eyebrows. <laughs> Shame! Hey, look at him! Oh, look at this guy coming sir, at you. He's not even gonna look at you. Oh, sir, look at him. He's, he's got no eyebrows. He's hideous. He's a vicious man. Hey, man, you look like shit. Damn! Oh, what he are said. You saying? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Almost there, sir. Soldiers gave their lives on the beaches of Normandy, <laughs> on the sands of the Pacific Campaign in World War II, and you can't even have some fucking eyebrows. People yep. didn't die for this, Chet. Your ancestors are rolling around in their grave right now. Hundred years of American history led up to this. <laughs> You're the person all those men on it. podcasts talk about with what happened to men. Oh. <laughs> We used to stand for something. We used to build railroads. <laughs> Shame. This country was built by people with eyebrows, Chet. Well, you think you're better oh, than them God. or something? You don't need them? Shame. Oh. Shame. You're Shame. gonna take a left up here, Chet. Okay, at the stop sign. Yep. Hey, what's up, Arts? He's being a real sport about all of this. Terrible. Thanks yeah, for coming over. About what you're, why you're here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Only my mom didn't abandon me at the ripe young age of 27. Does your mom have eyebrows? She does! Does it make sense? <laughs> does it make sense? Does it make sense? Hey, hey, garbage truck guy. Or person. This guy doesn't have any eyebrows back here. We're publicly shaming him. Yeah, Chet. absolutely, please. Yeah. Listen, this guy's gonna shame you, okay? Oh, Keep it going. Keep walking, Chet. Keep walking. Keep it going. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, look shame. Shame. Oh, look shame. At my face. shame. Shame. I've never looked behind the goggles. Shame. Everyone's gonna know about this. <laughs> She said, can I get out and laugh? No eyebrows. No eyebrows. You are a freak, Chad. You're a freak. Freak with no eyebrows. No eyebrows have an ass freak. No eyebrows have an ass. This is the FBI brows. Not the FBI. Brows. Shame. 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 I should have never picked out those goggles. Shame. I should have. I should have looked underneath them. Should have. Shame. 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 Shame.
Shame. Shame. Shame. Keep going, man. Keep going. This hardly feels about the car anymore. Shame. What the fuck are you doing in Davis? Hey, sir, put down your phone and look at this guy with no eyebrows and shame him. I thought you might have gone home with that little number. Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> man. There you I go. Playing, uh, I was playing Clash of Clans, but damn, your eyebrows fucking suck, dude. You oh, look man. like a fucking moron, dude. Jesus Christ, Whoa. man. And you go, sir. You're, like, grotesque. And you go. Sir, I mean, he, he's a monster. He's Jesus. a monster, really. Enjoy your Clash of Clans. Getting you out of these cuffs. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have Caruso get you out of those cuffs. Because he's got the keys for him. Oh, my bad. My bad. I couldn't, mm -hmm. I couldn't uncuff him for some reason. That trick with the quarter was really cool. Yeah. I just want you to know that. I went to, uh, I went to entertainer school before I was a cop. Yeah, let me just start murdering people for fucking taking pictures. Dispatch, uh, from 2SAM15, can we boo the helicopter Clarence on the radio? Can I get a boo? Boo. Hey, uh. Boo. I gotta talk to you so, about Clarence after this. I feel like I was I was I don't think we have anything dispatchers anymore. I don't know if I'm not getting that joke, but I think Clarence is doing fine for Eastbrook, and maybe, you know, we should all think about why we wouldn't unlawfully kill someone, no? Wouldn't that make sense? I don't know. Good work, Clarence. Keep it up. Keep going. What do you think about the red unibrow? It's like the Lion King, you know? Uh, I mean, are you, are you Simba? I'm like Sorry, born a new to today. Radio. I guess I gotta do this myself. I'm looking for this motherfucker who's up here who's radiated because he was in the contaminated zone. And if I don't catch him, he's gonna be out there in the public to release Is whatever he the right? fuck he caught. Oh, he had a like, superhero we'll suit on and a mask with like purple hair. That's all I got. But if he's contaminated right. and he gets out of here, who knows what he has and who knows what he spreads? Okay? Take this shit seriously, way. Sergeant. We gotta well, like, keep him fixed, so pronounced, you know. We'll, uh, we'll let you know. Hey, Fern, yeah, let me know. I'm, like, literally uh, a superhero. Yeah, Juliet 51, I'm running speed on the highway. Of the We've already had some, uh, there's a, there's a Humane Labs. <laughs> there's a Humane Labs <laughs> thing going on right now. I mean, everybody will know I have them. But we've had some people that were uh, not involved in it take uh, take matters into their own hands to try and be a part of it. Well, it's just I just and, uh, try to it's the been eyes. some weird you stuff. Know, some weird That's stuff. I don't know if this superhero thing is a part of that okay. or what, but uh, all right. Man. Jesus Christ! There we go. There we go. Take take the eyebrow check. See, so you didn't go with the unibrow, huh? No. Okay. Well, it's better. Is it a lawful order to go with the unibrow? Yes. Oh. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I lost eyes to this guy. I don't know where the fuck Who? he went. I didn't see a vehicle. He just vanished. That's my knowledge. Though. Still on foot, code six. Hey, uh, Clarence, coming from me, but call this a hunch, but maybe he's the one that stole that car up near the hippie camp near the wind farm. Okay. Are we looking? Uh, this is Sierra 17 to dispatch. Looks good. I'm gonna need some units to help me ask. No one's gonna think. No one's gonna ever <laughs> think I don't have eyebrows uh, with this no. one. No, honestly, this suits you way more than the other ones. Yeah, I get, like, I, you right. know, like feel better uh, already. Suspension. He uh, uh, failed to submit a Martin Luther King for Day leave request. Yeah, yeah whoever was going to help then. me help her, I'm at Humane Labs. So that was okay, the joke. Clarence, government profile. You got to check them. Oh, All right, man. I think you learned your lesson. Did he not put in leave for Martin Luther King Day? Yeah. I mean, you guys are doing, like, the community a favor, honestly. Yeah. Getting me these eyebrows. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
honestly, like they should, they should, they should pay. I mean, they do pay you. Oh yeah, no, they, I, get, they, I mean, they do. I get paid very quite well. handsomely, I think. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, I was working. I mean, I did it. Then I did it. I was. You know, it's, I'll never say that our tax dollars aren't at work, because look at you, look at you, beautiful. All right, sir. Easy. Okay. But now look. Sorry, it's hump day. That doesn't give you an excuse What's to say problem? weird stuff. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is he good to go, guys? You done with him, Caruso? I'm going to make that call. That's the officer problem. You're good to go, man. Okay. Because Get out of my face. While they're on an active scene. Take today as a learning experience. Okay. You don't suppose this guy would delete the photo he took of me without eyebrows, you know? Uh, they were talking right. about you on Twinsta about it. Oh, God. Oh, not on the Twinsta. I don't even have an account Ooh, for that Ooh, are roast anyone on the socials? Ooh, I'll take a nap in the car for a couple minutes. Okay. Okay. Right on. Oh, my God. They are slandering you on here, man. This one's got 30,000 likes. Oof. Not good, Chet. Not good. Have a good rest of your day. Turn your life around. Alright, you wanna get the fuck out of here? I know how you feel. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about something real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, not in front of this guy. Oh, yeah. Freaking Clash of Clans. You believe that? The guy blew in from 2017. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, well, I, I, what do you know about this Clarence guy? Uh, he's good police, but he has his moments. He seems like a real hot-headed kind of guy. Yeah. I, uh, I went into the locker room and asked him a question, because, uh, we got police reports that there were, uh, members of the Lost MC locked inside of the PD. Ooh. So, so I asked him if he's seen any Lost MC inside or heard anything, to which he replied, asking me, uh, am I high? And about how he's never seen me on shift before, and he's barely seen me around, and he's around way more. Uh, it was just kind of an odd, hostile thing. I think he's stressed out about this, uh, Humane Labs thing going on yeah, right I mean, now. Uh, but, uh, I'm not backing him up on that, because I'm not fucking going up there. And I told all the Italian-Americans in the PD, I'm not sending you guys there either. I'm not going to send anybody up there. You know, yeah. It's yeah. not in my job description. He was, he was telling me about how he got in trouble and has to do it up there because he, uh, he was hostile to someone and told him, like, fuck you to a sergeant or something. That'll do it. Damn. I don't know. I just, uh, I was just wondering what his deal was or if he was just having a bad day. Like, maybe I just caught him on a bad he's very, day. Uh, he's very opinionated. Very, like, uh, thick-headed. But, uh, you know, when he's good, when he's good. But, uh, you know, I mean... You know, uh, trying to tell that guy to do something, even as a sergeant, like fucking pulling teeth. It's a, that's a problem. I don't understand why people, uh, th this, uh, this, uh, it's happened a second time today. Somebody asking me, uh, if me telling them to do something was an order. There's a, I, I mean, fuck. I don't understand for, where uh, the breakdown of communication is. Yes, of for course. for reawakening. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, I just want to talk to you about that. You know. Yeah, see. I can talk to him about it. Uh, nothing to talk to him about it. No. You know, he uh, he he quickly uh changed his attitude with me, but uh, we're just kind of wondering what was up with that. Yeah, I don't know if this like radiation shit is like getting to his head or whatever, but uh, you know, he was uh like getting smart with me yesterday and then appreciated, and this is uh, the second instance I'm hearing in 24 hours, so not good. But uh, I'll definitely be keeping my eye on him for sure. And right. they're shitting the radio, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, really? yeah. There's uh seems to be a lot of that, unfortunately. But all right. Good stuff, man. It's okay. Listen, uh, you know, people are going to be, like, uh, very shocked when they start getting hit in the mouth with uh, disciplinary stuff. Everyone hey. has a plan until they start getting punched in the face. I uh, hope to see it. Yep. Time for lay down the law, man.
on real quick. Asking if people need help with something real quick. Oh shit, PVVMS. Yeah, clear. Need it, sweetheart. I think I'm gonna need you in a minute. No. Disregard, disregard. Everything's Ocean King. I was just <laughs> testing your response. That's all. Hey there. Oh. We respond well, sweetheart. Yes, thank you. Is that I'd be like, Joe? Get him in there, I, I knew Joe. I knew Joe was at EMS, but I haven't seen her. Go ahead, go ahead. I bumped into her uh, character yet. Good job, Clarence. Proud of you, buddy. This You're doing amazing, sweetheart. Who's Sam 15 and 7 for a dinner? Dispatch, uh, Juliet 10, 10 8. Rip Wu Ya Wednesdays? I mean, we can have our own Wu Ya Wednesdays, you know? This is uh, dispatch, uh, or dispatch from 2 Sam 15. Uh, if another person calls Bob while they're on an active scene about uh, something going on in a scene, we're gonna have a fucking problem. Uh, Juliet 51, I'm gonna be 76 up to uh, Sam. Late list? Bob I know. Science fella. I know. Uh, Sergeant, you want me to bring my big gun for this one or? Yeah, why not? Bring it. I'm telling you to bring the rifle if you have it. Because there's a hella white mountain kitties up here. These things are fierce and quick. Hell oh, shit, I could kill them with a fucking baton. Don't get too ahead of yourself there, officer. All right, well, on chat, we're gonna switch gears real quick and uh, help out with this humane uh, labs thing that's going on. Uh, that's up to uh, uh, Morgan. Uh, she's the one requesting this way. The only backup uh, required is needed, as she says, but you have to have the appropriate gear. Or they're coming. I'm sorry, I'm up here. Big one of humane labs. It's the sound of the police. It's the sound of police. Check and serve until you don't want to check, right? Uh, yeah. forgot about the toxic emo. That's perfect. Uh, for short, it's a, it was a short shift, but we ran into uh, a lot of interesting people, man. We, uh, we dealt with a lot of really fun characters. And some Karens. <laughs> Which are always fun dealing with. Is your mascot the dog from Wacky Races? No, but he does kind of look like it. Honestly, I'm, I made it a while ago and just kind of wanted a universal emote. Thing. And at the time, there was a lot of people that were doing emotes based off of animals. So I was like, fuck it. It's a dog. And uh, the dog is wearing um, the clothes of uh, what like OG Bryce Miller used to wear. So. But I feel like they're still pretty universal. I've had, I've had someone come in here once before and ask if I was a furry because of the, uh, the emotes. <laughs>
Mr. Bryce Waddle. I think it's a BTTV one now. Banana Bandit, still the best. Thought crossed my mind. Nah, it's just a, uh, just a character. Yeah, there it is. Um, real quick before I switch gears, I'm going to send my keybinds to, uh, Joe. Here are all my keybinds. Assumption emotes. Increase volume. Radio volume. Delete scenes. I don't think he needs all of these, but it's just easier to. It's just easier to send all of these over. Ending stream yet? I appreciate you saying that, Grum. And, uh, it's really cool to have. Uh, it, it's really cool that like we're able to help facilitate so much role play and just give people. And, a new character for this. Just because why not? No eyebrows. Hat is one twenty four. I need like, I need to get into this. Hold on. We need like C 
secret mission. Secret agent. I mean, actually, this character wouldn't have eyebrows because of the radiation, so... So... Actually? Wait, what the heck? Parachutes don't even go up that high. Accessory 175. Wait, I might need to give myself some shit. A survivor of Fallout? Might need to give myself PD stuff. Easton's around for this dude I, I I keep thinking about like I really hope Easton sees this stuff because he's been talking on and on about how there's all this shit going on Shadow government was right. Eason can never know he was right. Okay. Eason can never know he was right.
Fuck, dude. Some people have these clothes on. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, they got it. Sorry, chat. We'll be uh, out in a sec. Easton was right. It was a dangerous place and to utter a different phrase to utter into existence. I said he could never know. initially one here at the entrance near where I pointed out the tanks to determine whether or not any groundwater from their containers has leaked into the soil or surrounding area the second trench will be on the other side to determine whether or not the natural slope of the terrain is filtering groundwater into the ocean considering what you found already with the three-tailed manta etc it will be wise to prioritize the first trench on this side. Once we've yeah. collected enough soil, we can analyze it all. And that'll give us a good idea as to what we're dealing with. Okay. Additionally, we'll need to do... Sorry to speak over you, I'm just trying to make sure I get this all right. <laughs> we'll need to take additional core samples on, we'll say, the north... Well, what direction are we facing? North or southern side from where we stand now? You know what's funny? North Just to get... Directly in front of us on that mountain. I actually to TP to the forward. wrong people. <laughs> Luckily, as I mentioned, the natural terrain acts as a shield, which will prevent any of the coastal winds from blowing any of the dust reported and around. If it does exist in the first place, the core samples will tell us all of that. Now, where is this tunnel? 
if I could tell me the wrong name. Okay, we're in the right spot. <laughs> Sorry that took so long, chat. almost done up there. It's getting, it's getting, it's, it's hot right now. We should really, really off site if they're doing stuff on the hills. Huh? To wait for the fucking EPA. God, God damn it, man. These, no offense, but these fucking fence, man. It, it, it takes forever to do anything. Bob, I know you want a cigarette, but. I have to have a cigarette. God damn 14 minutes, Jerry. No, I know. Can, Chat, can we, what's can the, we have the uh, EPA guy go to what's the, the farm weight to make that's sure like... that his cows aren't gonna die for the next harvest? I, I told Harold that we're gonna go down there, but if they're still gonna spend another fucking wait. thirty minutes, I don't know, looking at the sky and then whatever, I get 
Something it's got to be one of these. It's got to be one of these. It's yeah, got to be one of these. Still there, we'd, we'd be coming down there, but if, yep. if you want to send an EPA guy now, oh god. Yes, ma'am. Like Boxes ran out. We should really wait off site if we're actually just waiting for somebody. There we go. That's not it. Is that Harold? Dude, I would have never get this. Uh, got your mask on, right? Yeah. Valet okay, three. Take that off. Hands. Also lets you walk around. Very safe and um, very, very good. Lots of opportunities for improvement of safety. But otherwise, very not dangerous for everyone or every living thing in a 10 square mile. Hey, as a, as a valet, as a, oh, someone that used to work in valet, can not confirm. Yes, I'm, I'm, my humor is getting a lot better. Okay. Oh, that's as expected. Well, as I mentioned to the game warden, two trenches Where's will need to be. That man should probably put on protective equipment, like this mask. Oh, sir. and will need to be euthanized. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Also, we're just here to be goons, government goons, and just stay silent, so... You guys are hoping for any big dialogue roleplay. You came to the wrong place. We should probably retain the body for experimentation. Okay. okay, let's head down to the grape seat, please, and take the agent. I don't know what we're going to do with him. The feds will take care of it, I guess. I guess. Uh, Just right. make sure that he is wrapped tightly in rubber. Yep, time to move A out. Gibson. Obviously not uh, good to be here for too long. Oh, uh, okay. Follow the uh, primary caravan, please. We need to continue the survey. Not to panic, one dead body Take shall not be a on, deterrent. We, we don't have that much time, scientists. Oh, I'm aware of that. Um, we uh, don't have can, much can we, time at can all. We survey, can we survey grape seed to see how far this is coming? Far for the dogs. Okay. Gone. All right. Oh, okay, the dog's in the back. We sure, got him. Go to grape seed. All right, folks, load up. We're loading up and getting out. Is there a room somewhere? Yeah, just jump into any one of these. Oh, not on it. Okay. Actually, maybe this fellow got... Oh, the driver's dead. Yeah, the driver died. Oh, look at the... Look, he looks so cute in the back. Look at him. 
Sounds like Moses. Ah. Where are we going, Grape Sea? We're going to Grape Sea for euthanasia. animals will need to be euthanized what, what's going on they I are think, right next to where found some guy trying to trespass down here so um how dead do you think that uh that that fib agents how bad do you think he could be crumbling? Well, um, if he's dead, then I'm very worried for what's been leaking. If, if he died that quickly. I mean, he had no protection gear. Like, at he least had I zero am. protection gear. Exactly. So, yeah. It's not looking good. I think that was this guy's dog. That's even worse. I like the blacked out escalators. Plot twist is that Bubba was a special agent all along. It's only a matter of time before someone comes out and they're like, let me tell you what people are saying. All right. Excellent. Simple surface core samples from those farmers' fields. Has anyone done that yet? Am I supposed to be in yellow? an FBI badge the badge wasn't working for me Is Mantis doing? If I be.
I don't know what you want to do with him, but I'm, uh, I'll be right back. Give me a second. Uh, we'll something with his body. I just need a moment. This is pretty scuffed. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, chat. I don't really know what's going on. I was just told to make a make a character and stand here silently. It's so close to That many federal employees can't confirm they act like this? Yeah. We just stand in a circle and salute people? Slash me takes samples.
<laughs> I don't know how he died. I don't know how how that person died. But we buried him. Dig? Price. That hole is nowhere near as good At as ease. the first. Oh, well, bloody hell, then. At I ease. I will need a sample similar to the first. Excellent. Very well. Okay. We will need a fourth small hole. God damn it, how many holes? At ease. At ease. Let me, let me do it. At ease. Say this, you stupid, sure. stupid right here. You. Optimal size. Uh, 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 real trick between their favorites is friends. Hmm. Don't you ruin my grip. Put your hands down. You're not intimidating me. I intimidate you, alright? Hey, you, 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 you're coming all around here, and you, your spooky sciences and your physics, just because our old got a D in the, in the science of this world. You have the necessary experience to dig potentially a fifth small hole. Oh, hold on, let me help you with that. All right, that hole looks adequate. I will fill the dirt from the hole into the bag. It is careful work. It must get all the way into the bag. Is this better? Is this better? Hello. Don't worry, that hole will bag, not be people. necessary. Who's the blue better? person? That's the only blue person. Unfortunately, the, the whole I window is closed. Oh, we will hello. I'm Harold, who are you? I'm uh, no, Nolan. I will need all the small things. Yeah, but you didn't look blue with that mask on. I don't know why nobody else wears the blue. I think it looks Not humane lab. Hey, they get a uh, LSPD blue. Uh, exactly. Are you done in my farms, are you? Don't worry. I'm wearing the mask. Are you done disturbing my farmland? There's good people out here. All right. There's some hey, crops everybody. that you can. Everyone will need to remove their clothing and burn it. But they spun fire. We shower first. We don't just burn the fucking clothes. We're not. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, sir. Mr. Maddox, do you have a report yeah. prepared on your ability right, to EMS burn are clothing? Alright, EMS heading to the grapeseed fire station. Oh, I'll prepare dear, one, eh? and I'm sure it will be fucking Fair stupid. Day, eh? Um. So if you go down, you fucking clothes on Harold's house. Uh, that'd be that. Yeah, that'd be you know, right. yeah. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get down oh, to the fire station to here. Gonna get everybody out to contaminate, please. Hello, we will go home? through the decontamination <laughs> process. Oh, oh God. Uh, no, 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 no. I've dumped the samples all over. We will oh, need to dig no, two no, small no, holes. No, 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 no. Uh oh. No. Let's just get it done. <laughs> Just please just pick it up and just put it in a box or something. Who did this? 
This is a very specific process we will need to begin from the beginning. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm gonna tell you Wait, what happened? Can, can everyone get this turned into... This was supposed to be, like, such a, thing, like, such a serious you thing, and it turned into such a silly, like, scuff thing, but yeah, that's fine. You have and you blew it, because you thought that you could take out the arrow, but you got the stun. That's the arrow stunned well. Ow. Come on, Doug, let's go. The hell, Harold? You will now need to dig another hole. Yeah, no, absolutely. As long as it's as least it's fun. By the way, you need to get it up to speeds around 43 miles per hour and then lift. If you feel like you're running out of runway, that means you're on the right way. Okay? You gotta put it out and you're not gonna have a lot of room. So just fully send it, alright? Okay, there you go. Alright, go. Alright, hold on. Go! I've gotta split the many lights. Hold on, Go! go. You don't need any lights, it's daytime. Come on, out. Time Come is on. only Time is only All right, the go. Go. We need the go. 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 So many go. people here. Oh my god. We will need more here, people right? in case we need to dig Hello. more small holes. Pond, I think you need to be in a hazmat so It's really dangerous. Um, Night round in change. Hello. Don't close the pod with your if you were just in the radio zones. Guys, I want to do one third. Guys, you're gonna Okay, great. Well to the lab. Where's my where's my where's my truck? It's currently making the honking sound. Is that mine? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. All, All right, right. We're, going the, we're going to the fog station. Yeah, I know. Uh, I burnt my radiators in. Nice work. Yeah. Where did you burn? Maybe I have keys to this one. I have keys to this one. Keys to this one. Keys to this one. This is a federal operation. We're playing feds that don't speak. This is kind of what happens when we have too many cooks going on, though. Curious what the plan with Humane Labs is.
They don't know the way. Oh my god, this is so scared. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see, man. Yes, of course. We need showering just... facilities. Showering facilities? This can all this. be avoided if you have a turbo encabulator. What is a <laughs> turbo <laughs> Well, uh, it's a basic principle uh, similar to a transmission, which will allow us to pass pressurized air and decontamination sauce through Trust. the hydrocoptic nozzle vanes, which are Aww. set in a transistor standard to avoid any issues with the stator. I believe these tubes will do quite well. Or I could use this. Stand still. Well, that'll do it. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? It appears... There's no juice left. No sauce left. I have one. We may have to use this complex series of tubes and a turbo encabulator. Uh, it might be out. Everyone, line up at a tube. I will find the turbo encabulator. What? It's broken. I will explain later. There we go. There she goes. Oh, All right, oh. everyone, group up, group I'm up. Quiet. I'm quiet. Well, a little more, please. Just a little more. I will turn on the ventilation system as this place does not seem to be equipped with a turbo and cabulator. Okay, then maybe we should close these gates. Oh, it's out. It's, it's out. I don't think it's enough. All out. right. This is somebody Who's else, feeling right? contaminated? Okay. You'll need to be shot. Okay, uh. nuts. <laughs> no one's getting shot, guys. <laughs> A shot of anti-radiation sickness medicine, which I have right oh. here. Oh, thank okay. goodness, okay. thank okay. goodness. Fantastic. Everyone who needs it, please get... Yep, thank you. I'm gonna go get changed. There you go. Right in the gluteal muscle, which is the largest of the muscle groups. Believe me, I self-administer my testosterone. All right, who's next? Come on over. Please present adequately. There you go, try again. Who has right. fire extinguisher? I mean, decontamination tool. Here we are. Definitely One anti-radiation sickness medicine just what's for a, you. What's a decontamination tool? You do, you have one. There you are, all set. Now, if your skin falls off in the next seven days, please notify a medical professional. Can you, like, you should be able to use their tool again. Here what the hell? It's just a little bit mean? of a poke and a prod. Can't take it out. Oh, that was the wrong what? one. Hold what on, happened? let me try this other one. That's probably right. <laughs> there you go. You and down? unfortunately, that was my last syringe. You will need <laughs> to seek shelter. All right. Your body hair is a miracle of science. It's perfectly symmetrical, <laughs> which does not occur in nature. Are we done? Again. I need to test oh, these soil samples to determine like... how the radiation is. Yeah, 
<laughs> okay. Well, that was an experience, but you know what? We helped out. We helped out in the best way we could. switch to Bryce real quick we're gonna check on our plant and then I'm going to uh, to dip out for the day secret agent Bam 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 bam. Cool. I'm gonna delete this character also. A uh, Bryce Miller. Hello. How are you doing? All right. We're growing enough food to feed a small village. Do 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 do. When did poets send this? Four thirty-three. See if poets still awake. Hey, poet, you wake, poet. All right, let's go check on it real quick. This will be the last thing that I do today because I am pretty hungry and I want to go chill. We've had a pretty solid day, man. Good little role play on Bryce. D&D &D was really fun. Uh, had a good cop shift. Helped out with a with a little event. You know, it's uh, it's been a good day. Check on little Mario. Let's go check on little baby Mario. I'm sure he's growing just fine. I'm sure he's gonna look great. He's gonna be big and tall just like his papa. Just like his pop pop.
people there at the lighthouse. Slow and steady. We're not trying to go into the, uh, the ocean. Slow and steady. down Bryce calm down Bryce this thing's really marking and going crazy okay everything's fine everything's fine You're growing so big and tall, middle, little Mario. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, baby Mario, are you... Are you done growing? It's mushrooms, but it looks like this. There's a little fucking name tag. Yeah! Okay! Time to trip out, dude. I'm sure it's gonna hit me any second. Any second. Any fucking second. Fuck. All right, chat. That's going to be it for me today, man. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bright and early. It looks like Bright and early. That time. For more roleplay and more variety gaming. Thank you for the bit subs, tips, and Twitch Prime. I hope you guys have a wonderful one. We had a lot of life. Until next time. Look at all the fun which is tomorrow. Had. Don't be. Goodbye, guys. Forget about that. And even though we're about to end the stream, there's six words, three things I want to say before I leave. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We gotta play the outro song and then I will be. Been the LGX chat. I'm not trying to flex, but every single day you make my week. I'm saying it with my chest, chat. You are.